Welcome to the Abby and Anthony Show. Never before has one radio show been so extreme. So vulgar. I'll fucking shove my face up a chick's ass in a second. Someone said we curse a lot, do we? I have no idea if we do. So... Who just farted? I did, but I didn't know it sounded like rotten eggs and sewage. Oh, wow, thank you. I can't believe that us sitting around like this is actually a radio show. This is not going to get any better than this. Are we on the air? Oh, we are? Oh, okay. Quite simply, the greatest show in the history of broadcasting. All in A every day, that's what I say. You guys having a good time or what? are destroyed and conventions burn to the ground. Would you like to make a fucking dagger? With OP, the destroyer. Hey, asshole. Just take the joke and take a little beating. It'll be okay. Anthony, the rage. I feel like dog shit. If I'm sick, I'm fucking off and my agent has to be called by the rat down the fucking hall. And Jim Norton, lover of transvestites. How do you not look at a cock if it's there? I'm not gay or anything, but for Pete's sake, I'm not rude. Opie and Anthony show. Strap in, dicks. This one's gonna hurt. Double guns, bitch. But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Yeah. 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 Noises. Ha. Ha. Noises. Ha. Ha. Noises. Morning, everybody. Yeah. Let's all come in and do it again. Do it again. Another week of radio. Hoody, hoody, ho. <laughs> I'd like to be able to hear you, but I can't. What happened? I'm suffering from hay fever. <laughs> hey! I'm an al- a very allergic boy. I'm suffering from hay fever. Hay fever. Started last week. And. I uh, took the elevator ride down to the ground floor, yeah. and my, my ears, I'm they underwater st- still. Still. That's it. That was about, I don't know, 40 minutes ago. Whoa. How do you make them pop? I don't know. You got to uh, do that scuba diving trick. Push out. Whoa. I don't know. Swallow Ooh. real hard. Oh, I felt a lot of air, but nothing. Chew yet. gum. <laughs> I don't know. Chew gum? I don't ears know. are clogged? Yeah. And yeah. that gum. I, I called my allergist, and he goes, Hey, you were talking about me. And if you remember what I was talking... He pretty much has that like he's Jewish. He sounds like he's clogged all the time. So I guess guess that's perfect for an allergist. And uh, if you remember what I was saying about this guy was... Every time I go into his stupid office, I never tell anyone, and I'm sure you do the same, what I do for a living. Because we have cool jobs, and that's all they want to talk about, which is nice. But it's not nice when you go into a doctor's office and you want to try to get some shit done. No, I just so, say, I'm in broadcasting. Oh, I, I just say... ask it. further, I just go, nah, it's just stuff behind No, I, stuff. I, I say marketing. Really? Yeah, marketing is like, what's that? But then they could ask it sounds stuff, cool, I'd be but like, I don't know. Yeah, market things. Like what? Yeah, just these things. You Import, know. export. Nah, just market things. I work on like, uh, you know... Billboards and campaigns and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I make it very vague. I say telecommunications. Huh? I say I work for a telecommunications, telecommunications company. Telecommunications. I make it so vague within three questions they don't give a fuck. But I was stupid enough to tell this guy who I was. Oh, I know why. Because because my voice and stuff. I, I want to. Oh. You know, so I, I want to make sure he took me seriously. So now when I go in his office and he's one of the biggest allergists in New York, all he wants to do is talk about the show, even though he doesn't listen to the show. But he knows that we have a, a, a pretty popular radio show. And then, like, I'm trying to figure out what I'm allergic to, like, and I did all those tests. And he goes, oh, yeah, you're allergic to a bunch of things. He's like, things. Here's some things. things. And then he's like, anyway. And uh, just wants to talk about the show. Like, and I'm no, like, no, no. The reason I'm here. I need so to know what things. Find out. So I beat him up on the air, I think, last week for not paying attention because he wants to listen to the, you know, talk about the show. Then what's going on with me? And I call him and he goes, hey, uh, <laughs> I heard you were talking about me. I'm like, yeah, I was saying how you don't fucking take, take. Yeah, this thing seriously. <laughs> so then he gave me cortisone for allergies. What's that about? How does that work? Because I'm out of my fucking mind, man. 
Look at cortisone is so weird. It's like it's delivered in many different ways. Yeah, I got uh, pill forms. Oh, a pill, a cortisone pill. Yeah, there's injections, there's cream. Yeah, because <laughs> he heard how stuffy I was. He did this over the phone. I'm like, I don't know if I should be prescribed cortisone over the phone. Diagnosed over the phone and nasal Rocks. sprays. You're, you and your cortisone. <laughs> I don't know, but I don't even know. It makes you very, very like um, more. I should say you're going to laugh when I say this, but it makes you very irritable. Oh, <laughs> more than usual. <laughs> irritable. Like I'm like, and you then got I, roid rage. Is uh, that what it is? Isn't yeah, it some I, kind of roid? Yeah, I've been left in my couch all weekend. <laughs> but I'm still roid fucking clogged, rage. and then went down the elevator, and I can't fucking hear now. Man, you keep my doing this. hay fever. <laughs> you keep doing the mouth open, like yeah, uh, the mouth, uh, 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 trying to pop uh, it to uh, get the uh, ear uh, pop. Uh, yeah, and you know the term hay fever is stupid because you're not allergic to hay and you don't get a fever with what allergies. So why hay fever? Why do they call it hay fever? Hay fever means pollen, basically. <laughs> that the pollen counts a little high, and it's affecting the opster. Oh boy, the opster is very allergic. <laughs> Oh, boy. Because, oh, yeah, it's the height of the hay fever season. Is it? You don't get any of this shit. Nah, I don't get those allergies. I get this like three or four times a year where you feel like you, you almost feel like you have the flu. But you don't have a fever. I get stuffed up sometimes if it's really bad. Yeah? You know. Yeah, you kind of feel it. You're lucky. <laughs> You're lucky because it's a pain in the ass, man. And what about animal dander? Oh. How does, an does animal dander hurt? Do you need to know? I hate that word. <laughs> Cats and dander. cats and dogs, bad. Yeah, bad, <laughs> really bad. As in, I haven't touched a cat or animal in years. Wow, I can't even pet the fuckers. Aww. but then they got well, the hypoallergenic kitty. ones. <laughs> yeah, those are the ugly animals. They're not they that ugly. Have that, they can't have hair or something. They're not that. Fur. No, no, no. They have human hair. Yeah, they got like some kind of hair instead of fur. Any dog that ends in poo is actually pretty good looking. Uh, what about a schnoodle? Yeah, uh, nah, the poos are better, I think. Really? Obama's dog is an allergenic dog. Why? Who's allergic in the family? Uh, either him or Michelle. Oh, boy. But I know that that dog, I'm pretty sure, has hair and not fur. Yeah. You like to the, think of some political Is that what you're going to have to get when like, your son asks for a dog can't. and you can't say no? Yeah, I'm going to oh, have to boy. get one of those. It looks like a tiny little teddy bear and it can't defend himself. <laughs> type yes. dogs, even though I want a, a dog dog. <laughs> like, Daddy, can I have a dog? You can't say no. I want a dog. Not like this, like, looks like a stuffed animal walking on the sidewalk. You don't like uh, that? You don't want a, They're gr nice, a gremlin? But kind of, it's kind of embarrassing when you're walking around town. You want to walk around with a man's dog. They all got them little puny dogs in your neighborhood up there. The, oh, old, yeah, the yeah. old ladies with those little fucking dogs. It's disgusting, actually. Uh, yeah. they'd, rather, uh, they'd rather take care of their dogs than, you know, have a conversation with you. Yeah. People are weird in New York, man. They hate people, but fucking will pretty much jump in front of a cab for their own dog. They're dumb little dogs. Yeah. <laughs> so, I had to stay inside because the <laughs> oh. town was high. Did you need conditioned air? <laughs> I, I had to stay inside, indoors. <laughs> yes, hay fever. Indoors. Hay fever. Because <laughs> it's just uh, having a massive attack. I, I feel way better. It's just the fucking ears are clogged. So say whatever you want about me. I won't hear it. Blow those out. I won't hear it today. Are those the poo dogs? Yeah, these. I see, how can you say they're horrible? Dogs. All right. They're, I guess they've gotten better. They're adorable. No, you don't. A bichon frise. You want a bichon? They're you very just, cute. You just don't want a poodle because you don't like them. Poodles are assholes. <laughs> no, uh, I, I, like, I like bigger dogs. I like the one down bottom. A uh, second one from the uh, that left, one? left. No, that's a bulldog. Oh, left. Oh, that oh, that guy. Oh yeah, that look that, that just looks like a baby husky. Oh, that's that, a hypoallergenic dog. I could have that. I, I guess that thing's Huskies adorable. Are great. Angry dog dot jpeg. Look how cute it is. Oh my god. Oh man, that one. That looks record. like a real dog. That's a pretty cool dog right there. I like the furry little white one there too. Over. This thing? Look at him. Yeah, He's a he would love to be petted. Bichon. You see a lot of those in New York. Bichon. They're cute. Yeah. Yeah. You Same scratch them under their chin. Shuka 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 shuka. I roll over and give you his belly like a head. Oh yeah. Why don't you get a hairless dog? Ew. Look no. at that thing. Now you gotta have hair on a dog. Do they? Ew. What is that monster? It's a monster, and they just have horrible attitudes. <laughs> monster. <laughs> they're, they're, poodles are the worst. Oh, oh, go one down. Which one? Oh, oh, oh look at the little face. See, the poos are Terrible. good. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. That's cute. No, that's something that just barks all day. Oh, that's probably true. Oh, but yeah, but Some look of those at the don't. three of them over there to the left. Oh, 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 oh there you go. More poos. Cute. 
Little things are adorable. Just put Pooh in his small dog for a little while. <laughs> you what? Yes. <laughs> for a little while. Yeah, for a little while. You need to pet a small dog. <laughs> That's yes. hilarious. I'm lonely. I have no pets. <laughs> no girlfriend. She got a cat. Uh, oh, Jimmy. Now, cats are cool, but they the shedding and stuff drives me nuts. Dude, I have the same thing you but, do with the fucking hair. And, and, but you and, could you could throw a cat in your apartment for two weeks. They wouldn't even notice you're right. gone. They don't give a fuck. They really don't. And, and you know, you could, like, have a relationship with a cat for 10 years, and then one day it'll just scratch your eyes out. They're fucking <laughs> lunatics. They're complete lunatics. <laughs> just fucking go after you. You could get, like, a, you could get a wild German Shepherd, and if you're the owner for 10 years, you are, you know nothing's going to happen. You're the honcho. Right. But with a cat that you never get past that fucking point. Yeah. Yeah. You always have to be on guard with those assholes. Cats are assholes. <laughs> well, you true. had the coolest cat. We've talked about it. That JD cat JD was almost was the bestest. human. But the rest of them are fucking nah. assholes. I had two cats. Feral animals. Right to the end, they were just complete idiots. Yeah. You thought you had made some kind of uh, relationship with them. One wrong move, and then they're scratching the shit out of you. <laughs> you watched yeah. the, uh, the Jets game? I know you're not a big football fan. You know what? I turned it on for a few short minutes. To see the wacky offense? Yeah, just to check that out, you know, that whole uh, Tebow thing. And eh, it was just like, ah, fuck this. Oh, there's no I Tebow. Give a sh I know, yeah. Well, he's there in the, all the little sideline meetings. <laughs> oh, I know. He's all poking over. What's going on? Uh, <laughs> hey, what's going on over here? <laughs> he just uh, <laughs> trying to get his nose into yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I should know what's happening just in case. <laughs> I think I think Sanchez showed everyone yesterday, even though the Bills aren't the, the best team in the league, obviously, that he's their quarterback. Yeah, he made he made it very obvious yesterday with Tebow going. Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's over there? Hey, what's you're going talking on? about. Hey guys, can I sit down and listen? Right. He was following Sanchez like, no oh, man, yeah, we're yeah. we're the twin quarterbacks. Oh god, Sanchez just like, could you just fucking just sit down? And you know what? Um, the fucking Jets fans booed Tebow. Yeah, because Sanchez was marching down the field, and all of a sudden they 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 continued with that fucking wacky offense because they wanted to see how it was going to work. And brought Tebow in and like, yeah. no, man, Sanchez got the fucking momentum right now. Oh, believe me, the fans, though, the second fucking Sanchez collapses, they'll be chanting for Tebow. Well, Sanchez looked pretty damn good yesterday. Yeah. I mean, it's the Bills. I'm sorry, because, you Hello, know, Bills. we have a lot of fans up in Western <laughs> New York. The Bills. Oh, boy, did they fucking get wiped. Bills aren't going to do much. It was 48-28. Yep. The game was pretty much over at halftime. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't. I don't. Do you see the Jets using two quarterbacks like that the whole season, Travis? Well, like you said, this is one game. Let's wait till you know. I wait don't, till they play some some teams, some real teams, yeah. right? Who's I, the first real team they get to play this uh, season? Well, next week, Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's going to be a, yeah. a massive test. Yeah, that will be a big fucking test. Pittsburgh's going to laugh at their wacky offense. Yeah, but uh, boy, they were quick to boot Tebow. He didn't get that one yard, and no, no. Boo! I think he had five rushes for nine five yards. For 11, I think. I don't Eek. think he threw a pass. Nope. And he handed the ball off three times. Yep. I think that's his stats, if I remember him correctly. Sounds great. Oh, yeah, he had a no game, but like you said, hey, guys, what's going on over hey, here? Hey, guys. Hey. I see you got your clipboard out. What's on that? <laughs> that's what he. That's all I saw of him that's really on the funny. sideline, craning his neck to see. Yeah. Hey, let me in, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the quarterbacks just looked um, exhausted running in and out of the game like that. They would do, I don't know if you saw it, Jimmy. Nah. Sanchez would do one play, then he'd have to run off the field, then fucking Tebow would come in, he would do a play, then Sanchez would run back on. It was crazy. Why are they doing Especially that? Especially in the beginning of the game, and then they settled down oh. a little bit. Settled down. Do you so, think Tebow had to ask anybody, like after there was a group meeting, when they walked by, he goes, well, what would they say? Uh, what are they talking about? What are they, they talking talk about over there? Are they talking about me? <laughs> yeah, did, did I come up? Did I come up? <laughs> so I don't know. That's a good start for the Jets because they had a shitty preseason. It's always good when you get that first win, you know. Then you you don't have to worry about uh, not uh, uh, losing again. Right? <laughs> Can't lose again. So I oh, and I had to watch. Uh, I, I like watching my football and with the the hay fever acting up. I like watching the football. I'm, I'm in my living room and I'm getting ready to like a couple hours before the, you know football. I'm just watching TV and I, and I just changed the channel. That's all. And it goes black. I'm like oh, it'll pop on any second oh, now. No. Wow. Two hours later, after I was yanking fucking receivers out of the wall, oh, made no. made the problem obviously ten times worse. Oh, no. I have no TV in my living room. And I'm fucking watching 
football and golf in my bedroom on a beautiful fucking fall day. What happened? I don't know, man. Time Warner Cable. You think it's Time Warner? No, the other TVs were working. Oh, it's just that oh, one set. It's oh, probably your box. You think it's the box? Uh, probably. I've had to reset my box like five I times reset. this weekend. I reset my box. It's horrible service. I think, I'm, Fios. I think I'm finally going to go Fios. Oh, you got I think, it. I think I'm finally done. I don't think I've had to do that once. Like, you know that, uh, uh, that oh. does the brilliant impression? Uh, right. I'll get, I, I've had that maybe once every three weeks or every month, I'll have that for a half a second. Like, yeah. that's how that's good it. the service is. It, it's infuriating. My Time Warner in the city, I, uh, I haven't turned it on in I don't even know how long. I sling box my Fios from my house, mm. and that's how I watch television. I don't even deal with fucking Time Warner What anymore. happened with Time Warner? They just... Saw all this technology, you know, and catching up to them, and they went, ah, we're, we're the leaders, so nah, we don't have to worry it. about that shit. We'll just strong arm some of these buildings and tell them. Uh, That's pretty much yeah, what they yeah, do. Yeah. 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 What they do is they get to the supers. <laughs> yeah. The supers have those little basements in the uh, 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 offices in the yeah, basements, yeah. and they go down there and make those <laughs> fucking deals with cash. I'm convinced of it. Yeah, I you think go. you're right. I'm convinced of it because why would you choose uh, an, an old old technology over a new technology? But that's what New York City buildings do. That's exactly mm. what they do. Our building, it took a long time to get it. I kept asking, and the door guys and the, and the the desk guys would be weird about it. They'd be like, "Yeah, we think it's come." It's almost like everybody gets a little piece of of yeah. I, I don't know what of it was. I think, I know people finally probably asked where they had to right. rewire the building because it's a big building, but right. it's a small building. What are the tenants going to do if there's eight or twelve tenants? I right. Mean, yeah. How does the one guy decide? Shouldn't they have a vote? Yeah. <laughs> no, they don't care. Very strange. You, did you watch any Red Zone or anything? Uh, How did your fantasy no. football team do? What's going on? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, my fantasy football. They have the fantasy football uh, stats in the paper today. Do they? Oh, I think great. this is the first year where I've actually seen it pretty much front and center. It's right in the middle of the yeah. sports section. All the players that did well for fantasy football teams. People love their fantasy football. We should have uh, done it as a goof. I didn't do Red Zone. Apparently, Red Zone had some problems, too, I guess. Um, what happened? That's what I heard. I wouldn't know. I'm on Time Warner. Ah, uh, boy. No well, Red Zone? I, if you had it, no, there was no only, problem. Only cable provider to not have Red Zone. Oh, that's good. <laughs> if you have it, it w wasn't a problem. But if you uh, all of a sudden decided, holy shit, I want that Red Zone, yeah. and you click to subscribe, uh, it would take upwards of 90 minutes to uh, for it to go through because so many people are trying to get it. It is it is one of the best programs ever. Yeah. What's it do? It just it's one of the best sports programs ever. It's literally just the red zone. Just touchdown. It any time a team is you know in the red zone, which is the 20 yard line, uh, they'll show that game. And if no team is in the 20 yard line. Um, then they'll just show a game. Well, they'll you know, show and, some highlights. They'll show the featured yeah, yeah. games, which are yeah, the ones that games. most people around the country would like to check Pretty out. What if there's cool. what if there's two? They'll things. split screen, or dude. Like you haven't seen the screen. Oh, they just show oh, you. Oh yeah, they'll they'll. It's, and the host of the show is ridiculous. I can't yeah. imagine that guy is not the best fucking sportscaster in the history of oh, the world. Oh, he could do two or three games at once. Oh, my God, it's, it's unbelievable like how fast guys rattling is. off fucking everything. If, if one team is in a huddle, they'll be like, all right, let's go to this game. And then, you know, that, that play ends. All right, let's go to this game. I just it's, picture them there smoking a cigarette, drinking <laughs> coffee. Right. Holy yeah. shit! <laughs> if, if the offense is, you know, walking toward, you know, the scrimmage line, he goes, oh, we got time, and we'll go to another game for a two time, seconds. Yeah. yeah. It's unbelievable. It's like an air traffic controller for football. Yeah, he does a great job. I don't know his name. He should get some credit. I had we did a bit one time for college football for the Tonight Show, and part of the bit was having to call a game. Like you have to call a game live. A call. Oh wow! It's fucking hard. Yeah, it's really fucking hard to do that because you keep goes trying. To dynamite. To, hey, there he <laughs> there, there he goes, and he's running. And Still, he's running. he cuts left. It's so hard to keep that momentum the way these a great announcer will do a momentum. It's fucking impossible to do that shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is a talent. Um, it was. It was a lot harder than it looks. I think you, you like anything else. You, you figure out the rhythm eventually. Yeah, you know, because that's Scott what they Hansen. do. That's his name, Scott Hansen. Yeah, that's uh, him. That's my my brother. Brother. He's. Uh, <laughs> it's ridiculous. So many, uh, David Akers uh, kicked the sixty-three yarder. Yes. Well, that's that's tying the record tying again. The record, yeah. yeah. How many times have we tied the record? I don't know. Just pull it back a yard for fuck's sake. It, get, it get a new record. Bounced off the. Uh, off Did the it really? Off the crossbar yeah, at the bottom. Yeah. I would, oh, that's fucking cool. I would be the dick that like demands the NFL takes out a tape measure to see if it was just over sixty three. <laughs> <laughs> I want the record, motherfucker. It was actually sixty three yards in one inch. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. 
Oh, man. Niners Oof. won, right? Mm-hmm. Wow, that's a fuck of a kick. Oh! Wait, was that, that the sound effect? Have, yeah. Do that again. That could have bounced. Again. Uh, I put the audio wow. way too late. San Francisco side of God the damn, it's a long kick. Drills it. And it's off. <laughs> 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 63 yards oh, wow. from David Akers. That just made it. And that could have bounced off of the, and, and gone the, the other way. As this thing hit the crossbar. God damn. Bounced up in the air and went through the uprights to make it a oh, nine-point game. Because it's in the back of the crossbar. Only ticket 63 yards. Wow. You've got to have a low trajectory on that. That is a that, difference that of wasn't blocked. three inches and that yeah. doesn't go in. Yeah. yeah, a yard, one more yard, it wouldn't have. Not well, a yard, wouldn't even have come inches. close. Inches, yeah, an inch or two. Three inches, it would have hit the front sure. of the crossbar and bounced back onto the field. And then it w he would have had to walk off the field. Oh, yeah, oh well, oh well, oh. I almost made it. Well, that was pretty close. I feel good about myself though. <laughs> <laughs> Who else won yesterday? Anyone care? The fucking Eagles pulled that game out. Redskins yeah. won. Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah, like because minute, Vic looked left. horrible at Vic first, right? Four interception. But they beat uh, the Browns, I think it was 17, 16? 16. 16, what was it? Something. I don't know. You got the sheet in front of you. I do. I was in the uh, car 17, over the 16, weekend. Yeah. I was over the car over the weekend and had uh, listened to the worst of, and mm -hmm. um, I, I was uh, pleased that I was in there listening to um, Florentine going off about the goddamn fantasy, fantasy football. football. <laughs> that, what a funny fucking segment, man. Yeah. He's just going off. <laughs> Jim's so logical too. He he has this really. He's a really hard guy to argue with because he has a great. Because if if you get him on something like, because again he was crucifying fantasy yeah, football. Yeah. Like what about Zach Wild? He's like, yeah, but come on, man. He's a metal guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. I don't know how he he oh, he avoids these landmines. He lets them go off, but they never derail. What he's yeah, yeah. To say. I just like because yeah. Obi was saying like, uh, no, it, it makes Sundays a little more excitement, uh, exciting. It doesn't make it yeah. exciting. Uh, What's exciting, exciting about yeah. that? There's nothing exciting about it. Hey, look, David Akers. Let's watch <laughs> David Akers. Oh, okay. I'm gonna turn off the Dolphin game. That's good. You're not a good fan. <laughs> What's no, exciting? About that. It was so fucking You know what's good. exciting? Dropping loads. <laughs> That's what I want to hear about. Did you drop a load? No, it's watching uh, the Chiefs. <laughs> it's fucking great, man. It was really funny. I, I love the people that uh, can't laugh at themselves. A few, oh. a few people tweeted, oh. you know, the reason you guys don't like fantasy football is because you're so much older than the people that play it. Well, that's it. It's the reason we should like it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, pedos. <please. laughs> I know a lot of people in my uh, age bracket yeah. that uh, love their fantasy football, man. My brother loves it. Dude, there Who are gives people. a fuck? They, I know they enjoy it, but, yeah, it's, it's, but it's obviously one of those things that is easy to goof on. So these, relax. These, these no sense of humor motherfuckers. I encountered probably the dumbest uh, does not get it asshole on Twitter last night. Right. I was watching uh, the horrid uh, breakfast club. Uh, and uh, Molly Ringwald. Wait, wait, why is it hard? Well, I'll I remember get into that movie. That. I just don't want to forget good. this. Okay, go. Uh, and and Molly Ringwald it was was like she was the cute girl back then. I never saw it, by the way. But and I, exactly. Well, I, 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 really was, I was just commenting. Not I said, I said, Molly Ringwald is like the Iraq War. At the time, we were all yes, 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 but now not so much. Like finding her attractive was like the uh, was like the Iraq War. Not the Gulf War, the Iraq War. And uh, somebody actually said, you know, I wasn't for it for the, from the beginning. Because, and starts getting into oh, a war God. debate. It's like, it's like no, it was a dumb throwaway fucking right. Raleigh Ringwald right. joke. Do, do you not get it? Right. And everybody just started going like, what the fuck? You've got to put up with this all the time? I said, yes. Well, yes, I do. You know what you got to do, which is a lot of fun when it happens to me? I just tweet, hey, everyone, we got a dummy. Oh, oh yeah, boy, yeah, yeah. people just enjoy that. Because mine yesterday was simple. Serena Williams won uh, yeah. uh, the uh, U.S. Open. So I just wrote, why else would I tweet this? I wrote, congrats to Serena William Williams for winning the men's 2012 U.S. Open. Yeah. That's the joke. Sure. Yeah. People actually liked it. They thought it was a good tweet. One guy, oh, she's, she's a woman. 
And, oh God! And you just know they're not trying to, you know, fuck with your back. Yeah, yeah. So I just write, "Hey, everyone, looks like we got ourselves a dummy," and then everyone just fucking piles on yeah. for the kill. I just retweet sometimes with no comment, and they get killed. Yeah, yeah, it's great. I had no. Two- I love pointing out, "Hey, everyone, we got a dummy," and don't try doing it because, for the most part, I know the difference. <laughs> I, uh, I I got two people to uh, close their Twitter accounts last week. Oh, that's great. great. Just completely closed them. One was uh, some guy who uh, was got a snide comment about one of my tweets, and, you know, whether it was good or bad or stupid. Or, uh, so I just checked his, tweet, his tweets, and so many of them was to girls saying how he'd like to fucking lick their pussies and stuff, which is fine if you want to do that. Sure. But if you don't want to... Uh, present yourself like that you probably shouldn't and i guess he didn't because i just screen capped a bunch of his tweets and posted it and uh within two hours he had taken down his twitter good (laughs) before the wife sees it i guess and then another one was some woman give me shit uh and um all i said was uh your your daughter has a big head because she put her daughter in the picture with her in her profile pic (laughs) look Good. You know, hey, that's if you're you gonna put your kid in there, um, yeah. So I said your daughter has a big head, and then of course the listeners start talking about her big head and pff, wiped gone. That's what you, if you're gonna just attack. If you're gonna talk shit to people, yes. don't put a picture of your family up there, <laughs> no, dummies. No, no, no. Do what no. the message board people do. Hi, no. I'm I'm Honey Lifting Twenty Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? I'm Honey Lifting Twenty Seven. <laughs> the best is when you can go to it when they use. The, <laughs> <laughs> they use the same name for their Instagram as they do Twitter. So you check that, and there's pictures of their wife, their kids, uh, family, what they do for a hobby, goofy friends, and you just can re- You just keep posting shit, just ragging them about their family, and oh, uh, they they usually yeah just fucking destroy their account. Because they like to be, like a lot of the people on Twitter like to be, or, or these places like to kind of make their opinion known. But with no commentary back. Like, they, yes. they never want to just say, hey, I'm so-and-so, and this is how I feel. Yeah. Which is why I yeah. just loathe them so much. People are under the impression, too, that when I uh, debate people on with 140 characters, uh, that I'm just nasty and stuff. No. A lot, most of my tweets, I'm just... It's, I'm expressing my opinion, and I'm giving some fucking factual information that I've read, uh, or just opinions. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the times I get shit like, you're a moron. Uh, and it's like, oh, I'm a moron for not agreeing with you? Oh, you don't agree with my point of view, so I'm the moron and you're the smart guy. Is th- That's the dumbest thing anybody can fucking write. Well, uh, oh, be, uh, so you must be right, and I'm wrong. <laughs> Bunch of douches. Uh, Twitter are, is really a chore. <laughs> uh, yeah, what are we supposed to do with this Twitter thing? I don't know. It I don't, really I don't is, understand the end game anymore. It's a weird point we're at with uh, the Twitter. I don't understand it. I'll put it this way. I, I read a tweet that annoyed me, but it was a retweet from somebody, and I forget what it was. But I went to the guy's timeline, and he just wrote a bunch of shit that I didn't agree with. But I realized that he's not following me, and like I'm not following him. Uh-huh. And it was a retweet, and I was going to say something, and I literally thought, you know what? It's none of my fucking business. He oh. wasn't talking to me. Ah, there you go. <laughs> I don't follow him. Wow. He wasn't talking to me. And I really did think that, and I was like, why would I address him? Yeah. It's almost like, oh, it's a public forum. It is a public <laughs> forum, and no one says you don't have the right to do it. But it's this fucking busybody, uh, or as Anthony would say, uh, this nosy body attitude. Nosy body. If somebody retweets what somebody says, you should address the person who retweeted it. Right. Not the person who originally posted it, because unless you're following them, it's none of your fucking business. They weren't talking to you. Like that. Yeah, it does make sense. And I, and I practiced that, too, because I really, I forget what it was, but it annoyed me so much. And I'm like, no, shut the fuck up. It's none of your business what he mm-hmm. said. That's literally like, it is a public forum, but it's like walking by in a, a room where people are talking. Right. And they say there's a building full of rooms. And you belong to one room with all the people you want to talk to and listen to. And you walk by another room, and you over here, like, rah, 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 rah. and then you put your head in and go, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then you keep going. <laughs> hey, get the fuck out. You didn't want to be in this room till just now. Yeah, yeah. Or that's like you being in your room and someone coming from the other room yeah. and going, hey, blah, 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 blah. and instead of just addressing the person that repeated it, you walk down the hall into the the other room and go well he told me you said this this is a silly job though a bunch of rooms people yapping yes it is no one, but I no wish one I interacts only, with each other if i knew i would have bought the building you know how much money i'd be making from room rentals <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and what's wrong with blocking someone? People get Nothing. all... Yeah. Oh, I, I love the block. I mean, social networking, we didn't really know what the fuck it was at first. No. So you kind of, you know, you had to take a lot of shit when you blocked people at first. Yeah. But now it's very obvious. You've made it obvious you don't like me. Yeah. And that is fine, by the way. No surprise sure, there. Sure. That is fine. But so, I don't have to fuck. But in. why would I have to deal with that on a daily yeah. basis? So I block you. You you have decided I fucking hate your guts. Okay, you made your opinion known. Now it's go go do something else. Right. right. And, and you blocking them doesn't affect what they can post at all. Of course not. It doesn't affect anything about their life. People feel like that, you know, we should be forced to to read their negative shit on a daily basis that's <laughs> yeah. just dumb yeah well, the public eye so. we know people are gonna like us and people are gonna not like sure. us period i'd rather deal with the people that like what i do i'd rather have people telling me you have a fat wife <laughs> you don't like <laughs> your you fat wife susan you screwed up my whole weekend <laughs> I the gary sinise i couldn't stop <laughs> i was just walking around my house going it's titanium. Yeah. Like, I just couldn't <laughs> stop doing it. Titanium. And then I was trying to watch <laughs> Apollo 13, and all I was seeing is, do they have that up there? Well, I'm not going to use anything down here that they don't have up there. Oh, you're ruining it. How do we do so bad with the chicks? <laughs> <laughs> hey, people are yelling, hey, look at Fatso and AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> See, how come you married a girl with AIDS and I have a fat Asian wife named Susan? I read her ad, it says Susan. I thought she was American. <laughs> fat That's, Asian wife. All I was thinking of was your goddamn Gary Sinise impression. <laughs> oh. Which is right on. Oh, it killed me. It's so. very average, but I kept thinking That's of my fat average. wife Susan all my weekend. Fat wife my Susan. Fat wife Susan. <laughs> <laughs> He's just mad. That's the best he could do. Yeah, but they're both a million. Forrest, we're yeah. both millionaires. How come you're married to an AIDS patient? I'm married to a fat Asian lady <laughs> yeah. named Susan. Exactly. What did Susan win the lottery? That hooker was right. I am a freak and you are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, before we get too far away from uh, fantasy football, we Ooh. got the fantasy football bit. Oh, God. We're not going to break. We got to play it, though. New to Sirius XM's fantasy football show. It's the Jim Florentine Show. Putting the fun back in fantasy football. Nothing exciting about fantasy football. It's fucking guys in khakis and button downs watching football. They, they bring their laptops to a fucking sports bar to come over. Who just scored that touchdown? I go, why? I got him on my team. Fuck you. Go in the ladies' room and take a piss. It's Jim Florentine and your calls talking everything fantasy football. Hey, Jim, what's the best way to keep up with your team while the game is on? Nobody watches fucking football with a laptop open. Nobody. You have a fucking case of beer and some sandwiches and you talking about fucking getting a hand job from a stripper in the door in a commercial from the night before. Hey man, you know all your listeners love fantasy football? Alright, I don't give a shit. No fucking manly men play fantasy football. We aren't even sure why we hired him. It seems counterproductive. And we're gonna open our fucking laptops and our iPads and we're gonna have a draft. Who are you gonna take? How about taking in the ass, you fucking homos? Or your fucking fantasy football? It's just nerdness. The Jim Florentine Show on Sirius XM's Fantasy Football Channel. Go into the ladies' room and take a piss. <laughs> Good job with that. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, when when you mentioned um, yep. what I found awful about the Breakfast Club. Oh, right. So right, I was right, watching right. that earlier. Uh, I mean, yesterday. Earlier. <laughs> it was earlier. Was it Judd Nelson's bad boy at it, uh, 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 outfit? It, I, my comment was... It's back-to-back -back douche chills. There's no one moment that is like, oh, that was the one that made me go, uh. It, it's, it's, it's the whole fucking movie. The only parts that aren't douchey are those occasional funny parts, you know? Right. Very rare, sprinkled through. But the whole, oh, man, the pain of, you know, uh, and their angry dancing segment, and then... Emilio Estevez dancing at first. He's all angry and punching and, uh. and walking upstairs. And, and, and uh, You didn't like uh, the dancing? No! It's and embarrassing. Judd Nelson's so angry. Look, look like, man. Uh, look how angry uh, Judd Nelson is. Oh, Wait, go back so we can play. That's uncomfortable. Oh, it's so uncomfortable. But, I forgot and Emilio part. Estevez is not believable as the jock. If oh, you come really on, want to break man. it down. Although I thought he had the one good monologue in the entire thing. Really? Yeah, he's well, good I, as a jock. He calls him Wastoid. Oh, he oh. said Wastoid. Hey. 
Don't don't light up in here, Wastoid. Oh, Tell no. Sam to move that arrow before he's fired from this company. Oh, why, why are they dancing? Why aren't you full screen? Uh, why is there no supervision for these kids? Look, he yeah. doesn't have a hint of a oh, muscle he's on Oh, judge. man. Judd Nelson, judge. he's just mad. He's getting his anger out. By dancing. Anthony Michael Hall is just playing a dork, so him being uncomfortable is acceptable. Oh, oh boy. Oh, this is so fucking douchey. Oh, he's playing air guitar. Oh, is he Billy now? must have been playing air guitar. Oh, boy. Oh. Why would Judd Nelson do that? I don't He's know. such a badass. Why are they doing choreography? Oh, no. oh, 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 he's got. I hate the bandana tied oh, around his boot. He's got the bandana tied around his boot and he's just dancing like crazy. Worst bad guy ever. Why is this in the movie? I forgot about this scene. I did too. It's the dance so montage. Bad. That's pretty much uh, the dance montage. And Molly was. And and then and then she was cute though. She had no tits. That's right. That didn't matter. Back I needed then. Big, big tits when I was she younger. Was, um, really? The bigger the better. Jesus. I don't mind B cups. <laughs> I think they're nice. I said when I grew, when I got older, I realized you don't need big monster tits, you idiot. Uh, oh. There's more to a woman. She had nothing going on in front. Yeah. Uh, then, then there was the, the Emilio Estevez dancing scene, which yeah. was a douche chill. And then just when they're talking, it's, you know, oh, when you get older, your heart dies. I don't want that to happen. Oh, oh I don't that. shut up. Shut up, you whiny fucks. <laughs> Why was the movie so good then? Uh, I think what it was, was good that? at the time. Eighty three or something. 80, yeah, that's yeah, old that's ass right. fucking. That movie. is like that. That's it was about right. Maybe it was like the coming of age movie. Yes, coming oh, of age. Coming of age <laughs> movies. Uh, Eighty five. Eighty five. So that's what twenty seven years ago. Uh, hello, hello everybody. Yeah, Judd Nelson. I found to not be believable. Like he was not a good. I thought no. Emilio was good as as a as as a, as a, as jock. a jock. Really? Because I thought the the one monologue he had was re was at right. least good about the the shame that that kid must have felt telling his father. I thought uh, that right. was a good scene. I laughed at that. Did you? Hilarious. <laughs> it was a good scene. Tell his father that his asshole was taped yeah, shut. Yeah, his by ass a bunch hair got jocks. ripped off. How embarrassing! His ass hair got ripped out of his ass. Well, the reason why the movie did so well was because everyone could like look at one of the characters and go, oh, that's, "That's me." me. <laughs> I'm being represented. Uh, that's which one me. did you think you were? Everybody Everybody that thought they were <laughs> Judd Nelson was Anthony Michael Hall. Uh, I wanted to be uh, Emilio, but I was definitely uh, Molly Anthony or Michael Anthony Hall. Anthony Michael Hall. Anthony Michael Hall. I was the fucking nerdy fucking idiot oh, in, in school. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. It was probably fucking oh. Judd. Oh, man. You were Judd. No, you know it was Ali Sheedy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Just like, a dark, <laughs> creepy girl. <laughs> That's me. No, you were like a, you were a combination. You could do combos, too. You were yeah. a combo of Judd and Anthony Michael Hall, I would say. Yeah. yeah. Well, Judd Nelson wasn't that tough of a tough guy. You, f you saw right. in the movie, he really wasn't a tough guy. When he was, um, when he was uh, confronted... Uh, he backed right down. I was a combo of Anthony Michael Hall and Emilio because I did oh. play a lot of sports. Who, oh. What is your combo, Jim? Oh. I was a combination. I don't know if we can find a combo in this. Yeah, yeah I, you can. I, I wanted to be Judd Nelson, right? but I was Anthony Michael you Hall. You are too, right? Yeah. We uh, but are. I also kind of thought that I was like dark and interesting like, like Ali Sheedy. Um, and I would have fantasies about saying great monologues <laughs> like <laughs> Emilio Estevez. <laughs> That's a South Jersey Rick makes a great point. Anthony was the janitor in the basement. Oh. <laughs> That's who I can relate to. The janitor. Anthony oh. was the kid whose asshole hair got ripped off in the story. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> janitor. I can't believe they ripped your asshole hair out, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> My fat wife Susan has no hair on her ass because she's Asian. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast Club first. Have some breakfast, stupid. <laughs> I, I, I didn't like watching Breakfast Club. It I liked was, uh, that 16 Candles when it first came out. Uh, that's pretty boring, that, that fucking movie. 16 Candles? Yeah, I always get these confused. Really? Which one's which? And Wasn't then you watch more... 16 Candles and realize it's fucking But the Donger made it fun, didn't he? The who? Yeah, I guess so. I guess the movie doesn't hold up. Eh, it's kind of fucking... Ugh. I don't know. And then she has the birthday cake with the, the fucking stud at the uh, end. Ugh. Does he just fuck the shit out of her? And well, they don't show you that part. Her. You know he was trying to get his fingers smelly. Oh, yeah. 
fill all on his finger. But they gotta, you know, they they gotta keep it nice. It's Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. that's the only reason he went to that house with that dumb cake. <laughs> what year was that? Like that? And Pretty in Pink. They, Molly Ringwald had Breakfast Club, Pretty in Pink, Sixteen Candles. And those you forget now, but they were all monster movies. Dude, they were massive. Monster. What else did she have? Like what is it? What was that? Like eighty? I'm gonna guess eighty four to eighty seven oh. or eighty eight or something. Oh, yeah, and she right. played the exact same person. So yeah, in Pretty in Pink, she was the same chick, but she didn't have money. But at Breakfast Club, she was the rich girl. <laughs> oh, right? no, yeah, I think you're right, though. What was the, what was the story of uh, Pretty in Pink? I forget. Uh, she was trying to get the popular uh, kid to like her, but she was from the other side of the tracks. Isn't that the fucking... That's every fucking movie. No, nah, because Breakfast Club, she had her choice of guys. That was the conflict there. Well, that was Breakfast Club, but it's the same movie as uh, Sixteen Candles. She's trying to get the, the popular guy. Right. Yeah, Sixteen Candles was 84. Breakfast Club, 85. Uh, Pretty in Pink, 86. And was there anything like around 87 or 88? Or that was the last of her. That was the last of her. Like, How weird is your movies. career where it's like you got three movies in three years. You got, you got to think to yourself, oh, fuck, this is going to last forever. What was her next movie? After Pretty in Pink? Yeah. Uh, a TV series called Tall Tales and Legends, and then a movie called PK and the Kid. Oh, oh boy. boy. Kind of a drop off. That's a, she did that series with Bill Burr. Does everybody remember Bill and her did the Townies? She was in. Oh no, kid. Oh, I, I, that was probably after two thousand, though. I think. Now, Jesus, Molly. Yeah, Molly. Well, what happened Jesus to you, Christ, Molly? Well, what happened to you, Molly? <laughs> well, Where well, are you? Well, she got it back on track, right? <laughs> fucking Illuminati took her career away. <laughs> yeah, you probably because you put the fucking money in the bank, right, Molly? <laughs> Half squinting and psychotic, isn't realize she's left the room. <laughs> Crazy Bill is just yelling at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Bill is crazy. Oh, then she went with the pickup bars. That was supposed to be her big comeback movie uh, uh, a mere uh -oh. couple years later. Oh, uh, boy. That fell flat. All right, but she must have came back eventually. After then yeah, what? Yeah, then what? Uh, for keeps. Oh, boy. No, that didn't do oh, well. Oh, God. It's her and who and a baby. Yeah, that, that was didn't 88. Do well. Nothing from 88 is good to look nope. back on. No. Keep going. She had to have the comeback. She was in King Lear. What's that one? Fresh Horses. Oh, boy. No. Wow, this Cincinnati, is really not working out. It's a Cincinnati college student breaks off his engagement to his wealthy fiance. <laughs> After he falls in love with a backwoods Kentucky girl, he meets at a party. Now, that's 1988. So she's probably 20 or whatever. Never heard of that movie either. No. So you, you get three big hits, so they give you at least 10 more movies to try to you know, turn oh, it around yeah. again. What was the next one? Women and Men Stories of Seduction. Oh, my made God. Made for TV. No fucking idea. What's the next one? Strike, Strike it, it Rich. Oh, my God. Oh, what year are no. up to now? Oh, look at that cover. 90. 90. Oh, that's 90. By 90, she's completely done. Yeah. Go back. Uh, let's say, um, where's the rest of her movies? That, she doesn't look like All that right. now, does she? Uh, okay. Betsy's Wedding. That was with Alan Alda, I Something believe. Something to it? Live For. Go to Betsy's Wedding. Go to Betsy's was Wedding. Was Sammy Alan Alda in that one? Is that the one? Yeah, good call. It is him. Yeah, I think that was supposed to be her big comeback movie. Yes. <laughs> and they dragged Alan Alda in there to help her out. Oh. I don't think it did that well. To my daughter, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then uh, Face the Music. Some folks, what? Call, call it, it a Sling Blade. Call it a Sling Blade. Oh. Short. Oh my oh, god. Oh, she was in the short of Sling Blade. That's right. Is that was that really I a I think she was the reporter or the uh the one that was writing the story. Did you on click it. on that Sam before I touch you? That was before the movie came out? Yeah. But who's playing so him? So at that point she's doing independent. He's shit. playing him. Oh wait, Billy Bob and JT Walsh are in this? Yeah, yeah. It's the short that uh they actually finally made Sling Blade out of. I've never seen this. Oh, it's it's the beginning part. It's only the part where they're in the hospital and the girls come to talk to him and right. interview him and he tells the story about... Uh, but you got to remember, it was before we knew who Billy Bob there. was. Yeah. We didn't know him yet. No. So, so she was doing some independent shit to get yeah. her career back on track. Yeah. So this is... Uh, so Sling Blade, do they... Well, she's not in the, in the movie Sling Blade, right? No. Oh, okay. No, they got some Pretty other back, shit. Sam. Stop it. And then, of course, uh, wow, if the next one is um, uh, The Stand... Where she was actually uh, the love interest of Gary Sinise. <laughs> oh, no kidding. <laughs> my, wife's got, my fat wife's got red hair on her pussy. <laughs> so we were watching the honeymooners, and someone said, Get a load of fat so and she ran in the room and said, Who's talking to me? <laughs> Forrest, your wife has AIDS. <laughs> you really are stupid. That hooker was right. AIDSy. <laughs> AIDSy and fat so. Get a load of fat so and AIDSy. <laughs> See, we brought her right back around. How amazing are we?
Oh, That's God. a full circle right there. Exactly. Townies was 96. Townies. Wow. So, but she had those three in a yeah. row, man. Un- unstoppable, some would say. Yep. She was. Um, three uh, underscore days. Horrible Twitter name, brother. Horrible. How, how are we going to remember that? 16 Candles has uh, the best boobs on a boob double ever. Do you, what scene? Who showed the boobs in 16 Candles? I don't recall. Could you uh, go to Mr. Skin or something like that? And which one was Ducky in? Ducky was pretty in pink. Oh. What did he want to do? Uh, nothing for literally 15 years, and then he got uh, two and a half men. I don't know. That looks like Molly oh, Ringwald. Oh, right. But he literally was dead in the water. I remember when me and Ann first started radio, he was wandering around the museum we were broadcasting at. Do you remember this? Who? The Ducky guy. I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah, yeah, name. yeah. Uh, John Cryer, right? Yeah. John Cryer showed up at the thing, even though he wasn't scheduled, hoping that someone would interview him. Someone would talk to him. He, he had no career for well over a decade, and now, oh, look, yeah. he's one of the highest paid fucking uh, sitcom stars. He had a couple of really lousy uh, uh, pilots and stuff. Wow. Unbelievable. I swear to God, Caroline Mulford had to fuck about nine grades. Truly makes me ill. She's perfect. Mm, that's all right, man. What? Um, I don't. I don't remember that from Sixteen Candles. Do you? Uh-uh. No. What am I a homo? Oh, I like that noise. Oh. Wait, John Cryer. Uh, oh, is Two and a Half Men coming back with Kusher? Kutcher? Oh yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, they're doing yeah. okay. Okay. You know, not as good as when Charlie was there, but enough to keep the show going. Oh, I got eggs instead of yeah, tuna, we- so I got to eat them before they get cold and right. rubbery. Nothing worse than fucking cold eggs. I'll tell you what's worse. What? Having to leave today at 8 to do fucking jury duty. Oh, Jimmy. I can't do it. I'm fucking, I'm doing red eye tonight. I can't yeah. do it. No. Well. I'm not giving up a fucking TV appearance, writing for a TV appearance. No, you're not going to be there all day. But you have to, I have to write. I mean, I'm, I, oh, I see what yeah. you're saying. I get the topics. You have to write. You can't just walk in cold. Oh, I know. You can't just act Ooh. like a lunatic. They're onto all that shit. Oh, I won't. You got to be a little more clever down there these days. Yeah. I don't know what you could do. Maybe you want some suggestions? How to get out of jury duty? We could do that next. You nice. Tell them you're on this show. There's a yeah, good chance that's usually that not That usually take helps. You. Really? Yeah, yeah, If they're a fan or not a fan, you're usually out. <laughs> that's what happened to me. They knew what the show was. Uh, There's enough shit to Google. Yeah, I mean, one of the, yeah, one of the guys was a listener. Right. Like one of the lawyers, one of the attorneys. Right. So he was How a long were you there for? Mm, I got there probably around 8, and I was out by noon. All right, I, I See, can handle that. The problem is you're going to have to sit in the big room. You, you can't even plead your case. You, you go up to the big desk, and they're like, yeah, 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 because everyone has a story. Yeah. So you have to just fucking sit there for a while. Did you see the video about jury duty? That they play? No, they didn't give us a video. Oh, man, it was great. Really? Oh, it might yeah. be worse in the city, too. I don't it's know. So bad. Because mine was in Westchester. Yeah, I'm hoping I can talk to somebody, because uh, not only am I on this radio program every day, and am I doing Red Eye tonight, but I'm leaving Thursday to do Irvine, and it's like, if, if I get put on something, what, am I going to cancel a gig? Of course, mm-hmm. I can't do that. You should uh, bring in one of those daddies. Oh, T- TS? Yeah, t- t- bring in one of the, uh, you know. Train. Oh, this is train. My, <laughs> with my, my lady friend. <laughs> my lady friend, Gil. Right. <laughs> Gil. <laughs> well, uh, should we break so we can eat some eggs and yeah, shit? Let's yes, do please. That. We should do a montage of the first things we say when these mics go on. We should do a montage of the first thing to the first thing when these mics go on. We should do a montage. 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 Because even after all these years, it's, it's just dumb little noises. Ha <laughs> ha, noises.
this morning. Let's do it. How we doing this morning? Let's do it. Let's do it. Stayed home. Just chilled out. Stayed home. Chilled. I chilled. Yeah. And um, we'll just watch crappy television. That's mm-hmm. uh, that's what I do. Yeah. I, I realized I watched like the same four things. And then during the time that the same four things are on, I just uh, rally around the guide looking for something better that never Rally is around on. the guide. That's it. Just fucking. And I realized shows. nothing what is, is uh, really on. What are the four shows? Toddlers and Tiaras. Well, <laughs> Are you a Honey Boo Boo fan? Mm, well, nah, I, I watched a couple episodes. If, it's, if, if I stumble across it, I'll probably watch it, but I don't search it out. I love the show. <clears throat> so easy to goof on, but it's a great show. That family's pretty fucked up. You know oh, what yeah. I like about Honey Boo Boo? Every time they show the house, they show the train going by. Yeah, the train. How close are they to the train? It's like a foot <laughs> away from their house, it looks like. <laughs> what a horrible, horrible uh, house they got. Yeah. I would imagine in the area they live, they probably could have got a shittier, a shitty house away from the t- the train tracks. Yeah. Did Did you see the episode where she pulled the sock off and showed her showed uh, her a forklift? Foot. Did you see the bugs around it? Yeah. It what the fuck? Thugs. She had like bugs you find that scene? in her toenail, and and oh, it was disgusting. <laughs> she fucking disgusting. How do you get that? And how do you just allow bugs to be around your big toe all the time? She's disgusting. Ew, insects. Dude, yes. I don't know what the fuck it was. It, w- it like looked like gnats. little ants or something. Yeah. Uh, like tiny little ants. She pulled the sock off because she walks around with the sock on at all times, which can't be good. And then, uh, is this the same? That's ah, a shitty fucking version. Why isn't this stuff online? What's wrong with TLC? I don't know. And did you watch oh. the conjoined uh, twin show yet? No, I haven't seen that one yet. All right, here we go. Her foot was run over by a forklift. And look at the it's bugs. Dead. Look at this bugs in it. Did you see? Wait, go back. Go back. Go back. Look, there's, there's fucking... Should we get, wake up Dr. Steve? How is that possible? Sam! It'll, it'll, it'll show again. See the bugs? Ew! What is that? What am... What'd they say? Why are all the gnats around it? <laughs> she said, because, but they're like living under the nail. It looks they're like nesting. it looks like it. Yeah. Why didn't they explain that? Because they just figured you would know. It's because she's a disgusting they're fucking all mess. Running around her to- How would you? Why how would? You, how would he sleep with her and fuck her? Oh, because because <laughs> Sugar Bear is a mess too. Sugar Bear is on something. Well, uh, many suggesting Yuck. it could be the crystal meth. Because he sits on the couch for the interviews when they're interviewing the whole family, and his eyes will roll back into yeah, his head. Yeah, roll back in his head, and he just, like, looks at it, the family, and is like, ugh. ugh. It's horrible. Does anyone know uh, what that bug thing's about? Fuck, man. Do you know what the bug thing's about? Should it's, we get Dr. Steve on the it's phone? It's about the most disgusting fucking thing. Anybody uh, helping you out down there? Eh? What's the bug thing about? <laughs> no, I'm not seeing any help, really. Because wouldn't that drive you nuts if you knew bugs were living in your big toe? Dude, they think? were running around and in and out. It's like an anthill that got disturbed. There's a lot of them. <sighs> Nesting. That's like the second she pulled her sock off, they just fucking... I think she's only 38. <laughs> I don't even think she's that she's old. She's a monster, dude. I don't even, dude. I don't think she's that old. Well, she has a seventeen-year-old that she had. Oh yeah, you're right. She might be like she's 32. thirty-two. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, she's 32. thirty-two. Oh, and she just looks horrid. Oh, damn, and, is she bad? And Honey Boo Boo's sister had a baby with uh, three thumbs. Yeah, yeah. 
Another fucking inbred white trash fucking know. thing going on. How do you get the three thumbs? Ew. Oh my god, I see pigs everywhere. Yeah. What is this? Just a clip? Your mama. Oh, who gives a fuck? Looking at mom. We want the clip with the bugs. The bugs. I don't know what the bugs are about. <clears throat> Should we wake up Dr. Steve? You trying? E Rock, yeah. wake, wake that guy up. We want to know why there's bugs living under a big toe. Well, it all depends on what the toe is toe exposed down. to. A lot of times the gnats will eat discarded skin. Yeah. And it's actually uh, it's actually good for the toe. Uh, ugh. That can't be good. I'm sure it's because it's fucking like a disgusting, wounded thing. And, or is it and dead? the second she pulled her sock off, bugs just fucking... Is, you think that's what happened? ...went on it. Yeah, they were gnats, I think. They were winged gnats. <laughs> a, a gnat. Oh, my God. Nope, I know a guy down a sewer, not burn bomb. He don't spell it like that. He don't spell it with a G. Oh, what are your shows then? Oh, oh, uh, the four shows. Uh, well, Pawn Stars. I gotta watch that Pawn Stars these days. Even though it's the same fucking scenario every time. Every single time. Uh, but they found and then, a formula. Uh, Seinfeld. I, I'll always still. Put, huh? I'll always put Seinfeld on. I just can't <laughs> stop. I'm addicted to it. Uh, it's crazy. That's chill. History Channel. Yeah, History Channel uh, has a lot of uh, good show. I've noticed the History Channel, though, really steering clear of history. I, it's like, they, they, they were doing some kind of UFO shit this weekend. Like uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, ancient astronauts, that yeah. whole thing. Ancient astronauts. Nice. Yeah. So uh, I, I was watching. I like the History Channel, anything on there. I don't know. They kind of rotate the, the, the amount of shows that I watch. It's... Uh, but but I always come back to the same like shows every every fucking day. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, you just look for something else. There's nothing there. I'm pissed off at that uh, me TV because they took Canon off at eleven o'clock in the morning. I usually would go home and take my little nap before uh, the trainer comes over, and I'd watch Canon. Mm. Canon, <laughs> a Quinn Martin production. They I'll... took that off, so now I'm all angry. They put on stupid fucking Rockford Files. Oh, God. I know. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I like shows about unsolved mysteries. Mm. You know, there's a bunch of big, huge rock balls in the middle of, a, middle of a forest somewhere, and they don't know how those were made either. Yeah. Yeah. I know I'm being vague, but I'm I'm gonna now look it up. I heard the, some I, crazy I, shit. I, huh? I heard some crazy shit on that ancient alien thing uh, yesterday, and it was really ridiculous. They're talking about these. You think that's weapons, bullshit? These weapons that were um, uh, uh, in Russia, and then they sank into the fucking ground, and yeah, and it's leaving radiation, and I don't know. I'm not buying any of that shit. There'd be something. Uh, There'd be something. I'm trying to find this thing. It and uh, that fucking, because 9-11's tomorrow, you know, so uh, so uh, there was a lot of 9-11 specials on, and there's this fact or fiction thing, and I had that on for one minute, and I wanted to shoot my television. Why? Because one of those fucking loose change cocksuckers oh, really? was yapping, and they had uh, demolition experts come in and destroy a building and show how it's done with the explosives and the prep work that it takes to uh, have a controlled demolition of a building is insane. It's insane, the prep work. Sometime, and they were saying uh, something, uh, the, a skyscraper could take four months of just prep work before they're ready to bring it down. And these motherfuckers were saying, well, of course they're saying that. Uh, a lot of the, these uh, demolition crews do work for the government, so... Like they're in on it. It's just like they're in on it. And then the other thing they were saying was, well, that's the old technology. Because they, 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 they destroy the building, and then the demolition guys are walking around the site going, there is so much evidence that this was a controlled demolition. He goes, look, this cord, like the primer cord stuff laying all over, pieces of the, um, the uh, uh, shit that they used to fasten the explosives, the I-beams have been cut with these shape charges, all this evidence that you could tell it was demolished by explosives, by a, a professional company. And then the, the dumb loose change people. Well, they're using newer technology. It's top secret technology that destroyed that building. It's not the consumer level that they're using. So they explain it by saying, there's a secret way to do it. A newest, <laughs> bestest secret way. But that's like uh. getting, it's like getting mad at 13-year-olds. Because they all are like yes. little, little baby boys and baby girls who are mad at mommy. That's yes. A, but it, you can't... I've I've stopped even getting mad at them because they're so valueless in their opinions. I was I, I 
I couldn't help but get angry because I'm just like the, the the proof is right there. There's so much. There's no evidence to support their side except for their dumb, fucking, worthless. Uh, bullshit. I understand why JFK conspira- conspiracy theorists think that. Like, I-, I don't think that they're morons for thinking it could be a conspiracy. Right. I get it. Yeah. But it's on nine eleven. Anyone that thinks it was a conspiracy that involved the government and, or the or the controlled demolition, you're just a dumb motherfucker. Like, so you're dumb. many they're, fucking people would have had to be. You're involved. a dummy. You're an idiot. They don't believe the planes actually hit the building. <sighs> so what did all those people? Yeah, that's say? another thing. Oh, they got off in fucking uh, Cleveland. But I then think. what hit the buildings that everyone saw? Oh, the government uh, made planes. It, it's like yeah. little children. It's like a game of Dungeons and Dragons. It's like you just yeah, make things you make up. Things up. It's like Iraq's fan fiction. Right. It's just made up. Yeah. Mm. Well, the Ultimate Warrior and the Hulk were in the plane, oh, and yeah, they flew yeah, yeah. it in and right, jumped right. out. Well, we all know the Hulk was well, responsible. I've seen videos of Hulk peeking out behind the building. I did this for Where you. Where are you going? <laughs> I did this for you. I did this for you. <laughs> 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 Fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. When's the new iPhone out? Soon, right? Uh, yeah, another week or so, I think. Yeah, they announced it on Wednesday. Oh, it hasn't been. You can't even pre-order it yet. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, there's a. Uh, someone's got to find this website I was at, and it's all these like mysteries that are unsolved. And um, there's a bunch of big fucking rock balls, perfect balls in the forest somewhere that I want to bring to your attention, and rock I can't find balls. I can't find the site. It's driving me nuts. Ooh. And then it's all those. Uh, another one is the lights out there. Uh, I think it might be Arizona that just hover. Yeah, Hov- hovering hover lights. above the ground, and they they still don't know what the fuck that is. Mm, scary. They're acknowledging it's something, but they can't figure out exactly the theories on what it is. Anyway, it was well, when a- I take my motor home trip uh, next summer out to the desert. Uh, I'm going to check all that shit. You out. should check that I am. out. Going to Roswell, bitches. But Are no, you really? Yeah, I'm just going to go out west. But Roswell is nothing there. I don't care. I'm gonna fucking eat, a balloon I'm gonna fell there once, and they know. built the whole shit town around it. <laughs> <laughs> it's right here where the alien yeah. heads were. No, they weren't. <laughs> a balloon fell. It did. <laughs> but you'll be in the <laughs> desert. I don't care. I like the. I desert. like. I like driving through the desert. Yeah, it's cool. Well, I only did it a couple times, but I Ooh, thought it was cool. Stone fuck. balls of Costa Rica. Yeah. Holy All shit. Right. So yeah, and it's got stone balls, and they don't know why these fucking balls are in the middle of the woods in Costa Rica. <laughs> And who built them and all that shit? Now, I never heard of the the balls that co- the Costa Rica. How big are they? Some are really big, and some are uh, like bowling balls and stuff. Yeah, but they get really big as well. Like why? Look, look at that one. <clears throat> that one's got to be uh, seven Pretty foot spherical. high, seven to eight foot high, and it's perfectly round. No one knows uh, where they came from. No, I just laying around the fucking forest of Costa Rica. It's crazy. That's what I'm getting at. What is the theory on that? Look at that. Just a bunch of balls. Rock balls. <laughs> and they don't they can't really figure out how they would have been able to engineer those. Really? Yeah. Because they're perfect. How old are they? Uh, about 10, 20 years. <laughs> I think from the seventies. <laughs> I don't know. Stones are believed to have been carved between 200 B.C. and 1500 A.D. How the fuck do you do that? But With the, primitive tools, Ant. Well, you know. <laughs> I'll just I mean, say, how well, do you do that? You know. But they don't have any idea. By the way, I think we had some shit on this planet and something massive happened. You and think? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I think some shit th- was here before us, man. You see how time is looked at? We're not sure of the date. Somewhere between 200 B.C. and 1500. They give like a 1700 year right. window. Yep. That's exactly what we were talking about. Yeah. Today. Like, is that mm. bad? No, but it's kind of the way you look at time. Like, yeah, it, could, it was anywhere between. You never hear it was either between two thirty BC and two twenty seven BC, and, and that's completely acceptable. Yeah, that's how many generations would have to live in that time period where they're yeah. like, no, nah, it's in that period. <laughs> yeah, seventeen or eighteen. What else uh, do we know about the balls of Costa Rica? Nothing. Mm, not much. No. The balls of Costa Rica. I wish I fucking could find this goddamn link. I'm on so many fucking things on my phone. I don't. I was flipboarding mm. that, and oh. I don't. I don't know where the fuck it was. But there was other ones that were pretty cool too. Mm. They had the Zodiac Killer. That was that's another mystery. Obviously, never solved. Mystery. They had the DB uh, Cooper thing. Yes. They had the hovering lights. They keep thinking they're getting close to DB Cooper too. Amelia Earhart's another one that they think they're getting close to. There's an expedition out now. They 
There's a famous photo of what they think is her airplane yes. wheel with the undercarriage yeah, sticking yeah. up. was taken on, a, on a, a ship for years ago. They were saying that uh, what they believe happened now with Amelia Earhart is uh, she landed her, her uh, out-of-fuel plane um, or on an like malfunctioning or plane on an island, mm -hmm. landed on the beach... Um, whether it was a nice soft landing or a, a busted up the machine a little bit, uh, still to be determined. And then um, the uh, water just pulled the plane into the ocean. Wow. And that was it. And they found like some of the plane parts in the water. So what happened to her? They found some kind of freckle cream uh, a bottle, bottle or something, yeah. that she used to use. Freckle cream? Yeah, she hated her freckles. Oh, so she covered so that she shit up? She covered her freckles. Really? And they found that. So she was a ginger? Oh yeah, yeah, ah. she was quite the ginger. Ah. Her, her and her guy, probably the guy, the, the um. Yeah, she was with a co-pilot kind of guy. I heard she got a really oh. bad case of poison ivy her. that she just never got over. Really? Oh, yeah, as they were in the oh. jungle looking for bananas oh. to eat. She wiped her hiney with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wiped her hiney yeah, with it. She never recovered. So they think she, they probably lived out their lives on the, our lives on this island, just never found. Yeah, never found. If they lived, that if is. they lived at all. Do yeah. they wander around the island to see if you can live out your life on the island? There's nothing much on that island. It's not so like how a are you movie. living out your life. I think you're just dying of starvation. <laughs> their life was a week. <laughs> but they romanticized and said that uh, oh, they lived out their life yeah. here. But when they have more signs of what she was doing on the island, you maybe think, the weather will blow it away. After yeah, all that's years. some harsh fucking weather out there, I bet. Yeah. I betcha. It didn't affect the balls of Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, Dr. Steve only has a few minutes. Dr. Steve. Hey, boys. How are you, sir? Sorry I'm late. Uh, we have uh, we have uh, the Honey Boo Boo. We got the mom. I don't know her name. The mom on that show. She has a forklift toe, meaning she had a forklift run over her toe, and the toe is pretty much dead or really fucked up. They uh, they showed the toe on Honey Boo Boo the other night, where she took off her sock that she wears constantly, and uh, the toe was pretty fucked up, and there were a lot of bugs around it. Yeah. Bugs. Now, would the bugs appear immediately when she took the sock off, or are these bugs living in the wound? Well, they may be living in the wound. Uh, uh, how the fuck you get rid of that? Well, first you have to seek medical care, and you have to have good hygiene. Good hygiene. And, uh, <laughs> she, uh, she may have a thing called subungual myiasis, which is a great thing to Google uh, image on, and uh, that's where... Uh, you have damaged tissue under the toenail, and uh, flies like the smell of dead tissue, so they get in there and they lay eggs, and then you get maggots under the toenail. Uh, these were like uh, very tiny. They call them gnats on the show, but I don't know. Okay. They look well, the other thing that's common to, to uh, lay eggs under the toenail are uh, chiggers. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, shit. Jesus Christ. Dr. Steve. Oh, God, shit. Dr. Steve. Come on now. <laughs> Love the chigger. <sighs> the, uh, I think the, uh, the scientific name for chigger is Tunga Penetrans. Oh, and, uh, science. Will penetrate the skin or, uh, tissue under the toenail and then they'll grow. So they'll, you know, they'll lay their eggs and they'll grow under there and they'll crawl around. And, oh. That um, they separate the toenail from the toe, so there's space in there for stuff to get in. Uh, yeah. How do you sleep at night with this uh, all this racket under your toenail? Yeah, how, with knowing there's chiggers under your toenail, right. how, how does that, how do you doze off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what they would normally do is remove the toenail and clean out all the dead skin and stuff, and then you, you the problem solved. But right. Sounds like she's not seeking appropriate medical care. Well, yeah. she's a big TV star now, so she probably <laughs> should, right? Oh, and such a uh, a good representative uh, of the of Southern culture. Jesus, yes. makes us all look like you know what you know what I can't stand when I see a nice girl with a chigger on her arm. Oh boy, <laughs> <laughs> you know it's just on her. Ugh, gross, it's disgusting. Yeah, if you ask me, such a fucking asshole. <laughs> 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 Oh, jeez. Uh, well, I get my kids to school. But, uh, oh, hey, man. lucky you. I was just going to tell you, if, uh, <laughs> yeah. if you want to make Bobby puke the next time, uh, Google oral myiasis. That's where uh, people have such bad dental care that they have maggots growing and living <laughs> oh, in their God mouth. God, where is this? 
It's M Y I A S I S. Yeah, we have it. Let's follow, let's look it up, Sam, on YouTube or videos. Should we do videos? Or yeah, just uh, I can't watch this kind of shit. <laughs> oh. We're looking at a, a pink napkin or whatever with bugs on it or something. Uh, Why does it have bugs on it? Because they just took it out of someone's Doctor fucking mouth. You know, you know. What? Why do they have bugs on this thing? Abscess. This? Oh. And these video. are all the flesh-eating bugs. They're pulling the bugs out and putting it on the paper? They like the putrefying gangrenous yeah. flesh. Oh, fuck, do you get bugs yeah, in your gums? Yeah. You know how bad her breath must be? Oh, oh my god. god. Hey, bug breath. Intentionally keep this I can't watch. How do you get this, Steve? Just bad. This is scarier uh, than Slender Man. Not brushing your teeth. It's coming a bit more now. You got to the point where you got bugs in there? Yeah. Yeah, what happens is uh, they'll uh, uh, the, get like really infected, dead sockets and stuff, and then sleep with your out on the street with your mouth open. And the flies will get in there and lay eggs, and eventually they'll hatch, and you'll get maggots, you know, crawling around inside your mouth. Jesus. Why is this guy's elbow breathing? Oh fuck! I can't. What even is look a at moving that. wound? <laughs> this has twelve million views. What is a moving wound? It's well, the moving wound may have uh, bot fly larva under it. Bot flies. How do you get to the point where you got a huge? How big was that? That was like a pancake-sized wound on his elbow, and it's breathing. Yeah. By, by the way, in this thing where they show you other videos and after moving wound, the bottom right one is dice on CNN. <laughs> <laughs> Up with moving what <laughs> magic wins. <laughs> uh, that's, oh, that's funny. funny. Uh, All right. Fucking have nice. a good day, boys. All right. Wait, you're going to leave us hanging with the moving yeah, wound? Yeah, you hanging with that. He's a busy man. <laughs> All right. Next time. Okay, I'll see you. Next time we'll learn about moving wounds. I've that's seen fun. footage of that. Um, could you get more That thing was videos? breathing. Uh, it was going up and down. I can't. Or on my head, oh. Up and down drastically, too. Not just a little bit. Andrew. I can't. You want to take a look at it no. again? No, I you can't sure? look at any of this more shit. Videos. It makes me uh, woozy. Gives me the heebie-jeebies. The heebs and as the they call it. The heebie-jeebies. Leeches in nose. India. That's where all these things are. Uh, of are course they India. are. Fucking India. Because so many people Disease live in garbage fucking there. fucking continent Oof. over there. Oh. Look at this. Out of the nasal cavity. Oh, they're shit. They're pulling up a nest of maggots. Okay, I can't. Move. And they're clinging to the inside of the nose. They don't want to let go. They don't want to leave. God. Home sweet home. Look at this. Some engine's nose. How disgusting is this? Oh, God. I would be picking my nose all day long. Oh, oh I God. I would just be digging. I wouldn't eat it, though. Oh, God. Let's see. How do you get a shit bed flies. How do you get fucking flies living in your fucking oh, schnoz? Oh, the, They put creatures in our bodies. And you can see it's bleeding because the maggots are hanging on and feeding. Oh. This is horrific. This is one of the worst videos I've ever seen. Would you suck this guy's nose? Oh, oh God. Sam. Stop it. You think he blew his nose and like saw a maggot and was like, I better go to the doctor. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's terrible. Right. That Enough of terrible. that shit. It, I can't. Fucking bugs living on you. And we all have bugs on us. I know people will say oh, that, but I mean, you don't want to be able to see them when yeah, your socks like the come off. Microscopic, microscopic exactly. ones. Yeah. The microscopic it. bugs. Keep Mike? That. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we were talking about you uh, before the show, Jimmy. You know, the, uh, the pizza guy that um, picked up Obama over the weekend? Yes. It, we felt like it was your your character, Josh. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, because he was he's all like before he picks him up, he's all like, hey, come on. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, he's so annoying. How are you allowed to pick up the fucking president? Like I that? think that they were. Pro I'm gonna guess they were joking around and oh, Obama's yeah, attitude, and he probably just grabbed him and. I don't. What made Secret Service? Secret Service not wrestle him? Because they might have felt the vibe was like, yeah. Uh, well, he could have body slammed him. Yeah. Well, when the president goes into, let's say, in this case, a pizza joint, it's a safe zone. They already have it checked out, you know, up and down. And then they get a few people in there to make believe. No, man, he just walked into the business. Yeah. So they knew everyone in there. You know, there's not sure. much they could do. But it's still kind of fucking crazy. Dude, he just picked them up. I, I know. You don't, you don't see anybody moving forward to make sure. You know, it's it's, it's all that's on intrusive. This guy's a fucking one of these alpha male shit. You don't like the alpha males? No. Oh, we got Come on, you got it. She froze up on me already, man. Come on. Uh. <laughs> it's one of my workers, Jess. They have their arms around each other. Let me tell you, Scott, you were, you were like the biggest pizza uh, parlor owner I've ever seen, man. You have no idea. Look at this guy. Everybody, look at these guns. Uh, Pointing out his guns. Like his that. big arms. This guy's in good shape. <laughs> Now he's doing the Josh around, thing. Shaking hands. He hugs him. And now he picks Obama up. Right. Just picking up the president. 
Giving them that bear hug yeah, where you lift them I'm off so the feet. Excited. Man, are you a power lifter or what? I don't know. Uh, they have to be. Lift your skinny ass. <laughs> Good to see you, man. I think God, he, this guy just a, loved touching the president. You see I the guess, end, yeah. You see the end of that? He was going to go for the ball thing, where you just tap the ball. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> looks so silly. Ah, 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 see, ah, 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 that's see. how the guy is. He's just like that. Ah, I want to hey. pick Sam up. Let Josh pick you up. I don't want Josh to pick me up. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with Josh. Uh, Josh. Obama is really yes. skinny, huh? Yeah. yeah. He kind of has has that like Chris Rock body. Yeah. Yeah. Man, he's just fuck it. He, that's the by the so, way, that's the best meeting the president video ever. <laughs> no, no one who's ever met a president on video has a better president meeting video yeah. than that. You think that and picture will be that? in his pizza shop forever? Oh my oh, god! Him lifting up the president and fucking the uh, and the girl freezing up taking the picture. Yeah, I would risk getting fired in front of everybody. I would just ask him for a picture because they're probably gonna don't ask for pictures. But I would just do it. It's like who cares if you get fired from the pizza joint? Oh, you would. You would definitely ask. Yeah, yeah, ah, yeah. joshing around. Hey. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and now is that going to be like the the new thing now to oh, pick sure. up the president? Well, I they're hope gonna, so. They're all gonna bash people in the head for trying it. Yeah, yeah. it'll be what the are they Secret called? Service. Hankley like, wanted to pick up like fucking Lennon. <laughs> I mean, oh, Reagan. God. Oh, boy. Oh. They'll turn this into something because it's like everyone was T-bowing, planking. Yeah. Uh, what was the horse? The horse so on. Getting fucked to death by Getting it. fucked by, yeah, <laughs> horses. What was it called? Horse. Uh, I don't know. Horse where, you make, where you make believe your fucking head is off your body. Oh, that's uh, right. The horse thing yeah. from that movie thing, but they had a name for it. Uh, and then they, uh, then they did, of course, uh, East Wooding, where you take a picture of yourself with an empty chair. Ah, uh, so that's funny. Sure. I headless it. Horseman. No, they called it something else. No, though. I thought it was Headless Horseman. That's what Edgar uh, Head horse, is saying. Horse. Horse. They, they, had a, they, had a, they had a cutesy name for it for the fucking internet. Horse. Put a horse in there. Horse. horse. Yeah, whatever. Maybe it is just a headless horseman. Maybe that guy is right. I think it is. I took a picture of myself fat oh. Susaning. <laughs> it's where you stand next to somebody with a big fat head. It's <laughs> <laughs> almost your fat wife. <laughs> it's your titanium legs. It's your titanium legs, stupid. Your titanium. Yeah. Yes. He's on the space shuttle. Your space shuttle. <laughs> hey, dumbbell and Legos are going out with AZ and Fatso. <laughs> 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 I love it. Yeah. <laughs> a fucking dumbass movie that was, too. You don't have the name that you came up with? No, I've just seen The Headless Horseman. Headless Horseman? Is yeah. that what it's called? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, they'll try to figure out how to capitalize on, you know, bear hugging the president. Yeah. What a set of bulls to Not do bad. that. I mean, you know. So the president got a little bump from the DNC? I guess so. His poll numbers four, are up four, a little bit. Four percent, I think. Yeah, uh, four points, five points, somewhere around there. It's going to be very close, I think, though. Yeah, yeah. that'll come back down to earth a little it's bit. It's all the uh, swing states. That's all that matters. You mean the only states that actually think? Right. The only states <laughs> that actually weigh the difference. And people go, no, here's why it's a swing state. Shut up. <laughs> if you don't know what they're going to be. If they have to campaign harder in those states because those states are, are unpredictable, then yeah. those are smart states, and the rest of us are fucking dummies. We're yeah. dumb in New York? New York. Dummies. Always goes Democrat. Yeah. And it's ridiculous. You're going to leave your house for a wasted vote, Ed. No, because I'm also going to vote for, uh, you know, other peoples. That have a real chance? Yeah. You know, it's my local elections. What I and, mean by um, that is Mitt Romney has no fucking chance in New York State. Not... Well, well Yeah. You know, not a chance. Not not even fuck. It. He won't even campaign. You're right. You know what? It is kind of a wasted vote when you think it. Like people say, voting for a third party is a wasted vote. Yeah. But I mean, why is voting for Romney in New York not a wasted vote? I, it is. You're right. It's a wasted I, fucking vote. Nah, I think if you vote, it's not a waste. I'm going to vote this year. I haven't voted since like Ross Perot. Vote. I'm voting this year. But uh, also, you know, you're voting in some uh, uh, congressmen, senators, things like that. You got to. Make sure uh, uh, you pick those motherfuckers. Is Chucky Shoe up for a re-election? Chuck Schumer. Yuck. I just like his niece. You, oh. do, you do know they're related, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I had no idea. Yeah. The Amy Schumes and the Chuck Schumes. Yeah. They're related. Close? Uh, Cousin, I think, or, or niece. But I mean close related. Whether they're close or not is different, but...
Oh yeah, blood oh, wise, they're close. Blood-wise, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. He probably watches around Comedy Central and cringes. Oh, oh god, yeah. I hope people don't link her to us. Don't make the connection. Oh god, look what she's talking about. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's that great. Our stuff. <laughs> Good. Chucky Shoe. Yeah. The shoemaker. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happens. But what is it down to? Like Florida, Michigan, Ohio, Ohio Pennsylvania, no, Pennsylvania, possibly right. Not so much though. Ohio is a big one. I know that. Ohio. So goes Ohio. And what Wisconsin? I think maybe is one of those swing oh, I states. Don't know. I don't what know. are some of those swing states? I'm going to be super packing over to a swing state, and then we're going to see if the GOP <laughs> can <I> right. <laughs> <laughs> At least we're done with the pep rallies. I want a picture with Obama. He seems fun to meet. He seems like a nice man. Nice. You think? Yeah, I do. I think so, too. Yeah. Has nothing to do with his policies. I think as a human being, he comes across as a nice guy. Yeah. A bit nerdy, like we've said a million times. Well, yeah. But. yeah a bit nerdy. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, Nevada, Colorado. Nevada. Iowa, Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio, mm-hmm. West Virginia, North Carolina, New Hampshire, uh, or is that Vermont? Florida. Which one is that? Which triangle is that up there and, on the um, the top? That's yeah. New Hampshire. Oh, it's New Hampshire. Yeah, it's a swing state. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I guess they're uh, going to be campaigning in Nevada, which. Um, um, is uh, rocking with about 14% unemployment. <laughs> That's good, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's great. But isn't that isn't a big part of Nevada being having high unemployment because the casinos are so big there, a lot of people are not vacationing there anymore. <gasps> Oh, I'm guessing because it's it, that's like luxury money to go on a trip to Vegas, and a lot of people just don't. Although I am working Vegas coming up, oh. we had to look for airfare. That'll help. It's expensive. I'm Is hoping it really? to bring the economy back. Oh. <laughs> but uh, it's fucking maybe if you cut the maybe these scumbag airlines cut down the airfare, people would go there. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, something has to be done with that. It's getting just stupid. But I that's where these the motherfuckers are going to be. Um, going to be campaigning. That's for sure. By the way, going backwards, it, for the people that do care, because it drives them nuts, it was called Horse Manning. Horse Manning? Look up Horse Manning Stupid. on the internet. Ugh. That's ridiculous. Like, you hide you hide your head, but the rest of your body's showing, and then Jimmy's head pops up somewhere else and looks like your head is off your body. That it doesn't make shit. sense. Why oh, it was Horse a, Manning? It was a oh, big like, fucking deal like on the internet. For, yeah. But they called it Horse Manning. Let's see a picture, Sam. Stop playing around at the website. Goofing on. Say, oh, that's pretty funny. Say, it looks uh, like right. you're holding your own head on the picnic sure. table. But. All right, there's a girl laying back on the picnic table. You cannot see her head, and there's another girl hiding behind the picnic table, which appears to be her head. I've seen a lot of Al Qaeda videos like this. Yeah. Yes, two yes. feet yes. away. They're from, hilarious. Yes, yeah. The body. A lot of horse manning going yes, on. With one guy in Afghanistan. <laughs> one guy. Yeah. So people try to get creative with their horse manning. Let's horse man, Sam. No. See, look, this I guy. I want a horse man with you. I don't want to do anything. Let's Josh horse- around and horse don't man. touch Come me. On. Stop. Let's horse man. <laughs> see this guy. Way. Look, there's the bodies over there with no head, and then this guy's putting the head in a. Bucket. Yeah. This was really huge. Is that a Photoshop or is that just with a. No, it's two people. Okay. This was huge on the internet for maybe, I don't know, eight days. It's pretty clever, though. God damn it. But everyone had a horse manning picture on their Facebook page. I've never horse If you're hanging with the hip crowd. Got a horse man, but you you need a uh, part of the hip crowd. You need a friend. See? You can't horse horse man alone. See, we should have done some horse manning pictures. Guys, let's horse man. Let's put our faces by each other's penises and <laughs> horse cock manning. <laughs> oh, radio guys, were doing it. Oh, Fuck that. That's waggy. So now we're not doing it. That's that. waggy. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, oh, pretty zany. I was looking at a site yesterday that had a bunch of those pictures that uh, were just taken, but look like other things. Like, it looks like the girl's tits are hanging out, but it's somebody's elbow. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's a whole just, bunch of those? Yeah, there's a fuckload of them. It's pretty cool. They're really funny. And then the other thing yesterday that I was totally digging on on Twitter was, uh, it's like about a 10-minute clip of um, a bull in uh, Mexico, I guess, or maybe Spain, I don't know, uh, just railing the shit out of people. Just fucking running through the streets and flinging people through the air. That's that's sort of like running on the bulls, but they do it a little differently down there. Don't yeah. they have a rope on the bull They have or something? a rope on him, and if he gets a little too rambunctious, I guess they pull him away. Oh, that's great. Shit. Yeah, that's great. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Shitty cultures. Why do we have to be assholes as humans? But uh, somebody, somebody said, uh, boy, the Christ. bulls are getting better at flinging humans. Right. They, They've just about the, had it. The people are trying to run. The bull comes in on them full speed, puts that head down, and then quickly flips its head up. People go fucking flying. It's hilarious. Mm. Love when uh, people get hurt by animals. 
Love it. Agreed. <laughs> but, but the animals are stupid because they can't figure out anything. After all these years, you'd think they would figure out something. Mm. Mm. Fuck. It's always just about brute force, isn't it? They just love it. You oh, put it well, well, what happens? Somebody just twittered something pretty... F <laughs> Even though I butchered a joke, I said that this guy had the best Obama, the best president meeting video ever. Oh, no. And then somebody twittered, uh, John Hankley had a better meeting video, which I think is very funny. <laughs> 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 Mr. <laughs> Mr. President! <laughs> yeah, there's, a, there's a few that might be a little better. Oh, yeah, fair point. Pleased to meet you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't uh, go into. Well, I got to see that video now. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. Is it uh, pretty bloody? Uh, pretty violent? Uh, no, the, pretty, not do really bloody. Do you feel sad for the, uh, the animal? Uh, yeah, I always feel bad for the for the animal. That's terrible. In those situations, especially, right? Yeah, but at least they don't have swords in them at that point. You know, I don't know what happens to the thing at the end. I'm sure they kill it. Yeah, of course. But uh, it is fucking up a shitload of people. And mm. it's pretty goddamn fun to watch. I love those. Mm. That any any animal attack videos are great. God, you just watch them all like fucking. When is it coming? When is it? Coming? Ah, there it is. Ah, ah, you fucking idiot. But what's in their DNA? They can't figure shit out. I don't. I, that really just bothers me. They don't have that divine spark. That, what that God what, put animals? into us? Yeah. Why do humans just? I mean, even God our, touch. You ever see the painting where God yeah, touches yeah, yeah, the no. guy's finger and a little spark? That gave us all that. That's got to make. That's got to make you think about some things, though. No. Yeah, sometimes. Because you mush down an animal and you mush down a human. There's very similar oh, shit oh, in boy. there. <laughs> oh <laughs> boy, I know, right? They're just they're just jostling around. Is it a lion? Oh, it's a lion. Oh, lion this lion's not journalist? gonna be fun. Lion attack. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. He's in a cage with the trainer too. Go. Yeah. Oh boy. Right. Is, it is he trying to reason uh, with go the back. lion? Let's see what happened. Oh, what did you do? Bite. You missed the attack, oh, Sam? He's just playing. He's playing. It's just that he's, he's getting, you can see he's scared. Freaking strong. Oh my god, what would you do if one of those was Panic like he is. There's nothing you could do. It's, it's fun. He's trying to scratch its belly. Mia? Holy shit. What has he got? It's got a hold of the reporter's, like. It's biting oh. his uh, leg. Oh, oh my God. man, it's hey. getting his leg. Hey. hey! He's basically eating yeah, that guy right yeah. now. It's biting his leg. And it's holding on to him. Oh, man. But it's not a go. violent attack. And the, and the, the trainer. It's slow. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, my God. It goes up near wow. his neck. How'd you miss this? It's jumping up on him. And the trainer is fucking wrestling it off. That guy's got to be yeah. in a complete panic. Yeah. Fuck hey, yeah. I like, can I leave the cage right now? How do you leave the cage? I've got to get it. The guy's now walking towards the door right now. Oh, he's, he's like, open that fucking door. <laughs> Fuck that. You got a lion bite. But I'll say the, the oh. lion... Yeah, that was amazing. That's scary. Fuck yeah. Shit falling out of his pant leg. He has a, a scratch on his calf, but it locked, it put its teeth on, it wasn't like a violent, if the lion wanted no, to kill him, it could have. around with him. But the lion put its teeth around its calf, and it's like, literally, if that thing had sunk down, good. it would have ripped his calf oh, off. Rip his oh, yeah. little fucking leg right off. Yeah, he didn't rip any flesh. No, no. he was just playing. That fucking, was, it was the lion playing. <laughs> Yeah, and the trainer, he's like swatting with the trainer now. The trainer's just not scared of him. How did we survive in the woods with lions? For oh, that's the so earlier long. part of the clip where he gets a little oh, rambunctious, rambunctious with him. Yeah. Who does, the guy or the lion? The lion gets rambunctious with the reporter. Oh. Mm. See, he, there's something about that reporter. That lion just wants to fuck with him. Oh, man. Yeah, but the lion, it, you think he's yeah. fucking with him or trying to kill him? No, he's just fucking with him. If he was trying to kill him, he'd grab his throat and just fucking kill him. God, when an, it's funny when an animal attacks and the trainer just ignores, stop, or, release, release, and the, and the lion just continues eating. Like, You're like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. This could have happened at any time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how, how did we get the upper hand on animals? Because there's a time we were all living together outside, and how the fuck did we figure that yeah, out? The second we decided to pick a rock up and throw it, that, yeah. ho that started yeah. the whole ball rolling up to what we have now, nuclear weapons. Our intelligence. <laughs> that's why we got it, because yeah. there's no natural enemies. With our, that's why we have fucking uh, cancer and AIDS and all that shit, because there's nothing yeah. else that will kill us, like right. no predator. Yeah. You got to figure the first like guy that picked up a rock and threw it, 
And then his neighbor picked up a rock and he's like, fuck, man, this guy throws a rock further than me. And it's like, how can I fucking fling it further than him? And then he starts thinking, and then you kind of, you grab like a vine and go, if I swing it around now and throw it like that, I could throw right. it further. And that guy's like, fuck, man, that guy throws a lot. But now I got to get a fucking, maybe if I sharpen the rock. <laughs> but let me break it down. When you pick up a rock day one. How many days had to go by where people saw rocks and said, oh... Pretty what, stupid people, though, back then. And how embarrassed you couldn't figure was, out how to pick up a rock? No. How embarrassed That's was everybody who didn't pick one up? Like, right. Like, the one guy throws the rock, and the other people are, are squatting and holding it in front of them, hiding behind it. They're like, <laughs> why didn't we think of that? That's such a smart thing to <laughs> do. Squatting behind it. Like, they pick up a rock in their bare hand and just sit behind it, yeah. hoping they go, oh, I, one guy throws it. <laughs> yeah. That's what I can't wrap my head around. Yeah. Like, eventually, they had to like figure out that they could pick up a rock. Yeah, something as simple and as throw that. it. Just go, hey, if I fucking Wait a minute, this rock, throw thing. this thing, or a stick, oh, or look. like, hey, that guy was bugging me. I picked up a rock and threw it. It right. hit him. Yeah, and now he's not bugging me anymore. Right, he's laying on the ground bleeding. <laughs> I would lo love to go back in time and just watch these idiots sitting around with Finally rocks all around out. them, and <laughs> and not being able to figure it out. Finally, figure it out. Yeah. So strange. And, and then when you really look at the time period and you look at, like, nuclear weapons and space travel and shit, it's like, wow, fucking all came from some guy picking up a rock. <laughs> right. More importantly, it just comes from the ground in the end. Everything. Which is so weird. Everything. As long as you just dig it up, you mix it, you heat it, right. you cool it, you stretch it, and then you make a spaceship. Right. <laughs> Out of just dirt and fucking water fucking heat <laughs> thus then yeah this is not really pollution no everything is what it is it it's is all it part is. of the planet there you go it's not like we're getting shit from out of space and bringing it back and making shit out of it that would be true pollution yeah that's that's your moon rocks you call your true pollution. pollution right everything else though so it's weird. like hey yeah i want to make an airplane um here here's some dirt here's some trees mm -hmm. yeah and some water mm -hmm. you make a fucking flying machine out of it <laughs> It's insane. I was uh, reading more about the Voyager. That shit is just Voyager. fucked up. Yeah. Finally leaving our solar system. Tumbling through space. In between stars. What's in between stars? Nothing. The great void. But what is that? Just space. There's like, but what do, what do they mean by nothing in between stars? Just space. <laughs> they're actually finding, what are, what are this, those little molecules that they're saying everything reacts off of? There is something. We just don't know what it is. It's like, we don't know what, I think 90% of the, the dark matter is. We don't know what it is. Yeah. That's why we, we don't know what most of the, because there's certain things like with, so like with uh, universes where the amount of stars should not be keeping all the external stars mm. in the like in the gravitational pull like those things should be flying off in a lot of cases and yeah. they're not so they don't know how, they have no idea what is they're, they're trying What's to figure in it out empty space yeah we just don't know shit it's gotta huh? be something well, we know a small percentage that's it but there's, they think there's something that everything is reacting off of like there's one god there's no there's a well that's god. what they think they found the, 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 the god god particle. the god particle they think they have uh, they think god. they have found that what finally yeah, I don't know. Yes. Cool. Higgs and Bowes. <laughs> what? I think it's called Higgs and Bowes. Oh, oh uh, right. again, I, I'm, oh, I'm right. probably yeah, saying yeah. that wrong, but yeah, yeah, I saw that trending. <laughs> uh, Big E wants in badly. A guy named Big E wants in badly. What's up, Big E? What's up, over in Anthony? Hey, just to let you know, in the Bible, God takes his uh, takes man's domain off of animals. And the animals go crazy on man in Revelation. Check that out. Why? It's a, to, to, I want, I'd rather read a Stephen King book. So what happens? The animals The animals are going to yeah. get us in the end? And, and no, you know, you take it out for a minute, and they just one of the curses on men. The animals go crazy. Birds and shit start attacking men and all kind of stuff like that. Uh, sounds like a Harry Potter novel. Oh, that's, that's where they get, that's where they get the birds and stuff, uh... Hitchcock and all that. That's where they come from. What? They're attacking humans for what reason now? It, God takes man's domain. Men have domain over all animals. And God takes man's domain off of animals and they attack humans. Oh, shit. So. Drug deal? <laughs> drug deal? Yeah, drug deal. Yeah. Going to hear it? 
Fucking goes up. Piggy, where are you calling from? I'm calling like from Houston, Texas, man. Oh, are you displaced from uh, New Orleans? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not one of them. Oh, okay. How are they, by the way? Yeah, how are those people? How are those doing? people that went to Houston from uh, New Orleans? Yeah, they, were, they were good. They were crazy as fuck when they first came, but they good. Yeah? Yeah, it was some shit, but it's just all right. Oh, good. Yeah. Are you uh, Are you an Obama guy or a Mitt Romney guy? I'm an Obama guy. Ah, why? Because he's black. <laughs> See, that's honesty, though. Yep. Uh, he's black. I hear you. I hear you, my brother. How you doing? Uh, are you are very you, good, sir? Are you better off uh, now than you were four years ago? That's the big question that uh, Romney's uh, asking. I, I, I actually uh, haven't been doing bad none of the time, but, but I mean, huh, I don't know. As long as there's someone around to knock over the head, you're you're doing fine. Yeah, what do you do for a living? Knock Italians over the head. <laughs> Knock Italians over the head. <laughs> <laughs> like big A. That is fucking good. I like the big A. What else can you tell us before we let you go, big A? Because we got to get Jimmy out of here for jury duty. Oh, yes. man. Happy birthday, Jimmy! Thank you, mister. You go to Houston ever, Jimmy? You perform in Houston? I don't draw there. I've done it a couple times. One of many places. Uh, Irvine's apparently another place I don't draw. So I'll be making my last Irvine appearances this oh, coming man. weekend. Um, <clears throat> no, I've gone to Houston, but I just don't do that well there. I yeah. mean, the crowds are great that show up, but they're not big. It's not weird. So yeah, weird. some places yeah, you're just like massive, and the others is just like no one gives a fuck. Yeah, some places I do like, well. It's strange how that yeah, works. Yeah, that is weird. That, and that happens with everybody in entertainment. Yeah. Most people. Some guys do well. Some in, people everywhere. do well across the board. But even that's they gotta be have, really rare. I'm just like like a guy like Chris Rock can sell tickets anywhere because he's such a like you know a famous dude. Mm. Um, but like you know Irvine, I did great the first time I was there. Like packed crowds, amazing. And now this weekend, it, it's light. Mm. So hopefully it'll pick up this week. But um, there's no rhyme or reason for it. Stupid. Yeah. Stupid. Oh, right. jury duty. I'll see oh, you guys tomorrow. Jimmy. And Big E hung up. He was, Bye, Big E. No, nah, he's yeah. done. He, he hung up on his own. He was scared uh, we were tracing him or something. Nah, like someone else probably had to use the phone online. Oh, there, really? You know. <laughs> <laughs> Call their lawyer. Jimmy's got to go to jury duty. I don't want oh. to, but I'm going to go down to, uh, I think it's Chambers Street. Um, kind of nice down there. Kind of cool. Yeah. It's good people watching. Well, is it Chambers? Oh, no, it's Center Street. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, Center Street. 111 that Center Street. Is. I have to take the subway. Oh, man. And I'm going to be a big boy on the train. I'm going to ask somebody to show me where my stop is. Mister, can you help? Oh. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. Hey, this isn't the way home. Mister. Where are you taking me? Where are we going? Uh, mm. All right, Jimmy. Uh, excuse me, you're here. Uh, son, your, uh, your parents uh, got in touch with me, and they want me to pick you up and uh, take you home. There's been a family emergency. What's the password? Uh, bloody asshole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you got to come with me. Your mother hurt her leg. She fell down the steps. Oh. She slipped on some Earl. Okay, mister. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mister. Thanks for telling me. You're very helpful, sir. You're a good stranger. Fast forward. Hey, old boy. Crying into an Aquaman pillow. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this guy wants to turn us on to a lion video. Uh, uh, Carl in uh, California. A lion video? So a politician. Ah, ah, fucking yeah, way to close it, Chip. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, Carl. Sorry, cracking up on that. <laughs> uh, uh, so, um, bye, Jimmy. Bye, Jimmy. Jimmy will be back tomorrow. I, I just discovered one on the weekend. I think you can do uh, YouTube. It's uh, Safari, African Safari Lion Attacks Hunter or something. The yeah. guy shoots, the lion charges out of a bush, and about five feet in front of the guy, the, lo the guy gets a, uh, five feet in front of it, the guy gets a shot off, kills the lion. The lion still lands on him because it's got the momentum. But this thing is. This my momentum. All right. My momentum. I think I might have seen this. Oh, okay. It's charging right at the hunter. He, he's, he gets the shot off, and I think the lion was kind of in the air and lands right on top of him. The guy's freaking out and realizes, holy fuck, he's dead. Let's see. I think this is the right. one. Stalking What's it called? The lion has crossed over their own tracks. I right, say the lion there, Carl. They have become the hunted. The hunted. There's a few guys standing around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're that. all whispering now. They're in the, they're in the uh, the bushes there. But this 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 lion is he's gassing it. 
So what is he doing? That the lion's actually hunting them now? Fuck oh, that. What the fuck do you do? Shoot him. <laughs> I guess that's what they do. Now they're doing like the uh all right, they're the looking Elmer around. Fudd walk. They're looking around. All right, they're they're kind of uh, running a little bit here. You have seen the animals disappear behind cover. They give chase. All right, they're giving chase. But the wounded animal doesn't present a shot. Oh man! Yeah, so they're chasing the thing. There he is. They can't really get a shot off. No, no. So they're they're chasing after this wounded lion. Now, the video I saw is short. It's only like less than a minute, oh and it's not very good quality. Oh it's not good quality? No, it's not a very good quality video. But well, they should have um, used a GoPro. What the fuck? Is, I bet this is an especially oh, cool. Hey, all right, let's, we got to play Hearing this out. Lions, video, ominous warning, and realizing that a charge is imminent. Uh, yeah, this thing's going to charge. Maybe it's the longer version of the video you saw. Maybe. That's yeah, the one I saw this I mean, and most people would tap out of this video. you got to make these things short. Yeah, now it, it gets you in a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, hold on. We're committed Dying to this shoot. video, unfortunately. Dying shade. Okay, now they're in shooting position. They're all pointing in an area. Jeez, where they, they got like the line five rifles on this poor fucking thing. Four. From the thick cover, the furious cat charges directly for Ronnie Krauss. This might be it. All right, the lion is coming in. Oh, oh fuck. fuck! Holy shit! Huge lion! Is that a longer version of it? The thing is just committed to fucking take out this guy. An Mouth shot from the hip. open. Ronnie saves himself from a terrible fate. This that line is dead ghost. instantly, the at, and then the line slumber. goes crashing into the hunter that just shot him. In. That's like a Lord of the Rings fucking Holy type of uh, thing fuck. right there. Put this on our Facebook page, Opie and Anthony. One word, please. Holy fuck, that's insane. I think it's the longer version of the video, Carl. Yeah, it sounds a bit, yeah. Damn. You would bet a lot of money that fucking hunter is fucked. And uh, who, like, who, who got the shot in? So, he what, did. Oh, he did? Yeah. Where did he hit him? Right in the brain. Oh, I guess so. Yeah. Wow. And then the thing, you could tell, is instantly dead as it's yep. in the air, and then it crashes into the guy. Thank you, Carl. All right, man. Take it easy. We'll put that on the Facebook get page. Opie and Anthony. Check that one out. Shoot to the line. Fuck that. Got a shot off. You can't Still hunt. slides right in here. <laughs> I I I don't like him. <laughs> this visual shit is great on the radio. What what am I? Right. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. What do you, what can I say? Everyone's got a computer. We talked about it. We told you where it, where you could find it and see it. Think, so deal. I think you gotta work on your imagination. Right. <laughs> so when I used to hear this shit on the radio, you you start imagining. Your imagination. Use your own imagination, which makes it even better. It's bigger than your imagination. That's right. <laughs> You can't hunt, huh? I'm not a hunter, no. I, I don't like hunting. I don't mind it. I don't care if anybody else wants oh, to yeah, do it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I like I like all animals. I like animals alive. I uh, When I lived in Western New York, they were always, you know, hunting deer all the time. Yeah. I just and I was invited a million times. Just couldn't fucking do it. I don't mind that. And if I had to, like, hunt for food, I'll kill a motherfucker in a second. Oh, sure. I'll fucking gut him with my teeth. But, uh, you know. I could just go and get a steak at, at the store. <laughs> what about the what about the hunters that uh, you know the big fat fuckers that go in like uh, a fenced in area? What big game hunting things but it's like in that? A fenced in area reserve or yeah. preserve? I don't give a shit. I don't care. I don't you're, care. You're good with hunting across the board. Whatever. Yeah. I don't. I don't care. It's just not my cup of tea, as they say. I uh, I get that weird dark uh, feeling after you kill something. You just kind of feel like uh, uh, it wasn't bothering anyone. I f and now it's just, it was living, and now it's not. And it's all because of me. It was here, me. and now it's gone. It's because of me. Yeah. I don't mind bugs. I'll crush a bug like a motherfucker. It depends on the bug. Dangerous encounter with a buffalo. Bunch of kids uh, being charged. Peace. Right. While they keep a safe distance. The West Yellowstone Chamber of Commerce condemned the video, saying the people are very lucky. They didn't get hurt. Yeah. Silly. That crazy? It's a wild park. animal. You should really look out for bison. Yeah, uh, and everything else. Awesome. Elk I know, and... I, one time we I went to Great Adventure, I went to the wild park. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, one of the monkeys broke my antenna. Oh, oh my antenna. antenna. Oh, and I, I just Great Adventure. No, I had an antenna on my silica. And uh, one of the monkeys... Yeah. Uh, on your car. Was very rambunctious. Why would you 
Because your Toyota Celica and you're a monkey. Because I was one of those. Why were you driving a Toyota? Because they said. They're just having a good time over there. My CV joints. Twenty dollars each. Uh, that clicking noise, but I oh, shut up! What were they fucking with the bison at? What Yellowstone? Yeah, see bison out there, a little bison. So uh, they just they knew they could get a cool video. Yeah, I guess so. They're fucking with it. I remember we had the bison video on our show. I think it was in a parking lot. It came out of nowhere. Really? That's one you should look up online. That's a that's a good one. Bison in a parking lot. Bison seems like it. They should be extinct. Yeah, they have that look, don't they? Well, they almost were. Bison definitely has that look, almost like a woolly just, mammoth. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, it just, should have been condensed down to something else by now. We're so used to seeing alligators. Of course, they probably should be extinct. But yeah. it, you know, it's all, it, we just know it. But you don't see bison really a oh, lot. Bison, unless you live out that, you know, out west. Yeah, this one charges some woman in the parking lot. Ah. This bike will need more than. No, this isn't the one. This ain't the one. What? It has what? 35 views, and we talked about the video years ago. So I would imagine it has more than 35 views. Well, maybe that's yeah. just a uh, copy, a, a repost. Yeah, it could be a repost. Check out the YouTube video "Lion Eats Man." I, we're we're done. We saw that because now it is too visual. Yeah, you stupid idiot. A little visual is okay. <laughs> a lot of visual, then I agree with that mm, that guy. With that idiot. That idiot. Yes. <laughs> Why don't we take a break and uh, get into some other shit next? Stay there. Tired of those all-inclusive vacation packages to overcrowded Caribbean beaches? The hottest vacation spot is practically in your own backyard. Visit Devil's Creek in the heart of downtown Edison. New Jersey. Here's the founder of the Devil's Creek Tourism Board, James Norton, who's going to share with you some of his fond memories of this beautiful vacation destination. I have a really weird, vague memory of my pants around my ankles on the steps in this apartment building. And there's an older boy, um, an older boy who used to make me suck his penis. He's got. I think older. he tried to fuck me in the butt once, but it didn't work. <laughs> First, you'll fly into picturesque Newark, New Jersey. Then you'll whisk away southbound on the scenic New Jersey Turnpike to beautiful Edison Township, where you'll be a hop, skip, and a jump away from Devil's Creek, where your fantasies become a reality. It was these twins. I would get both of them at different times to sit on my face because they used to pee their pants. So I liked that smell. Yeah. And they, they would make them sit on my face behind the bushes so I could smell. I remember my one friend, I was sucking his penis, and we got caught by another friend. He's the, same one, that, fucking he's the same one that urinated in my mouth. For memories that'll last a lifetime, even the suppressed ones, come visit us at Devil's Creek. I don't even think I got erection to that age. I can remember my friend's penis getting erect and me wondering why that happened with his penis. Like, I didn't know what that was. <laughs> it was in your mouth. Jesus Christ, <laughs> the Hoover kid. Devil's Creek. If you don't leave crying, we're not trying hard enough. Serious XM. The Opie and Anthony Show. I know we're going to move on because that's what we do. Oh. But uh, Brad Buckwalter on Twitter, he goes, uh, some animals have figured out how to stay around for 150 million years, like the dumb horseshoe crabs. Yeah. That's another one. Where What's like, that all about? Why are you still around? Does nothing. Just, just looks weird sitting on the beach. Those things are prehistoric. They really are prehistoric, yeah. and you know most of them are on their back. So how did they survive? Yeah, yeah they're easily killed. <laughs> they just <laughs> they roll over and they're done. But they've been able to fucking able to figure survive. out 150 million years. It doesn't make any sense. I think if you've been around 150 uh, million years, you should be able to get off your back. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you turn over and you're dead. Doesn't seem like something that would be a prerequisite to being around this as long as they have. All right. People are saying we're doing Pot Talk Monday, so let's go oh. with this for a second. How many other animals can't get off their back? Oh. Dogs can get off their back. Horses can yeah. get off their back. Get well, you got your tortoise. Every time? Maybe they can swing it occasionally, but... I think if you put a tortoise on its back, it's fucked. All right, a right? tortoise and a turtle. Yeah. Put them in that category. Horseshoe crab, and then what else? That's pretty much it. Yeah, horseshoe crabs, there's no way in hell. You got that <laughs> giant round body and those tiny little legs that can't even reach out over the edge to do anything. 
Like a turtle, if something's close, they might be able to use what's around them. Turtles do that thing like they're on their back, they take their arm, and then they take their head and stretch it out, too. Yeah. They like to use the top of their head, try yeah, to yeah. push themselves over. They got some moves. Horseshoe crab with those Horseshoe tiny crab, little under, tiny, dumb underdeveloped little legs. legs underneath, and they're real close to the middle of the thing. <laughs> right. They're not even at the edge where maybe they could grab something. <laughs> they're so fucked. <laughs> Could they use that stupid fucking... Oh, that thing that looks like a stinger but is worthless for defense? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What if they take that and knock it up? Can, Maybe they uh, can. Can they? Well, then it folds in a bad area where you need some support there. The whole fucking horseshoe crab folds. Oh, yeah. They got that foldy <laughs> part, too. That little hinge. There's no way they should have been around as oh, long no, as they that have. thing should have been dead. Long time ago. Millennium ago. Uh, let me say hi to uh, JP in Manhattan. JP. What up, boys? What's going on? Hey, man. Uh, the narwhal or the narwhal, depending on where you're from. Yeah. It's a cross between like a unicorn and a whale, and it shouldn't be alive, and it scares me. What? Yeah, that is a weird one. That's that whale with the big fucking horn. Oh, yeah. Why is that still around? Oh, yeah. They, they, they pop out of the, the, the ocean. I blame and... it on the blacks, just in case. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and they sword fight? What, what is oh, that? Big twisty fucking horns that How do they come survive out of them? all these years with that dumb thing getting in the way? That is something that should not be on any animal in the year 2012. No. What is it made of? Is it like nail material? I don't know. All that shit's like nail material, yeah, nail right? material. It's not ivory, is it? Something like that. Or, oh, no, uh, I bet it's not. Another one is coming in, and he's not here to defend himself, but it is pretty funny. Scott in Jersey. Scott. What's up, boys? Hey. Hey, uh, the other thing that can't get off the back is James Norton in a tranny club. <laughs> oh. Now. He's not even he's not here. All right, uh, but we still love him. Uh, he's on the end train going down a uh, jury duty. Uh, he, should, he should call in. Yeah. I want to see how it goes for him down there. Let's say hi to Joey on Long Island. Joey. Hey. What's up, boys? Hey. Damn. Beatles are fucked. Once they're on their back, they're done. I can't turn over. <laughs> uh, really? I never uh, I never noticed that. I never noticed a bunch of dead Beatles on their back. Beatles are not fucked. Dead, not dead Beatles. Live Beatles. Once they're getting ready to die, they lay on their back and they're done. Just step on them and that's the end of it. Uh well, How come bugs always die on their back? <laughs> I don't know. That's that's kind of weird. What is that? Every time you see a dead bug, they're on their back. A, a lot of animals die on their back because I think that's just a comfortable position to be in. Hey, there's Sway. I like it, Sway. The Sways were on the run. I guess he's late. Late for his show. He's a big TV star doing the yeah. fucking VH1 uh, music movie music, oh, yeah. music awards. Oh yeah. Huh? MTV. MTV. I said VH1. Oh, yeah. Same thing, I think. Right at nope. this point. Uh, let's say hi to Chris in Pennsylvania. Chris. Hey, guys. Um, horseshoe crabs molt, so 99% of those shells you find on the beach are empty. There's nothing in them. I've seen some with some shit I've in seen it. live ones. Yeah, come on. We lived on the north shore of Long Island. I've seen a lot of horseshoe crabs in my day. Stinger moving around. Yeah. They just should right. not be around. One it's stupid so wave knocks them on their back and they're dead. Yeah. That's like dumb. Dumb looking, that thing Look is. Look at how stupid that is. And is it a bug? Is it part of the bug family? No, that's some kind of fucking... What is it? Is it a crustacean? Yeah, yeah but you can't eat it. Look, they, they're useless. They have tiny little legs. They fucking go on their back, they die, and then there's no meat for anyone to eat. There's nothing on that thing. They don't that, contribute shit to the planet. It's got spikes everywhere. Yeah. Wow. It looks and, like a shoulder pad of some kind of uh, uh, Viking. <laughs> <laughs> And then the shell itself is so, it's like paper thin. Yeah, it's all thin. So you they can can't even survive. In it. <laughs> they can't even survive the heel of your foot. <laughs> <laughs> I remember throwing a rock through one of those once when I was a kid. What, uh, like just, what, just some yellow shit oozed out. Was it alive? Yeah. That goes against your whole fucking hunting thing and killing I know. shit. I, well, you had to learn that killing was bad and made you feel bad by killing things. Right. Remember I told that story when I rolled that fucking, the, the, tuna can lid right that was all gnarly and sharp yeah and i rolled it like a wheel over the top of a newt jesus and i cut him in half and it went you heard it make a noise yes wait what's a newt again it's like a little um mousy thing? lizard lizard thing <laughs> it's it's actually an amphibian yeah it's an amphibian uh, uh, i found him in like the, the uh, one of the little lakes around long island but that's how serial killers start yeah they do it and they feel good Wow. I did it. I felt bad. You just felt <laughs> See, horrendous? there's the difference. When you do it and feel good, 
you become a serial killer. When yeah. you do it and feel bad, you become a human being. <laughs> you didn't get that adrenaline rush? Like, no. Oh, I gotta do this again. Uh, like the big fucking rod. Right. You gotta... come in your pants for the first time <laughs> after you cut something in half. Imagine that. You feel so good that you did it that you're like, I gotta do that again. I gotta do that again. Like sex. It's like, you have sex and you're like, oh, that was great. Right. Imagine killing something and getting that feeling. Yeah. Then you gotta just go out and do it again. I gotta start collecting trophies. Yeah, I was just like, uh, wow, that I don't like that at all. I don't like the way that felt. I hunted rabbits in um, in California. Really? Hunt a little rabbit. And then you shoot them in the noggin, and then you fucking skin them and gut yeah. them, and then you put them on the fire and you barbecue them. I, uh, I ate rabbit. Ribbit. I liked rabbit. Yeah. Tastes yeah. like chicken. <laughs> it kind of does taste like chicken. Tastes, tastes like chicken. Not a lot of meat on those damn legs, though. No, no. Let's say hi to Chris in New York. Chris. Good morning, boys. Good morning, Chris. Hey, you know those... We're in the middle of a phone topic. (laughs) (laughs) Regular radio would be proud of us. Phone topic. You guys got to do a phone topic every day. Every day. Something preferably topical, but if you can't go topical, you could go lifestyle. Lifestyle, something that's just going to get those phones lit up. You just want to get those phones lit. You want to... You want them to react to what you're doing on the show. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Sitting in a fucking meeting with a PD as he's telling you this shit. Yeah, that's what you're going to want to do. You want to engage the listener in conversation. And, yeah. And it's a py- Remember the pyramid one? Oh. What was the pyramid one again? Oh, you start with the. You start with the, a topic. Yeah. Then you go with the your thoughts on it. Right. This is the pyramid of uh okay. And then you go with the expert. Yeah. That will give you more knowledge on the subject at hand. And then, then you finish it up with listener phone calls. Listener calls. Yes. Mm-hmm. First you bring it up. Then you get talk to an expert. No, you talk about amongst yourselves. What, yeah, yeah, what do you yeah. know about this dumb thing? Oh, by the way, here's the fucking expert on expert the thing. Expert says this. Or do you do the listener calls before the expert? I no, forgot. I think you do the expert first. And then wrap it up and with the listeners? And then let the callers run with it. And then run with it. Oh, yeah, because they oh, would probably yeah. ask questions uh, oh, of the expert. Yeah. Of course. Right. Crazy. Regular radio or satellite radio. Why? Satellite radio does the phone topic thing? Yes. Who Sam does? Roberts does. Oh, the dumb oh, one mashup. He does they, guess what uh, is in my pants? Mm-hmm. They oh, go yeah, no. crazy. They w- that's everything here. Is get the phones going. Get the phones going. You realize Morning Mashup has eight people right now. Oh man! And they get they talk two and a half minutes an hour. Me and Aunt. It's just us. They do phone topics like once an hour. Really? Like what kind of phone God, topics? That's easy. They'll okay. go like, uh, oh, you know. Uh, when Nicole was getting married, it would be like my bridesmaid wants to change her dress. You ever have a situation where you have to tell a friend something that you don't really want to tell? Oh, oh. And then people call in and they go, oh, yeah, my friend, me, me, me. Oh, really? Yeah. How'd that work out? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Find out what their phone topics are today. And we're we're, gonna we're do just going to steal them. We're going to do okay. the exact same phone Let's topics steal today. the phone topic. And I don't care how douchey they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to challenge ourselves today. Yeah, let's see if we can pull this off. Uh, Some morning <laughs> mashup phone topics. <laughs> let's say hi uh, to Chris in New York. Chris. Yes, gentlemen. Hey, buddy. Hey. Well, <coughs> to be a somewhat expert, you know, I uh, the horseshoe crabs, they, they do provide something for us. Back in the 1920s, it was discovered that their blood would coagulate if it was introduced into a specimen that contained endotoxins. Endotoxins are a byproduct of bacteria. When it dies off, the bacteria cells break up and they release a chemical that is called an endotoxin. And that's how you get a fever, chills, and you feel really crummy when you're sick. Now, dialysis patients can't have any endotoxins in their water oh. because it will make them very, very sick. Uh-huh. So the two crabs do play an important role in our lives within this planet. The more you know. Holy shit. I, uh, yeah, I felt like I was Exhausted. back at school. You're not going to fucking give a pop quiz, are you? Oh, I hope not. Something yeah. about an endotoxin. Uh, and endotoxin. then what the um, the horseshoe crab Dialysis. blood coagulates. Yeah. The, the uh, what? The endotoxin? The, the endotoxins cause the blood that's drawn from the horseshoe crab oh. to coagulate. So if you put in what? some water... And then you mix it in with it, and then you let it sit for a specific time. Yeah. And then if it coagulates, if it turns into like a, a goober, 
then you know that you've got endo. Oh, it's just a I, test. I know what this guy's doing. He's talking down to us right now. He is. What, what grade do you teach? Oh. I can hear it in your voice. No, I'm not talking to you guys, down to you guys. and I don't teach, actually. You don't? Okay. What about a beginning o toxin <laughs> too, with something at the beginning of it? <laughs> Horseshoe crabs also serve a role in anti-cancer treatment. Then right. why are they on their backs on the local beaches? That's terrible. Well, wouldn't the cancer, uh, you know, researchers be fucking gathering that shit up? You'd think you'd see a bunch of people with bandanas on their head just collecting fucking horseshoe crabs. <laughs> right. We're having a horseshoe crab drive today. Tell the Asians while they're getting their stupid clams and mussels to pick up a few horseshoe crabs yeah. from the cancer people. <laughs> well, that's a local the, joke because the Asians love digging up their own fucking clams. They I think they, they take them to the restaurants they work at. Uh, they don't yeah, give a fuck. Yeah. They, don't, they don't give a fuck that it's been told that those waters might be polluted. Hasn't been uh, given the old stamp of approval. I don't know what that's about. Hey. All right there, Chris. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Have a great day. And finally, I didn't realize we were going to learn about horseshoe crabs, but one more. Tony in New York. Tony. Yeah, good morning, guys. Uh, listen, there is a restaurant in Long Beach called Shines, and they serve... Oh. Horseshoe crab with butter, garlic, and white wine. They throw it under the broiler. It's unbelievably delicious. What part of it do you eat? There's no meat on that stupid thing. They, they suck out the meat from the claws. It's like a black man lobster. It's absolutely <laughs> oh, Jesus. Black man lobster. Racism's running rampant in this country. Rampant. No, I think mostly on this show. Oh, man. They feel free to speak their minds. Get it. What is the black man's lobster in? Uh, horseshoe crab. No. Crab? All right, I'm checking out. What, great oh, one, guys. No, Tony, what's the black man's lobster? You're adding horseshoe crab to that category. Well, it's crawfish. If you find them on the beach, they're inexpensive. Crawfish. Bring them in. Crawfish. It's like, uh, yeah. Bagals. Mm -hmm. You know, they eat bagals. They love bagals. You catch in a bay. You know, that's what they do. That's what they like. And Shine Stokes throws a great one, though. It's really good. Uh, we should try horseshoe crab. How do we get some of that shit? Oh, you got that Long Beach in uh, you know, you ain't fucking eat no horseshoe crab. I guarantee half the staff gets food poisoning. That's for, absolutely. not because of that restaurant. I don't even. I didn't even hear what restaurant. I'm just saying in general, if we ate horseshoe <sighs> crab, half of us would get food poisoning. Oh, that's how they serve it. It looks like it just washed up. That's disgusting. Yeah, they clean it off. White wine, garlic, plenty of butter. Yeah. Yeah. White wine, garlic, and butter. You could cook cardboard in that exactly. it would taste delicious exactly that's the problem when, yes. you, when you say plenty of butter you know it's shit right ew look they oh, use the oh, shell as a bowl it's a good deal man it's a good deal i think it's like seven dollars for a whole horseshoe oh, seven wow. a whole dollar. horseshoe wow you there's nothing the, in it you get the whole horseshoe do you wow that's right, nice I gotta go to work. they just remind me of right. low tide smell at crab meadow beach of course of course yeah. you want to eat a horseshoe crab never I think we gotta try it if I was starving. Where's Roland? You gotta find us some horseshoe crab. Oh, there's gonna be a horseshoe crab place up there for the 46th and yeah. 9th. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, what are the phone topics at the morning mashup today? Well, um, there's a debate over whether or not Nicole is a douchey tweeter. Her tweets are becoming douchey. Do we follow her even? I don't know. Wow, She's I don't even not... know if I do. She's not posting titty pictures. I mean, we, what do you follow? Why bother, for? right? Yeah. And uh, here's the. This is the main one, I think. Better to be the third wheel or the ninth wheel. What does that mean? Well, uh, would you? Is it better to hang out with a couple by yourself? Third wheel, or, or with the... a bunch of couples by yourself? <laughs> You're kidding, right? Wait, what? That's they a, stop it. They should be so fired. You don't like that topic? No, it's stupid. Third wheel. Well, it's like... Wait, third wheel? So eight wheels would be four couples, and then you're the last one. Roland's a third wheeler. Roland, yeah, you're, yeah. you're a big third wheeler. You're a go-to yeah. third wheeler. People yeah. like you around. Yeah, yeah. He is. If you got to have a third wheel, uh, Roland's the guy. Yeah. My old, uh, Our old pal Jay was a great third wheeler. Yep, another good third wheel. Sure. If you have a bad relationship, you get someone like Jay around, and it made the days go by a lot fucking quicker. Yeah, I go drinking, yeah. whoever I'm in. So what's the nine wheeler? So now you got four couples, and then uh, that would be weird. Yeah, that. Well, which is weirder? Uh, 
Wait, now we're discussing yeah. it, you motherfucker. Oh my God. I'm not discussing this. Because the thing about the third wheel is yeah. that if the couple starts getting romantic, there's always more people. There's nobody else there. No, but, but if you're the ninth wheel and one of the couples starts getting romantic, there's still other couples. You could jump in. What does getting romantic oh. mean? What are, they, what are they talking about? Usually, if you're third wheeling, the couple isn't going to be getting romantic. No. Like they might cuddle or something or say something cute. Yeah. Or else there wouldn't have been a third wheel. A they wouldn't topic. have invited a third wheel. By the way, it's a great topic. No great phone topic. calls on this topic. What? Right? Please. Not a one. That's I mean, it? That's all they have Not a today? one. Is it a screener issue or is it the... <laughs> no, it's not a screening issue. Is it... um, we, had, we had full phones with horseshoe crabs. I mean, full. People couldn't ah. get through. They couldn't wait to talk about horseshoe crabs. Should and that's a dumb topic. One of our topics instead. Yeah. See if it's a mashup. We'll talk about horseshoe crabs. For exactly. The- instead Kid of Kelly fucking be so pissed at them. <laughs> uh, really? He'd be so pissed. Why? Yeah. Well, because he, you don't go on a top forty radio show and talk horseshoe crabs. Why? Why not? That's not what the that kids... would make people go, holy fuck, they're finally doing something different. They're too good for uh, horseshoe crabs. I don't know if the kids are into horseshoe crabs these days. Oh, the kids. Roland, horseshoe crabs. Have you ever had them? No. Is we gotta just... try it. Look at that. It looks Ooh. horrible, but I think we gotta find a restaurant that has horseshoe crabs. Hmm, maybe that Crab Shack has it. Where's that? It, it's in the Long Island City. It's, they said they do everything crabs. <laughs> it's in the Long Island City. <laughs> I, I understood though. Yeah. It was Guy Fieri's place. Uh, good. It was real delicious. I was there for the past three days drinking. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Was Guy there? Yeah. Did uh, he uh, say, "Hey, how you doing?" He did. Did he ask where we were? He did. Oh, boy. Mm. Can we go tonight? I feel much better today. I was uh, very uh, busy. I was very allergetic. I was Aller- very drunk. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah? What yeah. kind of food uh, did you have? I had uh, the burgers, the wings. I tasted the Vegas fries, their steak, their meatloaf. I tasted a bunch of other stuff. It was like, they had like little samples. I saw on the menu they have pretzel chicken tenders. That was very good. I didn't get to sample any of them because Roland invited Troy yesterday, not me. So I didn't get to try them. No, I, I got the invite too. You did? Yeah, oh, I got cool. the big invite. Yeah, I didn't get. I didn't get. Roland didn't invite me yesterday, so no. I, I was drunk. I forgot you were in town. He just invited. Well, I mean, I don't. Know, it's Westchester. It's close by. Are you on a drinking bench these days? Yeah, you know why not. Back on the wagon. You're, tweet, the wagon. you're tweeting and Instagramming a lot of uh, I'm drunk shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You fu- oh what my happened? god, you're an asshole. Why? What this I do? fucking idiot sushi bitch. How about you tell me why they're dangerous? What? Uh, horseshoe crabs. I would imagine. Horseshoe crabs are very dangerous. Very dangerous. Oh, I swear. They're very dangerous. Well, how about you fuck? I, I said, how are they dangerous? Oh, they're so dangerous. Oh, very dangerous. You get a chef on the line. Well, go- I would bring it up on the air if you. It's dangerous, and then you know what? To eat them. I know to eat them. What part is dangerous? Why is it dangerous? Go, How? Go to what the- does it affect? You fucking idiot! I would assume the picture that Sam had up there. It was missing some parts. I would assume those were the dangerous <sighs> parts. Yeah, they look sharp. What part is dangerous on the horseshoe crab? And then it just says your central nervous system. Uh, this, what part you're, does that? You're going to get fucking banned. If you keep this up, you must tell me what part of the horseshoe crab. I know the stinger thing, or whatever the fuck that thing is called. Whatever that is. That's what killed that dude. No, No, that was a stingray. That's what (laughs) killed that dude. The crocodile hunter got killed by a horseshoe crab. That's what killed that dude. I thought that was a stingray. It was a stingray. Oh, my bad. It was a complete freak accident, by the way. And why are they dangerous to the central nervous system? What do they do? It says, horseshoe crabs not... What does it say at the top of that? Horseshoe crabs are not good to eat. But scientists. But scientists. <laughs> it's a good, good article. Nice article. The lady in a sailor hat wrote it. Oh, God. What, uh, what, what's the problem with the horseshoe crab? Mm. What is it? What, well, did, did the, uh, she hasn't told you yet still? Now that you explained, you need more info? No, no, no. no. What the, the fuck? They just throw it out there and give no info. No, you're not trying to explain. You're not trying. Dr. Steve is not available to explain why a horseshoe crab <laughs> is dangerous to eat. <laughs> that might trying be, to pawn it off on Dr. Steve. Might. I don't think he's an expert on that shit. Holy shit. Come on. Tell me. Underparts. Now now it just says underparts. underparts. What? Which part of the underparts? And what is it in it that affects your central nervous system? I'm going to go with some Holy kind shit. of... Toxin. 
Contains neurotoxins similar to those there found in spiders. And by the way, that's Adam from the UK, not uh, this stupid sushi. And place. they don't have horseshoe crabs there, I would assume. Or do they? I don't know. I don't know. They probably call them something stupid. Yeah. Like a lorry crab. <laughs> the lorry crab. <laughs> they have to make everything sound nicer. And st or stupid. Why? I don't know why don't they it. do that. Stupid fucking England. So it's the, uh, the toxins. Yeah. I would assume. The loo, the loo crab. It's called a bathroom. Mm. The loo crab. Yeah. Yeah. Sam still doesn't know? No, I don't know. <laughs> no, we don't know why uh, it's poisonous or terrible. There's toxins. Okay. All right. So they got some toxins. They do look just like some kind of fucking filter. Oh, well, I'm getting a text message Wait, maybe. from Dr. Steve. Whoa. And he's uh, sending me a link. So now I'm hitting the link. Poisoning from eating horseshoe crab. And it's prevention and treatment. Well, let's see. Okay. Uh, this uh, says, during the past three years investigating and studying the poisoning of eating, ho a poison of eating horseshoe crabs, major cause of the poisoning on eating horseshoe crabs in the south region of the East Sea Coast, taking tetrodi... Tetro... Tetrodutoxin... From Carcinigenopogenes. Oh. You know, I, I forgot until just this moment that my brother's a marine biologist. So oh, my God, that's that. right. Because he, he just wrote me, you dissing horseshoe crabs. So I'm writing back, why are they uh, poisonous to eat there? Why are they poisonous to eat there? Yeah, what the fuck? To eat. Nobody wants to eat them anyway. No one. They don't look delicious. No, they don't. They look terrible. No, the guy said you put in a lot of butter, garlic, and uh, white wine, and they're delicious. You could that just guy's put an idiot. butter and garlic in white wine and drink it, and it would be delicious. And it's delicious. Those things are delicious. Very good point. You know, a very good point. It doesn't look like it is meant to be eaten. I, Even yeah. a lobster looks weird, but it's like got parts on it that are meaty, you right. know? Right. And, and it turns a nice like Look. red color it's pretty that's like this brown lump of shit Look, we're in good hands i got the i got the word into my marine biologist brother all righty we're just waiting now so we'll uh we'll get the answer yes i know it's something to do with the toxins that build Lots up of within toxins. its uh within its yeah. tissue dr steve yeah. let's see here within, within its tissue just read the last paragraph genius <laughs> that's what he wrote to, yeah <laughs> oh the thus then part all right, let's see. Every article needs a thus then let's part. Let's see, thus then. Um, hold what on. What do you got on the thus then? I got to go right. down to the last paragraph as per Dr. Steve. Okay. Um, oh, God. The size of... Wait, this is, this is stupid. Uh, it is oh. very easy to be confused and easy to eat by mistake. The treatment of poisoning from eating horseshoe crab is similar to treatment of tetrodigtoxin by... Uh, removing the toxins from the body. Uh, I, got, I got the answer. Allergic reaction. Oh, you do? Yeah, my question to my marine uh, biologist brother, after he said, you dissing horseshoe crabs, I wrote, why they poisonous to eat? He wrote, because they taste like shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no help there. No help there, but... Um, we well, just don't eat them. Like, why, who wants to eat a horseshoe crab? Because the guy said they're delicious. No, that he's wrong. So that piques your curiosity where you're thinking, all right, maybe they are. Maybe we're missing out on something. If they were that delicious, more than that guy would know. Sam, you don't like uh, steak, so you're out of this uh, conversation. All right, enjoy your horseshoe crab. Sorry. Then. Sorry. Would you eat uh, horseshoe crab, Roland? Doesn't look appetizing. Doesn't look appetizing? Of course not. I taste it, but I don't eat it. Looks horrendous. It's the s similar symptoms if you're allergic to shrimp and whatnot, and you eat it. Right. That's what'll happen if you eat a horseshoe crab. Well, I'm sure that happens with a lot of crustaceans. Yeah. That's a dumb-looking fucking thing. Stop it, you eat Stop eating it. It's a bowl. It's just retarded-looking. Oh, sorry. Well, are we allowed to use that word? I don't yeah, know. you could use retarded if it's just something, you know. It doesn't look typical. <laughs> it's not a typical crab. <laughs> it's a special crab. <laughs> All right, we got Dr. Steve. All right. I'm failing miserably. Dr. Dr. Steve. Uh, Ant gave it to college try, even though he didn't go to college. Oh, uh, that's why. But uh, now, Apparently, there are two varieties of horseshoe crab, and one is poisonous and the other is not. 
and it's very difficult when they're young to uh, tell the difference. So don't, sure. So don't eat the ones that are uh, you know that are young because you know, right. Uh, so, ah. so you got to count on the rush, restaurant tour to know which crabs to pick up off the beach. Well, uh, apparently, and that article was from China. This is a problem in China. I don't know that it's a problem in the United States. We may not have the the poisonous variety. So oh. I think that's where you know there is a poisonous variety that has the tetrodotoxin toxin in it, which is the same toxin that um, puffer fish have in it. I mean, you've heard about Ooh, the, the bluefish in it. Right, in a, uh, a Japanese restaurant, you know, it's kind of a, uh, uh, a fad. Yeah, delicacy, and then if you eat it uh, and it's prepared wrong, you die. Yeah, exactly. that's, that seems like a lot of fucking pressure, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, we own a restaurant in my family, and you worry about people choking. Now you got to worry if your chef is uh, cutting up the blowfish properly? Yeah, yeah. they got to be certified to do it, and even then, people still die from oh, it. Oh, man. But if they, if they do it right, you, you get this odd tingling and numbness in your mouth, and that's supposed to be part of the delicacy. Oh, oh it's, it's just fuck. getting a little bit of poison. Right. Oh, yeah, you got to get a little bit of it. Oh, man. Where, who would take that chance? <laughs> I'll, I'll just take some fucking, like, uh, some trout. And right. then you just put some ambisol on it. There you go. And then you eat it like that. <laughs> same shit. I bet you the blowfish the tastes like way. shit. I yeah. bet you it does. What part do they uh, remove of the blowfish so you don't get too much poison? <laughs> it's, it's, it, there's some gland near the gills. I'm not that. Oh, I'm not an expert on that. I don't know. But you leave a little of the gland? Yeah, well... Yeah, or do you squeeze out what's in the gland a little bit after you prepare it? Like a lemon. Right. Yeah, like a lemon. No, no. Squeezing yeah, blowfish gland in your food. Blowfish gland. That sounds horrendous. <laughs> uh, That's just a blowfish glands? Yeah. yeah the wow. way I understand it is if it's removed properly, there's just enough left behind to give you the tingly effect. Yeah. Hey, Dr. Steve, so uh, height of hay fever season. I've been suffering for almost a week now. Called yep. up uh, my dumb allergist who loves uh, talking about the radio show instead of really focusing on his patient. Yeah. And oh, that chip is hilarious. <laughs> All that stuff. <laughs> he actually said, "I finally, uh, I finally gave a listen to you guys, and yeah, uh, yeah, you guys aren't, you guys aren't that funny." And then I'm thinking, is it a stupid, stupid, dry Jewish humor, or was wow. he, or did he mean what he said? Holy shit, he and said that. And I have no idea. Why would he say that? Because he's a they, weird fucking dude. Then you dude. should tell him, you know, uh, I've been to a lot of allergists, and <laughs> you're not really the best. You're right. pretty bad as an allergist. <laughs> I think he See, was just, how does that feel, fucko? I think he was just trying to have fun, but I don't know. Yeah. I, and I honestly don't know what the answer is. You sure it wasn't one of those, I don't like you guys, I love you guys? I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but anyway, he, uh, he gave me cortisone pills. Okay. What the fuck is that about? Well, that, uh, it's making me a bit irritable and on edge. Yeah, you got a lot of inflammation in your head, and uh, he's just trying to calm it down. It's... That's okay in the short term. What you want to tell him to put you on... Allegra. ...is a drug called Singular. Oh. I thought it was Allegra. Mm, singular. Uh, well, Allegra's fine. Allegra's an antihistamine. It's a non-drowsy antihistamine, and that'll dry up the uh, the fluid that's in your nose. Uh, fluid. The fluid. It's more like um, upper respiratory, ears... Yeah. Now so what you want is an anti-inflammatory anti that's not steroidal, and so steroidal. Uh, what the fuck yeah. does that mean? Well, you're on steroids. You know, the steroidal. Steroids. So should I go to the gym today? I got a lot no, in me. Different kind, different kind of steroids. <laughs> 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 yeah, your head will be all fucking muscular. <laughs> <laughs> they say if you if you get puffy face from the cortisone, to stop it immediately and uh, consult yeah. your doctor. Oh. Yeah, and if you get diabetes and all that, so all of that. Will only happen if you take it for a prolonged period of time. No, that's the problem with it. It works great, but uh, you can only take pulses of it. You know, you take it for six days or twelve days, then you got to quit. What are some of the side effects of of um, cortisone of uh, pills? Yeah, well, fluid retention, irritability, uh, it can jack you up, it can increase your appetite. You're on your period. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> it gives you the, yeah, it gives you a period. It gives you a period. That's great. <laughs> Sleeplessness. Oh, all yeah. I, I had four hours sleep last night. Yeah. Uh, and But he uh, told me Allegra after this is done. 
Well, this stuff Singular, you can take with the Allegra, and it just calms down the inflammation in your body and uh, without having any of the effects of being a steroid. It's great. Stuff. Will I know I'm on Allegra or Singular? I'm so I'm sorry? Well, I know I'm on it, meaning, like, will I get a little drowsy? Will I get a little irritable? No, no, no. I... The singular has got, it, you know, unless you have an adverse reaction to it, it's got no side effects at all. It's it's almost the perfect allergy drug. He told me just to leg it up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, leg it up. Bring it up to him. Say, hey, what do you think about the singulars? Why? Right, then I'll talk about the show again. Oh. I don't even know what I'm allergic to. I went through all the tests, but he 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 he, he was too busy talking about you. that uh, the Opie and Anthony show. Like, oh, weren't you the guys in the church? All that shit. And I'm oh. like, well, what am I allergic to? He goes, oh, Years a lot. Of, he goes, oh, a lot of things. And he goes, anyway. Uh, I'm like, the reason I'm here thanks. is to, I need the list. Give me the list so I can avoid shit. Oh. Well, it's probably pollen and. Stuff that you can't avoid. Yeah. He said. Uh, he said trees and grass. I'm like, okay, good. But what kind of trees and what kind of grass? He goes trees and grass. Uh, at all kinds. It's, every tree, every bit. So of that grass. means I can't lay around in the grass. Can't do anything. Fuck. Well, this You're is done. This is fascinating. But you know, one thing that you could do is you uh, motherfucker. He just called us out on being boring. I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of allergy <laughs> sufferers out there. This means something to somebody. It's your phone That's call, right. motherfucker. That's right. Hey, put a HEPA filter for your house. It really helps. I, Ooh, my kid has a filter. allergy. E Rock has a HIPPO filter. <laughs> <laughs> it's different. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't E Rock go to the big uh, birthday party? I don't know. He didn't. He had something better to do, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed your party. Yeah, you. Yeah, I love too. <laughs> I know. Well, what did you do this weekend? Nothing. Sat around. Sat around. Oh, I'll You're... tell you what. I didn't do. Drive my ass all the way to fucking Westchester. It's Why tornado not? warning. Sorry. It's the greatest. I, the weather wasn't right. I was hanging out. And by the way, I wasn't hanging out alone, my friend. You said you were just hanging out. I was just hanging out. You should have uh, you taken know. the ride. We uh, had a birthday party in the rain. Sounds great. Well, we weren't actually standing. Only Roland actually was in Roland the rain. was completely soaked. And, uh, I don't know. He's just a weird dude. Uh-oh. Uh, well, he got weird. drunk within 40 <laughs> minutes of being there. I mean, oh, it wasn't even like Jesus. that type of thing. Dude, it wasn't like a let's get hammered party. No, it was it's like have a couple beers, have a couple cocktails. Were you just slamming? Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, and, then, no. and then Roland, hold on. We'll get back to you, Dr. Steve, because we're really good at this shit. Roland, Troy, and his chick decide they have to get back. Troy was Roland's chick. <laughs> <It's> Roland. <laughs> Roland was jealous. And oh. uh, these three hipsters decide they've had enough uh, of Westchester <laughs> and they want to get back to the city. They had some kind of very, very lame like excuses why they had to get back to the city. Super lame. So, so that's good. You're going to leave the party early. Fine. These idiots force <laughs> Sam's mom to bring out the birthday cake and all the fucking desserts early, early so they could have a little piece so they could get back to their hipster lifestyle. Like a, like Troy actually went to my dad <laughs> and said, hey, oh, uh, were you thinking about, I don't know when you were thinking about bringing the cake because we have to kind of get out of here. <laughs> Who Troy? That? Yeah. Who says no that? No one. That's fucking rude, man. That uh, is so uh, fucking we've rude. We've all been at a party where you know something good's coming up and you're like, fuck, but you know you have to leave. You don't force that. That's not the even host's fucking hand. No. Then but, you just then you just fucking say, "Look, I got to go." Right. You know, take a rain check on the piece of cake. No. Jesus. Plus, they were making Jess drive them to the train station. Oh man. You so know, I was like, you know, Sam's wife. Yeah. Listen, she why don't had you, to drive him back to the train station. Oh. Why don't you do the polite thing and just not mention it? If Jess has to drive you, we'll have dessert when Jess gets back so she doesn't have to miss it and rush through it, you but know, no. They'd rather make sure they get their cake and make everybody, you know. You are horrible fucking party guests. They were the worst. Terrible. Roland was drunk 40 minutes in. Oh. It starts raining. And, like, we're all just kind of sitting chit-chatting because everybody just got there. Yeah. And Roland decides it's time to go out and frolic in the rain by himself. Oh, so you got all soaking wet in the rain. Yeah. Was, Why? Because he's... I don't know. That's drunk. And then he walked into the he's glass door. Oh. Uh, he's our John Belushi. He's our John Belushi. Yeah. <laughs> He's he walked John into the glass he door. He walked yeah. into the glass door. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, and I, and I ate the, his mom made these delicious um, chicken fingers. Oh. And oh, because, I wouldn't know. Of yeah, course. I know. Oh, oh what But happened? they're slightly late. They're all gone. Cause <laughs> Roland just Roland, like, devoured them. Picked out on him. He yeah. ate them all. Yeah, it was like a little appetizer for everybody. Jesus. Here comes Troy Kwan. Oh, Troy. He didn't. Re Troy doesn't have a good time when the party's not about him. Oh, you know what I mean? oh man! <laughs> How well, bored were you at the party? That was fun. 
It but you fun. made uh, Sam's parents bring out the desserts early because you guys had to get on a train. Oh, and the ice cream. Well, I mean, we did come a long way. The homemade ice cream, by the way. At <laughs> homemade home. ice cream. What? Oh, yeah. yeah. In an ice cream thing. Like, like an ice, ice cream. cream. Like an ice oh, cream great. fucking porcelain thing with plastic over the top. It wasn't porcelain. It was steel. Does Whatever it just, the fuck it, it is. Does, I don't it know. take us like six hours to make a fucking spoonful of ice cream? <laughs> yeah, it takes you a while. while. It, oh. it tastes pretty fucking good, though. It's worth it. Good. It looked silly as all hell that you make your own ice cream, but... Was he cranking a crank? <laughs> <laughs> it was delicious. Did he have to crank his crank? I don't think he cranked anyone's crank. No? There isn't a crank on there you got a crank? Well, I didn't see him, so I don't know for sure oh. if he cranked someone's. It was crank. just a finished product. Yeah. yeah. So why do you uh, leave early, and well, why do you take desserts with you? Uh, well, yeah. oh no, that, that was me. Oh. <laughs> then Roland took cupcakes in his hands on his way. I thought you was a wait. What's going on? I'm so confused. No, Roland's way off the wagon on everything. Oh, Roland. Oh, Roland. Get back on. You're looking good. Uh, I want that boost. Uh. I mean, and you have no idea the volume of food that he consumed yesterday. Oh, There's more man. booze than food. Well, we were loaded at like two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> now, uh, how do you go up to the the party, the people throwing the party, and tell them they need to serve the cake now? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, it was that like, did go down. Right? Wow, we and just was like, he didn't really do that. And I was like, yeah. And Jess was like, I had to miss eating cake to drive them. Oh my god! Because yes. he made it so that he had to get his cake early. Well, first of all, I told Sam that, you know, we don't have a ride from the train station to wherever uh, his parents' house is. So he's like, yeah, no, no problem. We'll get, a, we'll get you picked up. So that, uh -huh. he did offer. So he's kind of, he's letting that out. Where yeah, he but, offered to take us But then pick Jess, us up. Jess would drive you and then come back and then we'd all enjoy cake together. Uh -huh. Well, I just don't She wouldn't have to leave in the middle of dessert to drive you because you had to have your oh, dessert God. first. Well, no, my girlfriend had to work at night. So... Um, I, I said mean, to her, work. You got work. That's it. what's it's called work, not what? play. Sometimes you miss dessert. Well, it just sucks that we'd come all that way. Yeah, you know, it is a birthday party. You know, and not have any birthday cake. That just seems ridiculous <laughs> to me. The cake was going to be served in, within a half hour, giving you guys plenty of time to get on a later train. And yeah, get back to your. It really like what was going on in anyway. <laughs> I mean, it was just like we just just standing there. Oh well, man, it was. boring. I mean, really and, and by the way, we, it went on for another hour and a half, two hours after they left. Just so it wasn't. There. It wasn't like they left and then it ended. It was like okay, finally, now we can just hang out with the you know, right and not worry about you know making sure they're okay. Exactly. Make sure Troy doesn't get any, like, you know, crumbs on his nice new clothes or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I did prepare my little dessert plate early. We don't have to worry about Roland breaking something because he's course. intoxicated he's drunk and, and nobody stumbling. else is. Yeah, and he also, and you're also forgetting that he was blurting out uh, obscenities <laughs> while the family was around. Oh, man. My parents, what, what Opie's two-year-old. <laughs> Roland. Roland's just dropping F-bombs and making references to Troy looking like Adolf Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like I don't need this. Like I, I thought uh, I uh, uh, had made it clear what this was. But it was wow. fun. It was a good time. Yeah, yeah, had a good time. You think Eric's pissed that you made it to Westchester but didn't make it to Jersey for his party? Well, it's easier to get to Westchester than it is to get out there. If you say so. Oof. I don't even know where. <laughs> I mean, that's just it's not even close. To East Jabibsville out not, there, right? No, man. There's yeah. something happens with the GPS going to your yeah. neck of the woods. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I go a different way every fucking time. I don't know why. I give what the fuck is that about? I tried going to one party. I'm not going to do it again. Not for anyone in this motherfucking place. I'm oh. sorry. Rob ruined it for you. Oh, man. Oh, right. I showed up and been the life of the party. <laughs> well, more importantly, why didn't E-Rock show up? He had better things to do. He really? was busy drinking all weekend. In the train, I was a little gassy, too. <laughs> uh, 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 he was offending everybody on the train. Uh, I mean, yeah, they were loud just farts. Some drunk guy <laughs> farting on the train. Oh. And it's already miserable because it was that horrible storm that <laughs> yes. came through. So everyone's just wet and just wants to get home. Wow. And Roland's wet, so he's humidifying the whole train. Oh, oh my Roland's God. been on a roll lately. We were, yeah. we were at, coming home from Madonna, and he tried to start an AIDS chant on the subway. <laughs> what do you mean an AIDS <laughs> chant? Because people were like, Madonna, Yankees, I went, AIDS, AIDS, AIDS. And then what? people stopped. It's just a weird day. <laughs> he said he didn't have a good time with Madonna. No, I said I said I didn't enjoy her concert, but I had a good time. Oh, right. But we had fun. We had a good yeah. time. Speaking of Madonna, why is the media pointing out that the Obama tattoo that she has on her lower back is a fake tattoo? Yeah, really. Why wouldn't they say that? They're, but they're going with it. Uh, she she tattooed Obama's name on her body. That's fake. That, oh, it's not a real tattoo. Of course it's Anyone not. could do that. <laughs> How, why is that edgy? Look, she's in her bra. Ugh. With Obama? That's a fake Keep tattoo. Keep your fucking clothes on, Grandma. 
But they're all talking about, oh, my God, she tattooed Obama's name on her lower back. No, she didn't. Her nipples are showing through. Oh. It's a temporary tattoo. So obvious. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Madonna was good, bad, indifferent. Yeah. Yeah. I took a little nap. We were in a box, and he literally <laughs> laid down on the floor and took a nap. <laughs> <laughs> he was hammered there, too. Completely hammered. I was, like, loaded, yeah. What's going on with Fuck. you, man? You got to get back on that... Uh, I know. It's been on the wagon. On the, yeah, I was thinking, I was going to say wagon, but it's a food thing and an alcohol thing. I'm surprised yeah. Troy didn't try to make Madonna get to the hits a lot quicker so he could get out of there and do some other stuff. She, uh, what, montages are hits now? Yeah, like little clips. There was like five songs that I knew. The rest of it was all, her whole new album. Yeah, she like, opened what are you doing? She loves new songs. Oh, was, she loves boring people with her new shit. I think the only full old song she sang was Vogue. And it's express not, yourself. She that was one thing she did. She did the express yourself but into. Uh, oh, she wants to make sure she does express yourself. So. Express yourself into uh, the born Lady Gaga. Way. Born this way. Yeah. Tell her to drop it. Oh, oh she's already. doing that. Yeah. yeah. I thought they would be friends by now. Madonna knew what was good they're, for her. They're, they're frenemies. Really. Gaga ripped off her shit. That's she's right. Pissed. I'm with you on that. Jesus Christ. All right. Anything else on the birthday party? Steve was so bored he hung up on us. And my brother wants to take him to task. Oh, yeah? Because I guess the horseshoe crabs in our area aren't poisonous. Where are they poisonous? He goes, uh, uh, our horse crabs or horseshoe crabs are not toxic, and poisonous blowfish aren't here, too. So we do have bl uh, blowfish in the in the Long Island waters there, Long Island Sound. Not there. poisonous ones, right? No, they're not poisonous. It's only yeah. a specific Asian species that you have to watch oh, out yeah, for. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If Dr. Steve is giving you fucking shoddy marine bio advice, maybe I should be giving you shitty medical advice. Oh, man. He is pissed. But uh, Dr. Steve didn't say that they're blowfish in our area. No? No, he was no. talking about That's when they bad. prepare it. Though we had something there. <laughs> over there. <laughs> Where's over there? Uh, Japan. Oh, and then, uh, as far as horseshoe crabs being poisonous, we didn't say which horseshoe crabs or from what area. We just said, you know, horseshoe crabs. And then Dr. Steve just And wrote, he did say they were two different types. He wrote, sorry, buddy, I have to get into rounds. No, you don't. Your patients are dying. Oh, they can wait. Oh, Jesus. Sort of wait, I guess. Oh. Well, it's nothing he's going to do to make their lives oh. better. It's the weirdest job ever. By the way, Troy Kwan could be the meanest person I've ever seen on Twitter. Why? What did you do? Shit, oh, you dude. saw that yesterday. Oh what did you do? Now what? Uh, he really it, does have no regard it for was people. So feelings. bad. Well, I'm taking after the school of thought of Roland. Because uh, Roland will just sit there and ha everybody that blasts him on Instagram, <laughs> he will sit there and reply. To he'll go through everybody's Instagram and be like, "Oh, their wife is fat," and go back right, and be yeah, like, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then blast. And then I was just like, "Well, fuck." I was this talking about that too, and I do that too. I I, I told some woman. Uh, that was giving me shit. I, I looked at her picture, her, uh, her profile picture on Twitter, and it was her holding her daughter. And her daughter had a giant head. But it was <laughs> probably just the picture. And her daughter was a kid, and kids always get bigger heads. I think it was forced perspective. And, and it was a little forced perspective, right? But, but I just said, your kid's got a giant head. And I left it at that. And then other people started just commenting in passion, and she deleted a Twitter account. <laughs> so I was very happy with that victory. But um, Troy took it uh, way over the fucking line. I, did you know, or did you just assume, and then it turned out to be correct? Well, I looked at the kid, and he looked like he was a mongoloid. Oh, oh my no. God. What did he do? Down he said, your kid looks like a mongoloid. I guess the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> but what did Come this guy on. do to Troy to deserve that? Well, he, he said Troy looks like a douche. Oh, okay. Douchebag, and then tag, tags Anthony on him. Tag like, me well, on the, it. Like, why tag Anthony on that? And yeah. I was like... Okay, well, and that and, and that I opens the door for you to like look at someone's luck. But man, it was it was his son, and and then I looked, going like, all right, maybe his son just looks stupid in the picture. His son was absolutely uh, had why Down would, syndrome. Why would that guy absolutely do that? had little, Down syndrome? A little downy. <laughs> it, well, oh well, and then, and then he responds, he's like, yeah, my son has Down syndrome. I said, you know. Well, I'm sure make... you get a lot of Twitter sympathy by putting your retarded kid on fucking Twitter. <laughs> oh, oh, so retarded. Oh, you deleted oh, them? It's not typical. I deleted them, yeah. Because oh, I was like, that's a, good a not typical kid. A not typical kid. But, but it's like, what, what do you The confusion I have there is he's making fun of your looks, knowing that that is very. He's a water baby. Available no. to, to, some, you know, to someone to make fun of back here's, if you're going down that road. Exactly. Here's the thing that I see. Right or wrong? Look. What Troy did. Ah. <sighs> Right to it's room. a weird, odd situation. <laughs> but the guy's that making fun of his. Wait, but there's wait, wait, no wait, wait, rules. There's hold no on, rules. Hold on. It's a weird thing that falls into a strange situation. Let me try to explain here. He's 
very proud of his son, obviously, and, and wants to uh, feature him in his profile picture. Now, I guess at some point, you, got, you probably do have to keep in mind, I got to watch what I say because there's a lot of people that will just fucking take the opportunity to be really a scumbaggy to, to me. <laughs> so he kind of was wrong in that. But, I mean, I know there's no rules, technically speaking, but there is a tad of morality that I think... Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. Well, in, in the Twitter world, it's just anything, it's, anything goes. I mean, if you're going to take a shot at me, I don't know who you are. So if you're going to take a shot right. at me... Then it's open game to yeah, you. Fair enough. That's it's how. Fair game. That's how Troy feels. And Roland's the best at it. Roland's really kind of feel that. Roland's amping me up. The only thing wrong with Roland's response is that he never puts any punctuation in. So it's just these crazy <laughs> run-on run sentences, sentences of, of awfulness. And people just give up. They don't even know what the well, hell he's saying. Yeah. It just sounds evil. No, but nothing better than uh, the guy will write back to Roland and go, "Hey man, I was just kidding." And you could tell they're like deeply fucking hurt uh, by his. Yeah, or, yeah. My, or my oh, favorite yeah. I'll do is report uh, tweet. abuse, and I delete all my. Uh, Things I wrote, so when they go look back at Instagram, they're like, wow, this person's an asshole. And then tag him. Oh, because you <laughs> delete all your bad really stuff. Quick. And it looks like he's just being a dick, dick. Yes. For nothing. Yeah, they report <laughs> abuse. <laughs> I got four people kicked off of Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Roland's a sick fuck. I'm telling you. a dick. We were out, we were out, a sick fuck. We went out to a diner the other night, and he was just firing at everybody because we posted the picture of him urinating in a phone booth. Yes. And uh, people were like, you have no dick. Where is it? And he, he, we didn't say anything the whole time at the diner because he was just sitting there responding to people <laughs> and trying to get him kicked uh, off of Instagram. Uh, uh, Can we get some of these uh, responses? Uh, or is it too he late? deletes them. Oh, I, I, I delete yeah. them. And then uh, and he reports abuse. Yeah, and yeah but now that, now that he's announced his... You know, he's playing it's on the air. Yeah. Don't you think that the next time you respond to somebody, they're going to try to get you kicked off? Fuck them. There you go. I don't know if that's Oh, a, Sal wanted to take, uh, I'll take it. to <sighs> go at it with um, Troy, but he just hung up. Sal, call back. Oh, boy. I know where you're calling from. Call back. I, I thought you didn't know. Like, I thought you just thought the kid looked like that, but was, you know, a normal kid. And then when I looked, and I... I you know when you see the picture, and you click on it once... But then you got to make it bigger. Right. Sometimes, like that picture, can change drastically within those three types of pictures. You see the initial one; it's very small on your phone. Then you click; it's like, ah, and then I'm like, uh oh. Mm -hmm. And then I got the biggest picture. And I'm like, oh, he has Down's, he has Down syndrome. But he looked a little off, but I didn't know actually. But if the guy's off. making fun of your looks, like yeah. he's got to expect that the first thing you're going to think about is look making fun of his. No, look. he's probably got, well, it's his, not his son's. You know, or whatever's, uh, you know, publicly In that picture, available. I understand. Yeah. So I understand but, the the mindset of but it. But I was just I like, mean, morally, oh. uh, you might want to check yourself. Well, I mean, yeah, don't don't go after me, and I won't go after you. I don't know who you are. I'm not taking you. You took the he took the first shot. Right. That's the way I look at it. So it's like anything's fair game. Yeah. The friendship between Troy and Roland is pure evil. <laughs> it really is. Well, we we definitely it's wind each other. Alliance of oh, yeah. fucking evil. Right. It really is. The yeah. evil alliance. Oh, uh, and, and, and uh, I know I'm noticing thing about pictures. The smaller the avatar, the uglier you are. You know now where like you click on a link and someone's sending pictures out, but now they're they're really tiny. And then you make them bigger and they're all pixelated. And you could tell that yeah, they're just yeah, trying to yeah. cover up a world of hurt. Yeah. What? You know what I just realized? What? Troy and Roland both used to be like E Rock's best friend at the office. Uh huh. And now they only hang out with each other. Yeah. They never invite E Rock with them. Why don't you uh, hang out with E Rock? Uh, He's always at his house. Uh, will we invite him? I don't hang out with you, Rock. Oh, okay. <laughs> doesn't sound like it. I would. <laughs> he didn't go to his house because he said he has a lot of shit going on. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's he hard said, for me to get out there. He said his time is valuable, and that's why he didn't go to uh -huh. Iraq. Well, but he, look, I, he did get a DJ gig while you were, you were at his party. What's that? With, with who? Sam? Remember? Who's DJ gig? I don't, I don't know. know what he's talking about. I don't know what he's talking about. Hey, you know what, those, uh, you know what the... Um, Profile pics on Twitter are like uh, with a lot of girls. You see that you notice this with. It's like getting sober, because you 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 look at the small picture and you're like, hey, she's cute, right? And then you click on it, gets a little bigger, and you're right. like, well, I'm not sure now. And then you get the biggest one, and you're like, oh, Jesus. Oh, so it's like you're at the bar all hammered, right. and then as you sober up, <laughs> you kind of get more of an appreciation of what the uh, the looks are. That's pretty funny. Or she's cute in her picture, and then you start scrolling through her other pictures. Yeah, yeah, And you yeah. get a full body shot, yeah. and you're like, whoa. But it's it's just so... Uh, it's amazing how that how your judgment can change from the yeah. initial picture till you look at the full size of the same exact picture. You ever see... Uh, 
uh, have we talked about this where you see an avatar you're like holy shit that looks like an amazing set of breasts I gotta fucking click that and make that bigger and then it's like someone drinking tea <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking insane no, I'm not the only one but you know what I mean? <laughs> you're you see so, these little pictures. You're so tit obsessed. Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. That was just my that yeah, was my yeah, go to yeah. example yeah, to be yeah. honest with you. But you'll see something like, "Whoa, that looks like." I'm trying to think of one that I've actually seen lately, yeah. and it's completely different than what you thought it was. It's like some guy with a kid on his shoulders, right? And it's the kneecaps, right? And you're like, "Hey, look at those tits." Let me. Oh, it's a kid up on right. daddy's shoulder. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I wish I had a better example. Yeah. <laughs> but some of these fucking little tiny avatar pictures will trick you. They really are deceiving. Does anyone oh, have a good example on? of one that they've come across where they thought it was something and then it turns out to be completely different? Mm. There's your phone topic. There's another Give one. Give us a call now, please. <laughs> There's your phone topic. Yeah. <laughs> wow, man. Did E-Rock explain why you didn't go to the birthday party? I wasn't listening. No. Well, why didn't you go, E-Rock? I was told it was a family event and I didn't want to... Uh, what? To go after other people complain about not being invited. And, and there's, talking and about there's the oh, Sam look man. again, which we all have gone through. That weird, like, what is he talking <laughs> what? about? I'm telling you what I'm talking about. <laughs> Holy shit. Stop sh the vague shit. I'm not being vague at all. Oh, I'm going God. off Sam's... Sam, wow. you take this. I was fighting your battle. I'm oh, sorry that I got involved. shit. Because the look I saw from Sam, Sam's like, what? That's not what I said. Sam was the one looking like, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And I was just bringing the visual to everyone's uh, imaginations. <laughs> when I asked him, he said, Said, no, uh, uh, me and my wife might have something to do. But now he's saying that he didn't go because he didn't know if other people weren't invited? No. Lying Iraq rock comment? Said. No, I said it w I was told it was a family barbecue. What? Sam's family was a family barbecue because we weren't originally invited did to Did you this know thing. Opie was going? Yeah. Did you know... Did you know Troy was going? Did Tro Troy was the one who complained that he wasn't invited. Yeah, I complained too. Like, and Roland. And then yeah. when I was invited, and Sam was nice, and he, he invited me, and I said, no, nah, that's all right. You know, because we had other things to do, but it was his family thing. We weren't just going to go to a party where it seemed like no, wait, everyone did was you have, complaining. Did you have things to do, or was it a family event? What was the reason? We went out to dinner with her cousins. I said, that's the reason. <laughs> that's the reason. <laughs> Thank you. Why didn't you just say that in the first place? That's why I brought it up, because it seemed a little strange. It didn't make any sense what you said. Especially the look that Sam gave. <laughs> Sam it is made so no, annoyed. He was invited, invited right now. Of course he was invited. I After went and the said, fact that, that it was told, I was told that it was a family barbecue. But then he made it clear that it wasn't. It. First of all, stop saying I was told. Say so-and-so told me. You told me. All right. That you know it was a family barbecue. But he rocked, didn't he? Uh, now I am involved. Then, didn't he make it very obvious that it wasn't just a family barbecue at that point? I said my parents are so throwing. So why, why would you still think it was a family barbecue? Yeah, yeah. You know Opie's going. I'm inviting you. I invited Troy. I invited Roland. And, and Chuck, it. your buddy. And my yeah. and my friend Chuck was there. And Jimmy and it. And yeah. I invited Jimmy. I invited Ann. Uh -oh. I like the Chuckster. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you call him. I want to go drinking the with him. Chuckster. I'm going old school with my nicknames. The I like the and the Chuckster. I like the Chuckster. I want to go drinking with his friend Chuck. Yeah. Huh? I'm gonna go drink with him. He's a he's a good time. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah. So we rock didn't go because it was a family barbecue. Well, well that's understandable. <laughs> no, it's family not. barbecue. It's it's totally. Well, you told him. I wish you would have told me that. It was not, irrelevant I, information. Yeah. It, it, you're the one who complained see, like a he, bitch, saying like, oh, "Why wasn't I invited?" And then when he invited hey, you, you said you bitch. didn't want a pity invite. A hey, bitch. bitch. Yeah. You think we're gonna go down this road? You go to a bitch. Oh, really, dude? Then. You want to start with me now? Okay. Oh. Get evil. Go go do your character. Go ahead. Whoa. Oh, it's like what character? We weren't invited originally. And then when he said he we were going, you were the one who complained that you said. This is a I was invite. goofing around with him. Oh. We, were, we were out for his br okay. for his uh, birthday okay. lunch. And I was goofing oh. around. Yeah, I think Troy knew that it wasn't the case of people not being invited. It was that it wasn't an event, and then it was an event. So I was like, "Oh, we're inviting people. And then I he, will invite some people." So yeah, so he never invited me then, and it was fine. And then he texted me that day and said, "You were invited. Roland was invited." Yeah, like all joking aside. Yeah, all joking aside. People. Look, I'm having a couple of people over. Come over if you want to come. I said, "Yeah, dude, I'd love to come." It just seemed like bitch. So why do you have to bring up this other shit invitation. of like, oh, this is, this was supposed to be a family event. Because <laughs> it was, and it seemed like you forced an invitation. Why would I force an invitation? Because you weren't invited. It was a goof. It was his birthday. We're clowning around. You know that, right? You know what joking around is, right? I guess. I don't know. Apparently not. Okay. You go oh, to that, you don't come to mine. Fuck you. Whatever. Fuck you. <gasps> Whoa. Whatever. I'm like, glad you didn't come to my <gasps> damn party. Oh, oh wow! Jeez, what's him. the language in there? <laughs> they should come to my damn party. Yeah, he's mad that you didn't go to his party. Well, and it's hard to get out back. there. I told him that. You go way back. 
This is and, what's coming out today. And that Troy, when pressed on it, said, I got a lot of shit going on, and my time is kind of valuable at this point. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I mean... I, to be fair, I picked a good weekend because you you had nothing going on this weekend. Right. Which is a rare thing for But he you. did have something going on because he left early with the birthday cake. No, I couldn't send my girlfriend home alone. I wanted to stay. I, mean, I told you that. You probably could have. She's of the age where yeah, she could probably handle that herself. Was, that wasn't nice. That wouldn't be a nice thing to do. No, it would have been nice to be like, hey, Sam's dead. Why don't you bring out the cake now? No, I said, Let me look, dictate Sam's you know, party. Oh. But we're getting off track. I want to know why Iraq. He was right. happy that Troy didn't come to his damn party. Yeah. Or is that, was he said, that your quote? Damn party. <laughs> damn party. Why are you happy that he didn't go? After party hearing how fly. he behaved at Sam's George party, he would have probably done that, if not worse, at my party had he decided to come. Oh, boy. Well, that's fine. Don't invite me to your party then. He did invite you. He did originally. Yeah. And I would have come. It's just hard to get out there. Okay. Were you offended when he said you were being a bitch? I mean, he, that's just every day of his life. He calls um, you a bitch every day? No, he's a bitch every day of his life. Oh. <laughs> okay, man's man, tell me about it. Whoa. Tell you about it? Tell you why you're, should should I tell you why you're a bitch? Stud. Should I tell you why you're a bitch? You're the one who's complaining all the time. Go ahead. Where oh. should I start? I don't know. You, you study me every day. Well, I study. I saw when you were chasing Rob Thomas out of the studio to tell him that you remember him from some other spot. <laughs> Do you remember me? Do you remember me, Rob? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, who's, no. the, who's the bitch? Oh, who's no, running no. after Rob Thomas? Be like, do you remember me from WFU? <laughs> and he goes, Rob, it felt, of course, felt uncomfortable. Yeah, and he's like, are. oh, yeah, I thought I remembered you. Oh, yeah. No. yeah. And he's he like, sit there. Like, so he remembered him. He gave yeah, of course a, he didn't remember him. Oh, he gave a fake yes. Asked. Rob Thomas yeah. gave a fake yes. Just oh. to who's the fucking back? bitch? Like, that's such a fucking turd move. <laughs> <laughs> who's the bitch? <laughs> you, you don't think that's a turd move? No. Because that's think not that's what cool? I asked him. You think that's cool to chase Rob Thomas after everybody <laughs> left? You're in here taking pictures, then you have to walk out so you don't say it in front of anybody in the studio. I would have said it in front of No, them. you wouldn't have. You went and you made sure nobody was around when you told him because he was about to make the corner here. And you're like, hey, Rob, do you remember me from W? Uh, that's I mean, not J? what I said. Yes, you did. I not saw what you. I said. I said that. I was like, <laughs> "That's not what I said." Well, then what did what did you say, Ra? He used to do these um, these events for another station I worked at every year for a children's hospital. And I said, "Hey, I remember you used to do these events. You were really nice to me at the at that time, and everything." And Ugh. that's what it was. Ugh. That's pretty much exactly what Still Troy douchey. was saying. Tell me that's not douchey, dude. Yeah, come on. And Troy did notice it right away because he he told me like right after. Because it it's just such a nagel move. <laughs> what do you mean? Because he, he just wants to, like, you know, be sneaky. Like, come over and, you know, say something. Sneaky. Give his card to somebody, like, on the side. Like, here, you know, <laughs> like, I'm the man. Like, you know, <laughs> you need anything, you, you, you hit me up. I mean, everybody knows he does that. It's called networking, <laughs> stupid. Everybody know Nobody will come He's forward and be like... networking, Troy Kwan. Hey. Networking. But he won't do it in front of anybody else. Oh. Secret networking. Yeah, it's like on the side. <laughs> a little sly move. Yeah. People seem to like what uh, you've called a nagel move. It's a real nagel move. <laughs> it's a lot easier to get to um, E Rocks than Sims. Is yeah, it? it probably is. A oh, lot. Oh, man. A lot easier. Well, I did fuck up the train going to. Sims. Yeah, but Troy. Like, yeah, with your farts. <laughs> no, 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 no. Troy to E Rocks is a clear shot. Yeah. It really is. That Westchester gets all fucking weird and it's confusing. expansive. Well, Westchester. he won't have it's to confusing. know how to get there anymore because he's not invited to any of the parties. No more parties for Troy Kwan, Iraq? He doesn't want to go. Where'd it go bad for you two? You guys used to be best pals. I don't know. A year or so ago, he just started turning to, into a real dick towards me. Whoa. Cause he, cause he's, he was what was the thing that happened? Because you guys were like friends. I wish I could pinpoint it to you. Yeah. It I was really just, wish I could, it but was, I don't know, but it's over... Uh, but Just it, over a year ago. But I've been better. I've been better. Haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Troy, what happened, though? Was there an incident? Because that... everybody knows. Like, Look, uh, as a human being, I like Eric Nagel. He's a, he's a nice guy. What? He really is. What? He comes but, from good stock. He's, he's, he's a, a good dude. I know, I've known him for a long time. He's a good dude. But when you work with him, there's just little things that are just like... Oh, really, dude? Uh, You're talking about the Rob Thomas thing again? Well, it's just like, that's just like, you know, dude. It's just like one thing and like an accumulation of things, and you're just like... But the, yeah, but, and then, and then the, the, the wait, intern wait, thing there, last week... Is there other examples of really, dude? The whole intern thing last week. What yeah. intern thing? Yeah. Well, when he... He told HR that I'm going to be taking over the interns. Stuff and stuff. And that never... That, that was never the truth. That wait, never happened. You were gonna... No, I was never told. I was told that I was going to cover it for him right. the one week that he was out. Oh. 
And that was it. Um, Iraq, any comments about Troy? Yeah, because that doesn't seem that bad. Iraq? Uh, Anything you want to say as far as why you guys are like this? Yeah. I what wish happened? I knew. Well, he said because you're a dick when you're at work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I never interact with him, and I haven't. Oh, you should. Really, in, yeah, in a long time. But I've been good, right, Eric? I, for a while, I've been really good. Because I didn't see you. Well, I've just been, I've been nice. Haven't I been nice? You've been... Yeah, or, you know, okay. Decent. I'm trying. I'm trying to be a better person, Uppy. Yeah. I know a lot of this. What? Is what? I am. I am. Yeah, I let me break that. down. You're, you're much on, worse person when I first met. Let me break this. <laughs> let me break this down to basics. It's you though. guys, you guys brought me here here because I've only got pieces on like Sam show, some of the stuff yep. we do here. Iraq, how close were you guys? Um, we were close early on. Then there was a uh, there was but, many years that I didn't see Troy. Explain how close. We, uh, you called each other a lot. You drank together. What? What was the? How close? Uh, I was in a band. We we associated uh, I mean, with each other. They were close enough that we Troy traveled, got blown in Eric's parents' bathroom. Wow, that is true. Yeah, we did know that one. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah, pretty, pretty close. close right yeah. there. Yeah, and then you, I watched you the guy. Yourselves friends. I, at this point, it, it's not really uh, like we shan't work together again. Mm. It's it's not at a friendship level right now. <laughs> did you look down to him or as an equal there, Troy Kwan? When's that before? Yeah. Uh, he was cool. He was, he, we were just that in different world. That means Tell you look truth. down at him a little bit. Tell the truth. You were the rock star and he was the help. Well, I Be mean, an honest guy. Be an honest guy. <laughs> well, it was, he was the guy that worked for the radio, the radio stations, and he was able to help out the band I was working in. Oh, okay. So. You were the lead singer for it. You weren't working. Well, I was one of a couple people. Right. But, and he was like... Boy, did you hitch your wagon to the wrong guy. Because <laughs> uh, somebody else I know is in that situation. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> kind of worked out well. <laughs> Not quite hitching my, my star to a nagel. <laughs> well, I've, I've been good to Eric. I'm trying to be better. Because Eric, Eric just gets, you know, lambasted on a regular basis. So I'm trying to... By you. But I think... In, yeah, but when... when Al Bastard. But I think Iraq does it to himself a lot, because he's... He does. How he explains himself <laughs> he is does. really confusing. That was a typical kind of Eric explanation that was just steeped in half-truths and vagary. And then, and then he gets frustrated <laughs> and, and starts yelling, because he... He he can't express himself. He got very it angry was so right there. that we were going to call him out on that because it wasn't a family barbecue. It was. It, I was told it was a family at barbecue first, but then he made it clear it wasn't. Yeah, and when and I you was had invited, plans anyway. But then you said the reason you didn't go was because it was a family barbecue. But you got invited. Yeah, I was everyone told it was, was a family barbecue. You, told, you were told that two days before. Yeah, and then when everyone started getting the invite, friends outnumbered uh, family. By the way, for yeah. the people wondering. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Everyone started getting the invite. It just seemed like a last probably. thing, like a last minute thing on Friday where so. other people were saying, how come we weren't invited? So they were invited. And I didn't want to do that to Sam when it was supposed to be a family thing to begin with. But right? you didn't do anything to Sam when you were still invited. And I only invited people I like. Like, I, yeah. I didn't invite yeah. anybody that I wouldn't hang out with. Yeah. The food was delicious. Thank it was girl. excellent. <laughs> yeah, Your parents are great. Got it nice and early for you, Troy. So Well, I mean, it is a birthday party. So yeah. it's like I'd like to have a little bit of birthday cake. Yeah, we'd like you to stay. <laughs> your dad, your dad said, "Hey, have some sangria. It's really good. Have a couple of glasses. Yeah, a couple of glasses. Have some sangria. A couple of glasses. It's delicious. Grill asses. <laughs> I had like six glasses. It was delicious. <laughs> glasses. <laughs> I fucking love the way you're rolling dogs. It's so unique. <laughs> How do you say glasses? Glasses. <laughs> Some sangria. He polished off the sangria too. Did yeah. you? Well, yeah. he had, I had I had two glasses. He had six. You yeah. got drunk on sangria. Well, no, then it had That's beer and, some other and stuff. then beer. Oh yeah. my you didn't God. puke. No, he had bad beer farts. and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> beer and sangria is just a fucking bomb waiting to a vomit bomb waiting to happen. Yeah, my stomach can't handle it. Yeah. Huh? It's a lot of hostility wow. between Troy and Eric. Are we good yeah, now? Yeah, we're fine now. There's, I have no problem there. there. I really, I really have no He's problem. He's glad you didn't go to his party. Troy is pulling the we're good move right this'll now. By the way, but this will just simmer until something happens. Of Which course, nothing's been cooker. settled. No, nothing. Nah. Which it's part it. are you glad he, he didn't go to? The family or the friends? <laughs> he was invited to the family. He was invited to the friends one. <laughs> oh, so who cares if he acts up there? That's just crazy time. Yeah, he'll pussy. You don't have to worry about <laughs> ants and those weird fucking distant relatives that you don't really know. And if I have a way to get out there, and I don't have to, that night I had to DJ that w night of his party. If I don't have to DJ, I would absolutely go out to Eric's. 
And Eric and I have hung out, and we've yeah. we've had a good time together. When was the last time you hung out? Two years ago. Oh. It wasn't like there were three or four different ways to get to Erox. Yeah. One phone call. Exactly. You could have asked people. I mean, I drove. I'm not going to ask you for a ride, dude. Why not? I drive. I drive rolling. He pops Lives in my at? tiny back fucking hatch area on the way home many yeah. times. Drunk. <laughs> 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 like fucking kids. This is scared of you. He has hair it? He understands the people around me now, and he he couldn't wait to see Sam. He couldn't wait to see Jess. I go, what about Roland? And he goes, no, ro ro <laughs> <laughs> No, ro ro He calls him Ro-Ro. <laughs> no, ro ro <laughs> And he meant it. And then he saw Ro-Ro, and it's like, he just told me he wanted to go home. <laughs> oh, man. But he was man. so excited to see Sam and Jess, because, you know, we hang out a bunch. And, and uh, oh, Sam's parents man. and stuff, he, he knows he knows the people. But he goes, no, ro ro He doesn't like Ro-Ro. <laughs> <was> bummed. <laughs> oh, Ro-Ro. What are you doing? He was completely bummed. He did oh. enjoy my rain dance. Yeah. He did? Yeah, you, then you fucking humored him. So That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that is really fucking funny. Club Soda Kennedy's upset. Why? Because he thinks my statement is admission that I don't like him, but I didn't say I invited everybody who I like. I said everybody who I you, invited I like. Why oh, would okay. Kenny get the big invite? He's always gone by... Oh, boy. Ten. Why didn't Kenny get the big invite? Knowing that, he most likely wouldn't have gone. Oh, oh no. We that, got that's not what you said, so don't try to spin it. They can replay the tape. Oh, oh I didn't say I invited everybody I like. Yes, you did. All right, replay the tape. Kenny, you don't oh. think Sam likes you? Even though you guys fool around no, a lot it's in the hallways? Now. And now I'm a sucker for giving him such a big wedding gift, too. Oh, oh shit. Gosh. Why wouldn't you invite Kenny? He's actually fun in social, fun. social situations. Uh, even if it was a phony, empty invite. Uh, he was a blast at like Iraq's. the Iraq one. <laughs> he went to Iraq. <laughs> he actually went to Iraq's uh, party. Oh, you did? Yeah. We had fun there, right, Kenny? Yeah, yeah. I was socializing with everybody. He was socializing? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, Kenny doesn't make the Kenny makes the, like the medium Kenny make the list, cut? but he doesn't make the short no, list. He's oh. just jealous because his wife digs me. <laughs> <laughs> like, was it motivation? For, oh, you know what? Ken, he he makes the medium list, not the short list. Oh, oh. it was a short list party. But you all guys right? kind of like joke all the time in the hallways. Right. Not anymore. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> and you know he means that. Not anymore. Oh yeah, he means it. All, all the people that badmouth him on my Facebook page, I always ignored, and I stick up for him. Not anymore. Oh, well, See, I that's hope... what happens when wait, people wait, wait, draw wait, wait, first blood. What, what's your Facebook page? I... The Club Soda County on Facebook. Oh, <laughs> oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. Right. Over 8,000 people like me. Wow. 8,000 strong. Yeah. 8,000 people that would invite you to their party. Of course, Iraq yeah. wants to... Um, I'm one of them, so not 8,000. Iraq just whispered oh. to me and said... I got the audio. Kenny's right. <laughs> oh, shit. So now Iraq is throwing Sam under the bus. Let's hear the audio. Let's hear it. Yeah. But you I, didn't do anything to Sam when you were still invited. And I only invited people I like. Like, I, only, yeah. I didn't invite right. anybody that I wouldn't hang Did out with. Did you hear with. that? Yeah. I only invited people I like. Yeah. Not I, I invited everyone I like. I only invited people Don't I like. Don't try to spin it, stupid. No, no, wrong again. no, stupid. You're wrong. Hold no. on, hold the on. The implication. Let me, let me oh, wait. Let me see. There's a lot going on here because Sam only, doesn't like being wrong. I no. only invited people I like implies that the list of the people I invited, I the like them you like. all. Not the list of the people I like were all invited. Sorry. You have the party, so, Iraq. You're wrong. You threw me under the bus. You're you completely right. incorrect. No, but grammar's never been your strong suit anyway. But <laughs> hold on. Now everyone Don't has. Don't throw me under the bus. Hold on. Think get off. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got another part to this. <laughs> we're in, we're all in a sub. We're this. all in a sub genre. Oh, do I love this? We're in a sub genre. Yeah. Your, your work friends. Yeah. Right. I only invite the people that I like. Now that can be translated like I like a thousand people. I can't have a thousand people at my family's barbecue, but I only invite the people I like. No, I said in I, the wait, I of said, radio. I said I only invited people I like. Not I, I only, only invited invite the people. people I like. Now this is very important. The wording on this has to be exact. All right, yeah. let's hear it again. Because I'm going to argue the subgenre, he would have to be included in the radio people that he invited already. No, I understand what Sam's saying here. And I, 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 although, let me tell you something. Sam Kenny, Skates? Kenny, you know I love and respect you, right? Do you know that, Kenny? No, you could take sides. No, 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 no <laughs> sides. I'm just saying, as, as a, an outside observer, without taking any sides, either way, I think Sam might have this one. 
I think. Let me hear oh, the clip again. On. I think leaves an avenue of escape to justify you being wrong. <laughs> that's, not, that's not a strong. Well, you know why? Because I'm not done. Uh, well, I haven't drawn a conclusion yet. Let me uh, let me hear the the clip again. But you also got to assume if you're yeah. club so club so Kenny and you hear that you would go, holy fuck, he doesn't like me. It's obvious. Yeah, everybody's going, oh shit, careful, Ant, don't do it, Ant, <laughs> careful. <laughs> All right, let's hear it again, you rock. Okay. But you didn't do anything to Sam when you were still invited. And I only invited people I like. Like I, only, yeah. I didn't invite I anybody that I wouldn't hang out with. I only invited people I like. And I wouldn't invite I anyone I don't hang out with. You don't on, hang hold out on. with uh, Kenny? I only invited people I like. It doesn't mean that all everyone I like I invited. No, no don't read into it. Uh, okay. Just go by exactly what was said. Right. I, I only I invited did. people I like. Period. Don't read into it. Okay, that does mean that he he didn't invite anyone he doesn't like. Right. Okay. But it does not mean... Invite like everybody that he likes. It does not mean that I invited everybody I like, by any stretch of the imagination. There's, there's three lists. There's people I like, there's people I don't like, there's people who are invited. The people who are invited come off the list of people I like, but it's not the complete list. Uh, read the sentence. Yeah. I only invited people I like. But what about the well-regulated militia part? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Iraq on this. Iraq, Iraq, comment. Iraq, how do you read this? I, I can see what Kenny's saying. I only invited the pe uh, I only invited people that I like. No, I only no, invited. I only invited, I like. invited people right. I like. I wouldn't so invite people. I wouldn't way. hang out with or something. I only invited people I like. I got a lawyer on the phone. That doesn't mean... It doesn't mean that I invited all the people I like. That's true. I got a lawyer on the phone. All right, let's talk to a lawyer. Hey, Kirk. Matt in Jersey. Hey, boys. Right. Hey, listen, by putting only in front of what he said, that modifies the phrase. So when he says, I only invited people I like, that implies that he didn't invite anybody that he doesn't like. Correct. So when you put that second part of the sentence, that only reinforces when he says, I didn't invite anybody that I wouldn't hang out with. That, that goes with only. So, so if he said I invited, if he said I invited people I like, he might have an argument. But when he put only in there, I only invited. Right, because that's limiting the scope of people that he would have invited. Correct. It's that's, limited the scope to the people who I like. However, right, he he he's calling you out, Sam. I know. Okay, but it is. It's, it's all about that second part of the the statement. It's yeah, modifying it to the better. extent that it only takes people from the list of people I like. However. Sam. It doesn't include the whole list. Oh, wow. Uh, Sam's wrong. No, it's not. Has Kenny ever been invited right. as one of the people you like? I don't. I mean, I, 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 I don't have very many parties. Yeah, he was at my wedding. That's a big deal. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Who, who didn't go that I got invited? Oh! <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. I would think it would be a no-brainer that Kenny would be at your wedding, right? Yeah, that was an. Oh, now you're calling Kenny uh, a no-brainer. No, no, no. Wow. Oh, that I was mean, never Ken in question. <laughs> Kenny's, a, something. Kenny's a lot of fun at parties. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> and he really is. He is the life of the party. Remember the lampshade he put on his head Woo! and he started dancing. <laughs> Crazy. So a yeah, maniac. I, I would think it would be, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's why he was at the wedding. Exactly. I only invited people I like does not imply that everyone that Sam likes was invited. That's all I'm saying. But the part that about I would, all I'm saying. I, uh, people I would hang out with. That doesn't matter. It yeah, isn't being Meaning exclusive. you would not hang out with Kenny, I'm just who's not a saying. It doesn't mean that at all. Do you know what a huge list it would be if it said, everybody I like, I'm invited? And then I said, I didn't Sam invite... Sam likes a lot of people. I said, I didn't invite people I wouldn't hang out was, with. Was Eastside Dave there? No. See, you like him. No, I just tweeted about him this week. Did you invite Eastside Dave? No. See? Oh, I love boy. Eastside Kenny, Dave. you're losing the argument. No mashup? He likes you. I Any love the mashup mash people? I love the mashups. You love them. Did not it, one did of them invite was invited. Him? See? What happened? He, actions speak louder than words, GH. Oh. He didn't invite me. Oh, oh. Kenny's feelings are hurt. That is. Yeah, I'm not mad. I'm just hurt. On a personal level, yes, you did fuck uh, Kenny over. What? He is a lovable guy, and he's fun at parties. But uh, uh, technically... Yeah, I know how to bring it. But he tried to get me on this statement. <laughs> I don't mind him being upset by not getting invited, but uh, don't, yes. don't, don't try to get me on this statement. Don't and, be and, a sore loser every time, neither. Oh, well, I'm not the loser. I was at the party. Oh, oh see, now you're rubbing it in. Yikes, I guess I was a loser. I missed it. Well, you got the invite. I am so glad I don't go to any of these parties. <laughs> yes, it's like, it looks like nothing but trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, about, what about e Iraq, e -Rock, you, uh, you were ready to just sell Sam out uh, when you heard the clip. 
It sound it did sound like he said that I, I invite people that I like. But I did invite Meaning people that, that I he like. didn't in, he But that's not, not like Kenny. Isn't every party you're pretty much inviting people you like? Of course. Regardless of the size of the uh, invitation list. Did you invite Sal? Nope. Mm. Well, don't like <laughs> Sal either. Won't tell you which list he's on. <laughs> 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 Keep like him guessing. Marionette head. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, did you get rid of that spot, by the way? Uh -oh. It's all over my suit. <laughs> what happened? Well, Kenny, I, I, come in your pants. No, I, I you had shoot to go. some banana juice. There's, I, there's, I had to make a duty this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, wait. Oh, Sometimes no. when I, I come down, you know, Kenny picks me up because he's on his way in, to be totally honest with you. That's what that really is about. So uh, sometimes when I get down to my lobby, Kenny's not in his car, and and one of my doormen have to go. Oh, he's he's in the bathroom. Oh, he's so Kenny's taking his morning duty. He comes walking out, and then I follow him out of the building. Yeah, he's got a huge whitish border bordering on yellowish. Oh no. Huge spot right where your asshole would be in his pants. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? And I had to awkwardly tell him. Uh, I don't know why I was looking at your asshole, but there's a spot there. What was it? I don't know what it was. It was either anthrax or baby powder all over the fucking But the bed. coloring oh. on it makes me think there was more than baby powder going on. Ugh. Turn around. Is it Ye gone? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> he, just, he just bent over. <laughs> it's gone. Uh, Did yeah. you have to take your pants off in the bathroom and clean them up? No, but I saw it's like on the cuffs of my pants. It, it was like, then it was Jesus. everywhere because then I'm like, what fuck. the fuck happened to you? Maybe it's like bathroom? Ajax cleanser or something. But how did it get on your spread around the place? Well, Ajax, you could smell the yeah. But how did it get on your pants where your asshole is? Because it was on the toilet seat on Holy the floor. Shit. It was like all over the place. So maybe so like, someone was in the middle of cleaning the bathroom. Well, I backed so that early. ass up <laughs> <laughs> and mounted the toilet. Yeah. My black pants probably like rubbed against oh. everything. And, you don't spread oh. mud in uh, public bathrooms like some of these animals, do you? No, I go when I go. But you don't spread it all over the place. Oh, oh no, man. I go. I, I yeah, and shit. I flush. Yeah. You're a human being. Yeah. I stand that when they fucking, it looks like they just flung shit against the walls. But I made juice yesterday, so yeah, we had to go. <laughs> oh yeah, he's trying to drink juice now. Oh, you're juicing? Yeah, but it's such a pain in the ass to make it, and you got to clean the. Fucking it really thing. is. Juicers are a pain in the ass to clean. Yeah. It's not worth it. Yeah, go to a yeah. juice store. You got to have yeah. one in your town. There is a lot easier, a little expensive. I know, but it. I made it like for the whole week now. Ah, then oh. the, the, the vegetables separate. No, I shake it up. <laughs> What's in your vegetable juice? Orange, <laughs> it's a fruit. pineapple, a fruit. so far it's fruit, carrot, the, uh -huh. which is very sweet, apple, another fruit, and beets. Oh. No greens. No greens, no? not good. No, no then I'd really be fucking shitting all over the place. <laughs> Throw a little spinach in there. Oh. <laughs> no, no, you, you put a pound of spinach in and you get you get a, 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 an eye drop of fucking juice. That's the <laughs> yeah. beauty of it. There's That's no all your vegetables in the spinach. The no. no. Like I kale, so. I tried. Kale's uh, it's yeah. good for you, though. Iraq, so uh, Sam or, or Kenny, who's right? And then we move on. You rocks the thinking. Uh, just take yourself outside of it and study the sentence. Yeah. It's very obvious. If I had said I only invited the people I like, that would imply that only the people I like were invited. Is that what yeah, they but... taught you at Syracuse? Oh. But saying I only invited people I like opens it up. Based on that sentence, does it mean Sam would have been obligated to invite every person he likes to the party? Oh, you just fucking. That's the question. Sam's case. Exactly. All I know Sam's is... Sam's attorney. With the two eyes yeah. in the sentence proves how self-centered. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that I give you. <laughs> Definitely you win that one. <laughs> All right, we, let's go to the jury. e -Rock. Well, the second part says I didn't invite anybody I wouldn't hang out with. Yeah, yeah. and that doesn't imply that everybody who wasn't invited would not with somebody Stop I wouldn't hang out with. with the implications. Don't read into it. Both sentences do not have absolutes. Absolutely I'm sorry. Not. Doesn't seem that way to me. You rock? Because that would, that would mean that I only hang out with five people. Well, you should. You should only ha you're yeah. just hang out with the less. The same you're five people likeable, you Sam. always hang out with. 
Not the case you're not a likable person. No. <laughs> Iraq. <laughs> I see what you're saying, but I can also understand why Kenny would be upset by that. We're not understanding why and upset. Emotions aren't here. We're talking facts. Yeah. It it does seem like it's, it says... Seem, I don't like, seem like? Or what's the facts? This statement does not oblige Sam to invite everyone he likes. This isn't an There's emotional nothing question. nothing in that statement that uh, says that Sam should have invited everyone he likes... Or not say, uh, have said that statement. Logically, right. not emotionally. Right. Well, we're waiting. Uh, Ira, comment. Ira? He's not sure. Jeez. Iraq? It's this fucking... It's up to him. It's like uh, the virus as a jury. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just a verdict. One verdict. Iraq? Oh, boy. A jury of your queers. Oh, wait. Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. It 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 it. Uh, There's no weighing. It, it's it's just what oh, the oh. sentence says. Oh. I mean, there's. Iraq. I like Coke logic. I didn't invite him. Right. Well, that, there's plenty of people you like you that weren't fine. invited. Iraq. Dr. Steve was cool. Yeah. Kenny, you like Coke logic so lot much. When's the last oh. time you spoke to him? The other day. I mean, yeah. yeah. Would you, do, does, do you call him when you're sad and blue? Wait, but do you know his favorite color? Blue. What he you, needed the money. Kenny, I've known you a long time. I don't know your favorite color. What color is it? <laughs> you gotta guess. <laughs> <laughs> he just likes when people think. <laughs> I'm gonna go blue. No. Of course not. <laughs> it's got to be a shitty color. Mauve. <laughs> I enjoy a good mauve colored day. Beige. <laughs> um, purple. Negative. Yellow. Do you hear something? Oh. oh. <laughs> nah, Kenny's a red guy. That's or danger. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. He's a safe color. Uh, Green. Are you a Bingo! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Iraq said I'm going to let Kenny off. Sorry, but I'm going to let Kenny off the hook. What does that mean? That's not what I said. What did you oh, say? I said, sorry, Kenny, but I think Sam's going to slide on this. Uh, oh, okay. oh, I, see, I understand why Kenny's that. upset, but there's no, real no, have absolute, to be sorry. no absolute, so I think Sam gets a Technically, pass Technically, yes. That's yeah, a grammatic now, question. Now you're right. also on Kenny's shit list. Yep. Uh, Eric's good people. What does that mean? He's all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, are we done here? I hope so. Hope everybody's had their grammar lesson for the day too. It pays yeah. attention a little. Ne next time, don't call a phrase into question. But it's Kenny, you came in here and called that phrase into question. Look, Sam, mm -hmm. you did skate, but the fact remains, you don't like Kenny. Ooh. That's that's neither. That's not been established. Well, why wouldn't you say that's not true? What's been established is the you, nature of the sentence. Exactly. He didn't deny it, G.H. Oh, yeah. see, you well, I, didn't, I didn't establish whether I like him or not. Why wouldn't you? I was yeah. waiting to see how this conversation went. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, well, he doesn't like you. No. That's obvious. But he lucked out on, his, on the way he put his sentence. Yeah. There's no luck. All right. Another uh, great... Um, Hold on. Let's see how the crew is working with each other segment. <laughs> uh, John Grisham is uh, checking John out. Grisham of <laughs> New Orleans. The author? Jason is a lawyer. What's up, Jason? I completely disagree with the attorney from New uh, Jersey, and let me tell you why. Oh. He's right. The use of the word only is important. However, the placement of the word only is equally important. He said, I only invited people that I like. He didn't say, I invited the only people that I like. Uh -huh. Therefore, he took the, the uh, his invitees from a greater list of people that he liked. It doesn't mean he doesn't like Kenny. I think he's a dick for not inviting Kenny, but uh, it doesn't mean that he does not like Kenny. Exactly. Thank you. You're very welcome. Wait, so what happened there? Um, I don't know. Lawyer speak. Wow. I think we're not allowed to do a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Probably what that meant. <laughs> we'll break, finish up the show next. <laughs> Welcome back to Yenta Explorers with Marge and Gertrude. Let's join the ladies as they head down to the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean to explore the Titanic. Boy, this elevator sure the heck is taking quite a long time. <laughs> I hope no one pushes all the buttons on the way back up. 
Oh, stopping at every tip. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, this is like going up into the plane, but going down into the ocean. Where's the clouds and stuff? Oh, you're funny. Up, oh, where's the whales and the sonar and not? Hey, stop here. I'm gonna get off and buy some girdles. Uh, floor five, shoes, hats, and gloves. Ah, uh, ladies' foundations and other picture postcards. I'd love to go cave diving under there. That's craziness. Sure would. Hey, cave diving, what are you doing? Oh, well, let's journey to it. Why don't they go down there and just lift it up with a bunch of ropes? Just pick it up, push it. It's like, uh, it's underwater water. Everything's lighter in the water. I'd like to sink you down there in a second. You can bend. Quick, get me a Benson and Hedges. I see the core. <laughs> Where's my Chesterfields? Quick, get me a moor. I see the big circle of fire. I'm smoking. I'd love to have a Titanic pickle sandwich. Hold the relish, darling. This is the last one of its kind. I'm gonna have a little bit of pickle with a side of pickle juice. Get a starline plate. I'm starving. Crikey, the Yent has made it all the way down, but will they make it back up? Find out next time on Yent Explorers with Marge and Gertrude. Serious XM. Serious XM. Yeah. 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 This is the OP Anthony Show. Well, that killed an hour and a half. Now Jesus. it's time to go home. Crazy. I like that. That was fucking... That was fun, though, man. I just... I, I like that shit. I love the little intricate relationships people have around this motherfucker. It's just so much fun. Yeah. Uh, some asshole's gonna sing God Bless America 911 times in honor of 9-11 anniversary. All right. Way Look. to make it about yourself. Relax. Why yeah. is he doing that? Exactly. What is the purpose besides going, That's hey, look me, at me. me, me, That's a me, me, me. Unless he lost people and stuff, then I look like an eh, asshole. That's still me, me, me. You think? Yeah. Me, 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 me. I can't believe it's 11 years tomorrow. 11 years tomorrow. 9-11. Uh, wow. Yeah, yeah that's what, fucked up. Huh? What do we do for the 11 years? Nothing. There's no big lights. To, there's no... I think they're, they're going to have... some lights this weekend. What was that? I didn't see the lights. Oh, uh, maybe something... Were they? Maybe a grand opening or something. <laughs> <laughs> I saw lights coming out of the buildings from where I live. some lights? I don't know. Uh, I, I know they're going to have some kind of memorial. They do that every year, but I think that the 10 year was the big one last year, and... Um, Does Obama come for the 11th? No. 11th now. It's just really? like... Really? Meh, 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 meh. In, a, in an election year? No. 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 This is something we talked about many years ago mm -hmm. that it would slowly just fade out. This turns into what it, whatever. What yeah. they do at other places. There are people that don't even have, an, let's say, an adult recollection of 9-11. Like they have a recollection of something. You know when you were a kid and something happened? Right. And it was like, yeah, I remember, but nah, nah. And they're adults now. Right. But they don't have an adult recollection of 9-11. It's so weird. I'm going to bring it in tomorrow because I didn't realize we were going to talk about this. This is an actual formula of what year you get to where uh, more than half the people alive don't have a recollection of that event. Whoa. But it's an actual formula. Oh, it is? Yeah. Huh. And then they, they'll, they'll tell you, like, by the year, whatever, more people will not have an actual recollection of 9-11 than, than do that are alive. Oh, they'll, wow. They, they'll, they won't remember living through it. They'll know about it because they'll of the know history. about it. Yeah, right. Yeah. And some of the things it was kind of creepy. I didn't realize we were going down this road. I should have brought it to the. I'll bring it to the show tomorrow. Yeah. But it's a whole fucking formula, and then they do like you know, like uh, the, the the JFK assassination by the year. I don't remember what year they said, but let's say 1990. More people don't have a recollection of living through that than do. Wow. Something like that. Yeah. But I'll yeah. have a, I'll have actual facts tomorrow. Damn. Isn't that fucked up? Yeah. Unless someone has a link to that shit right now, because we've got a couple minutes left. 9-11. I guess people are a little pissed off, too, because uh, the memorial down there is uh, really nice and everything, and people are like, spilling coffee on the fucking uh, plaques. Well, and Of course. Just a bunch of... Uh, How much is it going to cost? They had yeah, that number over the weekend. How much it's going to cost a year a to year. maintain that thing? And the yeah. number was... Wow. Pretty I, fucking staggering. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. It's either <laughs> 6 million or 60 million. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. 6 no, was, million or 60. I'm not even joking. Or there, 6 billion. There was a 6 in there. Either one to me was like, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and what, the TV coverage of the reading of the names? Are we still Are reading Are they doing names? the reading of the names tomorrow? When oh. do they stop doing that? Well, that's, that's 
That's the question. That's the big moment. I think it's local, though. Like, the Nationals will pick it up here and there, but the local feed, I think, is But eventually, the local news channels are going to yeah, have to bet on that, too. Which one's going to be the first to go, look, there's nothing else we could do here. Yeah. We all know that day completely sucked, and it's horrendous and all that, but... Uh, $60 million a year? Yeah. $60 for the, million. For the upkeep of the memorial down there. Probably a lot of security, too. You know, that probably is a lot of uh, security. What? Why security? Well, they probably don't want anyone messing with it. Yeah. Any of them Muslims coming in and fucking with it. Mm. Yeah. Why is the guy doing God Bless America 911 times? Me. Where were you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and for music fans, is Led Zeppelin going to put out another album? How is that possible? On their Bonham's Facebook page, dead. I guess they wrote uh, five so everyone's speculating that means they're putting out a new album or something like that? Really? Oh, boy. Do we want to hear Zeppelin at this no. point? With Robert new Plant material? can't sing. He can't sing that, that type of music anymore. He does those, you know, honey dripper type songs, and that's fine. They're kind of nice. But uh, he can't sing Zeppelin anymore? No. You don't want to hear any, any of that shit? I'm surprised. The fucking Stones just are still... I was hearing about the Stones yesterday and how they're going to be putting out an album and touring and oh, yeah. just signed a bunch of fucking... Signed on with, what, ESPN for yeah. some kind of shit. And, yeah. and it's like 2012. It's their 50th anniversary. You start think. thinking like, you know, did anybody think in 2012 that Rolling Stones would still be doing anything? No, they got to be... Uh, they got to be at least 70 uh, at this 70s. point, right? We're very Fucking close to crazy. it. Crazy. And they're going to do a whole world tour. Yeah. Huh. Playing two dates in Brooklyn in November. That's what it is. At Brooklyn's becoming like that place to fucking play if you're playing limited shows, huh? Well, they got the new arena. Yeah. I guess Dylan's doing that, too. Travis, what do we know on Zeppelin? It's a oh. countdown. Oh, so there's a countdown on their site? For what? I don't the know. touring? That, yesterday they posted four. I heard they posted five. <laughs> yeah, they did post five on Saturday. And then it went to four. And then four. yesterday they posted four. <laughs> and then it goes to three, to, uh, oh, and then two. So people are thinking like that on Thursday there's going to oh, be Oh, so the five was like, what the fuck? That means they're putting out a... Five, everyone was like, well, what the fuck does that mean? Does that oh, they mean... had a Led Zeppelin four, so yeah, they did a Led Zeppelin five. five but now concerts. they're going to four, so yeah, now it's so countdown. Uh, oh, they're going to tour. No, it'll That's probably all that be some is. stupid box set or DVD. Ah, uh, you're right. Oh, you think? There's no way Plant is fucking going out with Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Have we done the bit where we go over an artist's greatest hits collection? Like, the Rolling Stones is a good one. Yeah. Where there's been so many different combinations of the greatest hits. Scene. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, where it's been released, like, 20 times already? In different yeah. ways. And they're like, well, no, well, done this is too. a remastered version of the greatest hits, which is a little different. Uh, that's the Stones are playing the... Uh, oh, you guys mentioned it when I was walking down, four. I guess. Four. Right? Why do I have to write four like it's that? It's like, what does this yeah, mean, cool. man? There's a dot below the O in What four. are people saying? Are they commenting? There's, there's 1,700 comments. Oh, yes. Look, I'm a huge Zeppelin fan. What, I mean, what could what are, they possibly what do to wow me at this point? What are they saying? Countdown. Fuck yeah. Uh, <laughs> fuck yeah. I'm freaking out. 321. Oh, about yes. What? Uh, about what? These people are dumb. Yeah, about what? Where's three? Where's <laughs> oh, three? Yeah. Show today. <laughs> Where's three? That's pretty funny. That is Where's a, three? It's a countdown. Cannot wait to see what we are anxiously waiting for. <laughs> then he makes yeah. sense. People yeah. are dopes. You know what I bet it is? I bet yeah. it's a DVD of that O2 show that they did a couple years ago. You think? The, the last reunion show. Mm. That's what I bet it is. That's it? Yeah. Yeah. They're not going to tour. I hope they don't. So it's it's a big a deal about nothing. Yeah, I hope they don't at this point. Is that a chick fucking uh, yep. ref First out one? there? Huh? First one? First one. What happened? First chick oh, yeah, ref out there at the uh, She's one of the, uh, Lions uh, Rams game. What? I think the replacement refs did okay, right? Not in, too many in some calls. games. In, in, in some other games, they, they did yeah. The terrible. embarrassing part, though, she uh, there was a penalty flag. She ripped her fucking tampon out no. and threw it. I didn't read that. It was terrible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw that. Are you making fun so of terrible. You're making fun of my tweet? What? Was that a Did you tweet that? Did you tweet that? You making fun of my tweet? <laughs> no, I was just thinking it was kind of funny. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, you tweeted that shit. <laughs> you making fun of my tweet? No, I swear. Uh-huh. I swear. <laughs> I just thought of it. I think that was a backhanded fucking fuck you. No. I think so. Uh -huh. so I had no clue. Yes, you uh -huh. did. No. Honestly, I had no clue. Let me see. I, just uh, thought, uh, I wrote. Okay, let's see. And of course, the asshole Oh, uh, yeah. Where is it? 
Shit, what he wrote say? was uh, oh, because I Bang had yeah. the story, so I was helping out the oh, uh, the the I Bang on Twitter. Awkward. They wrote first female ref makes NFL history. I wrote was awkward when she threw a tamp on a field instead of the flag. <laughs> right, that figures. <laughs> you making fun of me? Anthony no, was taking I a really, shot. I really was just like a shot. Oh. He was taking a shot. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> she looked pretty hot. She know who she looked like. She looked like uh, one of the broads from that movie with uh, fucking uh, Aykroyd and Candy. Uh, the fucking, uh, with Bill Murray, the army movie. <laughs> oh, Stripes. Stripes. Oh, oof. Well, well not that wow. picture. Wow. <laughs> she does not even look good there. No, that's a bad picture. Find some other picture. See if uh, it's a bad picture. Remember, though, when in Stripes they had the hair up under the hats and stuff? Yeah. Uh, all right. Though. All right. She looks not a little really. dikey. All right. Maybe me. she looked good from the, like. She kind of looked good in a few pictures I saw, but now the ones we're looking at, nah. Like away from. Hey, how weird! It's bad. We didn't really talk about football that much because it's still revving up. But how weird was it to see Peyton Manning in that orange uniform, Travis? I know you like. It football. was a little weird. Strange when that happens, right? When yeah. you're used to one guy. <sighs> we've done this bit a million they, times. They, they one did it guy too when you're night. so used to seeing him in that uniform, and then he plays in a drastic. Uh, yeah, he yeah. played well though. Yeah, he did all right. Yeah, won the game. Four hundred touchdowns. Four hundred one. In one game? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I you, missed, start you missed a hell of a game, Sam. Yeah, the score was 20, 2842 to oh. 7. Oh, they killed him. Yeah. You're assuming they didn't try for any two point conversions. Oh. Did, I oh, him, yeah. did I do the math correctly? I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay, because I, I was trying to figure out some sixes and sevens in there and common. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Did, you, did your team win, Travis? They played tonight Ravens, Bengals. Two Monday night games, huh? Two Monday night games. That's they like to do that on week one. How do you pay attention to the Orioles also? Well, the Orioles have an off night today. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, with all this going yesterday, on. Yesterday was very weird. My yeah. team is usually out of playoff contention, and I'm very looking forward to football. Complete yep. opposite. Now yesterday. You're like I watched I watched the Orioles game and I and I kept my eye on the football. Yeah. The Orioles are still in it. Well, Stealing I, wins from the Yankees. Well, I know. Well, fucking shit. <laughs> Would it be a lot easier as soon as football starts, whoever has the best record in baseball wins it all? They just the no that World Series would be Series so smart. Yeah, just say, all right, look, you have the best record. There'd yeah, be a lot yeah. of pressure to make sure you have the best record before football starts. Yeah, because, you know, a how lot. Many peop how many people check out at baseball so as football starts, right? I, I do. I mean, if if the Orioles weren't in it this year, I'm I'm done. The only one's yeah. not I'm checking out football. is if their team's in it, yeah. but everyone else that might check out some of these games. Maybe that's why out. they added the extra wild card, so that more people would still be interested in baseball. Hmm. 162 games in this day and age, really? That's a lot of games. So but stupid. it's baseball. It's Watch it just kind of there. It's omnipresent. And it's you know what's great always. now? When you can watch it on the iPad, I can yeah. still watch television. Mm -hmm. And I got my iPad just sitting next to me. got the game, got right, the game there. right there. That is pretty goddamn and it's, handy. It's the perfect screen to watch a baseball game right up close. It's great. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that iPad is a hell of a It's the best. Attention. I have so many fucking computers in my house now. I just had to get another one yesterday, a Windows. Because mm. I, got, I got my Mac for the living room, and, and I needed a Windows for the living room. Because I got one for the studio, and I got one for here. <laughs> but I, I needed one for because I realized like there's a lot of fucking shit I need for Windows uh, when I'm just sitting watching TV and I don't have it. Mm. So now I do. Good for which you. Which added, I I think I have <laughs> what amounts to probably thirty computers. No, I don't know. It's probably close. Twenty with the studio computers. and everything. What, what's the what? real number? Twenty. Oh, Probably twenty. Holy okay, fuck. twenty computers. How many MacBook Airs are just sitting around? Uh, well, yeah, I got a few of those. Casinos. But those are good because I just pick them up and go somewhere with them. The shitter. Yeah. Or birthday presents. Birthday presents. <laughs> yes. I, I dropped my MacBook on vacation last year in the Outer Banks and uh -huh. completely uh, spider webbed the screen. Oh. Still haven't fixed it. That's the one. <laughs> a year later, I still haven't fixed the screen. Uh, I bought an uh, iMac in 2006. Me. Oh. Really? So I got that one. Wow, I'm using nice. The, remember Compaq? Oh, yeah. I have to use my old one because my laptop finally broke. Oh, man. Yeah. That's sad. <laughs> You want my uh, no. my broken laptop? No, it's it's a powerful <laughs> laptop. The screen no. is all fucked up. I'll take it. And by the way, when this I was buying sucks. that, uh, I was buying a Sony Vio computer yesterday. You like those at the Sony? So yeah, I do. I do like them. Why? Because from all the laptops I've had, Windows laptops that I've had, um, they're the only ones that have really lasted. I like the Toshiba satellites. The Toshiba was a piece of shit when I really? bought it. 
Yeah, those were the ones that kept breaking. Mine lasted for years until it finally broke. I finally flung mine in the pool. That's the one I threw in the pool. <laughs> but I'm at the Sony store. I buy a computer. I bring it home. I start it up, and it says, um, to recover system, press blah de blah I'm like, what? The, what? Recover system? What? So I'm like, well, I, I hit OK, and it shows me that there's no operating system Ooh. on it whatsoever. No OS. Nothing better than going to the store. one of those special Windows features. Yes. No OS. No. <laughs> So uh, nothing better than buying something and unpacking it and plugging it in and, get, and then having to put it all back in the box and go back to the fucking uh, store again. We did that over the weekend. Bought a new camera, oh. no battery. There was no battery. I had to go right back. And, Don't you fucking... Yeah. That sucks. Hate it. Made sure there was a battery when we got the replacement. Mm. Oh, Packard Bell stinks too. Shut up, Packard Bell. What year is this? <laughs> Get my Packard Bell. HP. How's Dell doing? Sucks. Fucking Dell stinks now. I still have Dell stock. What's wrong with me? Yeah, Dell's hurting these days. Yeah. All right. We're babbling. We're going to close up shop for today. Yes. I think we did it. Yeah, I think we did too. I think we did all right. Now it's good because now. Once we leave, yep. it's just like we had Monday off. Ooh, see, yeah. so it's like it's I like, like now it's a four day week. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You have to rationalize it so you can make yourself get up in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> that's how we roll. <laughs> yeah, but as soon as you get here, then it's fine. It's just I know. waking up. It totally is. My stupid body clock wakes me up every day at four thirty, and I don't even need to be up at four thirty anymore. And he wakes me up. Fuck. I fucking my phone is in my charger right. like player next to my bed, and uh, I hear, meh, meh, and I turn and it's Kenny's picture that I have over here, <laughs> like and it's a real dumb picture, it's just oh, uh, and that's what I look at every, every morning. morning. That's what I wake up to, Kenny's fucking face. It's hilarious. <laughs> what are the guest pitches? Let's do it on the air today. Oh man, who is it? Come on, man. Uh, he's folding up, <laughs> putting his oh, pocket. Mr. Pure, Who is it? Mr. Pure Honesty doesn't want to play the game today. Who is it? Come on. Oh, nobody. I, I, you know, they're just my thoughts. That's what I... What did he just say? <laughs> <laughs> Those are just my thoughts. They did that. These are just my thoughts? <laughs> yeah, that's all. That, Rolling right his it? thoughts. Who is it? Nah, nobody. Who's, 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 who are we booking? Do you guys want Brad Pitt? Who? Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt. Oh, <laughs> Brad Pitt. <laughs> Wait. Uh, maybe for tomorrow. Why? Sam's mother-in-law said I should go to... Armont. Armonk. Armonk? Armonk. Yeah. Armonk. Because I would be the Brad Pitt of Armonk. Yeah. I wouldn't be the Brad Pitt anywhere else. Don't get me wrong here. I'm not bragging. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She said, though, if I go to Armonk... That's the population. Because they're all Wall Street douchebags. Right. That are just shitty looking and just shitty people. I would be the Brad Pitt of Armonk. Right. You'd be like a rock star in Armonk. Yeah, Whoa. we're going to have to go with that thought tomorrow. I don't even know where that is. Westchester. Oh, fuck. But then I said, what about this other town, which was nearby? I forgot which one. She goes, no. Armonk, though. <laughs> You'd the be one. the Brad Pitt of Armonk. Armonk. <laughs> it's a very affluent town, too. Is it? But they just are shitty people. They're awful. They just they didn't deserve their money or whatever. It sounds like a terrible do, place. Uh, do they yeah. make you bring like the, the cake name. out early? <laughs> what? Oh, did they make you bring the cake out early? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See what Reference happened there? To Troy and Roland. All right, Roland. What a controversial party you had. We're off Sam. the air. What's oh, the yeah. guess? Controversial. We're off the air. See, I'm, I'm off mic. We're off the air. Yeah, you should have your headphones on and the oh, light's yeah, still on, on behind me. <laughs> <laughs> and, All right, look, my, my headphones are off. We're off the air. I know the light's been on behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around. I'll prove the lights are off. It's it. Off. <laughs> is, that my, is, that, is that my first time? I'm the boss. <laughs> yeah, DeRosa. Yeah, DeRosa is another one. You may have some competition. I just got reminded of something. What? Justin Stangle from Letterman lives in Armonk. Oh, oh shit. So, and he's really handsome, so... Oh, boy. But can he be another one of those, like... Maybe he could be Clooney and you could be Brad Pitt. Like and that. you guys oh, could roll, good. like, Ocean's 13. Totally owning the fucking place. Bruce. So, your mother-in-law made fun of the Stangles. Or one of the Stangles. Oh, she knows better than to do that. I've told her the Stangles control everything. So I can They're be the like Brad Pitt of Armand? like crime fucking yeah. family. Yeah, because Justin Stangles the George Clooney of Armand. All right, he'll be the George Clooney. I'll be the fucking Brad Pitt of Armand. Right, and I'll come in and be Don Cheadle and try to blow something up or something. <laughs> <laughs> with a British the, accent. The only person I have is Jeffrey Tubin, the guy who wrote about the book about Obama. Because it's political. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're in, a, we're, in a, we're in a political time. Sam, just continue. You don't have to break. It's true. I mean, 
in the politics. Hey, the election is around the corner. I don't know if that's a yes or a no, though. Is the that's only a yes. Of what? That's a yes. You're that's a yes. Wait, who? Jeffrey Tubin. <laughs> Ah, uh, he's one of those guys. Yeah. CNN. What, what kind of Obama book is it? It's about Obama, what he passed in the Senate, how Obama and the Senate are butting heads. Is it pro or against Obama? I don't know politics. <laughs> <laughs> you don't that, know. That, that's where Anthony comes in. <laughs> you don't even know if it's a pro or anti. I, I, it, it's his observations. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, it's not. <laughs> Wait, CNN could go either way. Although I think they lean more Obama. Yeah, but what if it's one of those contributors that they get from the right to kind of off-put? Right. Who was the other guest in your pocket? See, I'm, no one can hear me. I'm in the doorway. It's, it's, it's Jeffrey Tubin. Jeffrey Tubin. <laughs> Who? Jeffrey Tubin from uh, CNN. Was it go Tubin? Yeah, that's a good one. Double guns. Go commercial. <laughs> Why am I waiting? Why am I here doing this? Why do I have a headphone to my ear? Like you, I care what ho happens right now? You could go to our monk too and join the Opie and Justin Stangle gang. No, I'm okay. It's you could be Scott Zahn. No, it's Scott Zahn. <laughs> All right, I had fun today. You Thank did? You. Have fun at the after show. I will. You didn't get an answer. What about Jeffrey Tubin? <laughs> <laughs> That's two yeses. <laughs> now you tell me this, Roland. Yes. And you're uh, right now in your strategy. Okay, yeah. the room's emptied out. It's just me and you. Yeah. Will Jeffrey Tubin be booked on the show? No. I think for the after show listeners, for everybody who's listening now, you should absolutely book Jeffrey Tubin as a goof on them. For the after show? No, on the, on their show, and be like you said, yes. All right. Should we book him? Right wait, wait, wait. Is he already booked? Uh, you know, soft dates, soft dates. <laughs> soft dates. What is soft dates? Yes, it's, um, you know how they, the boss, the, the management, so, hmm? when there's like an event, like, oh, those, the election's coming, we need more like political pundits to come on and talk about it. Okay, so the management says, well, like, like they said, there's like, a current event happening, well, it's like, political. Like if, yeah, if, if there's an event happening. Election season. Yeah, you should, you should, we need ahead. some pundits. Yeah, and plenty ahead and book, like uh, Stephanopoulos, like a tube in. Stephanopoulos and, is coming in here from Good Morning America? I gotta talk to them later. About that. <laughs> and, uh, Was he the other name in your pocket? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, boy. And uh, Ann Coulter, she's coming in. Okay. That's Ant's buddy. That's a no-brainer. Oh, that's good. Is she, that's, is she booked or have you yeah, pitched her? Yeah, yeah. Have you pitched her? Not yet. Is she booked? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, she is. All right, Jeffrey Tubin. We all heard you pitch her. You uh, him. Yeah, it's a him, right, Jeffrey? Yeah. You pitched him on the air. Yeah. Uh, you didn't get an answer. I did. Oh, because you. I thought, I thought I heard a yes. Okay. Is he booked? Not yet. Will he be booked? That, this morning, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he is being booked. Eric, you heard that, right? Is he in there? There you are, Jeffrey Tubin. Yeah, confirmed. I heard, I heard confirmed. And Coulter confirmed. George Stephanopoulos confirmed? We're working on a date. That actually you, would be good. You're working on a date, meaning you said yes to his people. Yeah. Okay, has he been pitched? No. <laughs> no, it's a no-brainer though, right? Yes. It's a guy from GMA. But he's a political pundit. We're, we're, in a, we're in a political atmosphere, as they say. Is George Stephanopoulos a political pundit? No, but he worked in the White House. He did? Yeah, with uh, Clinton. Well, oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Stupid. Don't call me stupid. Oh, shit. Don't call me stupid. I already took down Eric and Club Soda Kenny today. I'll take down everybody if stupid. I have to. I Googled that shit and looked at Wikipedia. And Roland's a little cranky because you spent the entire weekend drinking with Guy Fieri. Yeah, he's awesome. Did you have a good time? I had a fucking blast. Now, see, it's funny, though, because you had said that you were not going to... You were you're on this diet. Correct. You weren't going to drink any... And part of the diet was you're not drinking anymore. Yeah. You know, you're you're watching what you eat. Yeah. You come back a couple weeks ago, and we tell everybody the story about you drinking with the machine, Burt Kreischer. That, w that was my beginning of the downfall. That was it, huh? Yeah. That was the trigger. That was the trigger. That was what killed it. You're running around the mall with your shirt over your head. With, the, uh, it with shaved chest. Yeah, yeah your body back. has been shaved, and you're like, all right, actually, I forgot how fun this is. Yeah. And now... You go out with Guy Fieri, and you did. Because Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You started texting me on Friday, <laughs> talking about how hammered you were. Roland starts texting me, and uh, let me see if I can find the text. Because they just start rolling in on Friday. You remember, or do you? Yeah. 
Well, and I remember Friday, I was uh, I was just going to stop by. And they goes, come by for one quick drink. I'm like, all right. So that was at 5, and I left at like at 2-ish? Mm. I don't remember. 2 a.m. Yeah. He goes, uh, yeah, because he, he said, um, I'm hammered. I've been here since 5, a, uh, since 5 p.m. Uh, guy forgives you. And I said, forgives me for what? And he goes, shh. Then he started texting me pictures of hamburgers and saying my love. And then he said, I told Guy, you are sorry. He, he. And I said, sorry for what? And he wrote, you are F sorry. This is where it all started to go downhill. <laughs> Roland writes, you are F sorry. I wrote, you're a son of a bitch. Roland responds with the word H-E-H-R. I wrote, that's not a word, Roland. He wrote Fahrenheit man. <laughs> <laughs> Roland responded, Fahrenheit man. Yeah. And then he wrote fart man. Ha. Huh? As if, I'm so silly. I meant to say fart man. Which still makes no sense. Then he, I wrote, what the fuck are you talking about? And then you wrote, you, you kind SOB. <laughs> I was like, what? Are you telling me I'm a nice son of a bitch? I don't know. You kind SOB? Did yeah. you mean to write you kind SOB? Uh, that was you like, don't remember. That was like after like my seventh shot or something. Um, I'm hurt. And then you, the next morning, and by morning I mean 12, 15 p.m., he woke up and texted me and said, up, yeah. I'm hurting today, going back to hang at his restaurant. Yeah. And we had to pull you out of there to go to the party. Then I went back to his restaurant. But then you went back to his restaurant and got hammered again. Yeah. Now, is this the end of the diet, too? Because obviously you're eating a lot of food. Well, well it, was, it was like a... Celebration? Yeah, celebration. <laughs> celebration. I'm just giving you the, the answers. Um, and we saw that picture. We talked about it on the after show before from Labor Day of you and Troy. And Troy in his tiny little bathing suit. Yeah. And it said on the caption that you were getting one last swim in before they closed the pool in your building. Yeah. That's where you exercised. Yeah. So water aerobics is done. Done. Is there any hope of you doing non-water aerobics? I'm going back to the gym uh, tomorrow because I have one more. Um... I hope not if you believe him. I do. Eric, do you think Roland's done? With drinking? No. Do you think Roland's done with his uh, I'm getting healthy kick? Do you think he's going to put the weight I back have, on? He, look, when he was on it, I used to see him come in with the brown bag and his, his juice thing almost <laughs> every day. I have not seen that plastic cup since. It's, it has been replaced with iced coffee. It's retired. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me this, Roland. Yes. Did you throw out the stretched out t-shirts that don't fit you anymore? First rule being the fat guy, you never throw anything out. Okay. Because you never know when shit's going to happen. Sometimes you do. Like right now. Yeah, well, it's like, um, it was, it was a f oh, Friday night and this really hot blonde girl was just staring at me. Mm -hmm. I was like, ah, what's up? And she just looked at me, I go, I go, where are you staring at? She goes, look at your shirt, idiot. I had sauce everywhere. <laughs> I had stains, it had like booze ramp like, droppings. Like a child, like a two-year-old. Now I know why the Cuban and guy never was like howling with laughter. Because how do you get, you made a mess of yourself. They loved it though. You don't understand that it's like a very infantile thing? Eh, it should happen. You don't mind? Nah, yeah, fuck it. You're the life of the party. They say, come back tomorrow, we want you. Roland showed up at this barbecue that my parents threw me for my birthday. And like we were talking about on the air today, I swear to God, everybody's just chilling out, kind of having, it's 5 p.m. It's, an, it's the afternoon. Everybody's uh, drinking. What were you guys drink, drinking? S um, s uh, what's the, um, Senoria or the... Senoritas? No, the Senoritas. Uh, Sangria? Sangria. You forgot the name of the they, drink? I, I haven't slept for like a few days. <laughs> okay. You're all drinking sangrias. Yes. Troy gets up to get another one. He, he's just sipping on it. He's, you know, he's yeah. loosening up a little bit. In the first hour, you had drank four, and nobody else had drank any. Yeah. Like, everybody was kind of finishing their first one, and you had already had four. Four to five, yeah. Four to five. Could have been five. Yeah, I, I finished pretty much the whole thing. Then you started, yeah, the whole pitcher. Yeah, it's delicious. Then you started drinking beers. Yeah, I had, your mom made delicious guacamole. For not being Mexican, it was very good. You enjoyed close. the guacamole? It was very good. You would know. I mean, you're a Mexican guy and you're a foodie. Yeah, and the chicken fingers were delicious. You liked everything. And the OP King goes, how's the chicken fingers good? He goes, ooh, where are they? I go, I ate them. <laughs> you ate all of them. Well, I ate the plate that, I didn't know that was for him. Well, I mean, I guess it was an appetizer. It was for all the guests, though. Eh, if they're yapping, I'm hungry. Right. That's going. You're, you don't spend the, when you get to a party, you don't spend the beginning uh, yapping. Drinking. 
You spend it drinking and eating. And then yeah. once the food is done, you'll get to your socializing. Yeah, and then your dad goes, have a beer. I'm like, all right, I don't want to be rude. Let's so, have a beer. So it starts pouring rain, and we're undercover, so everything's yeah. fine. But it starts pouring rain, and everybody, like I said, is just chilling out. Is Troy, they, you were at this party. We were chilling out, were we not? Yeah, it was a great time. But Roland wasn't chilling out. It starts pouring rain, and Roland decides just because everybody's going to get such a kick out of it, he's going to leave the patio area that's covered and just start running around in the backyard in the pouring rain. You got soaked. Yeah. Why? I don't know. It's, it's like <laughs> when I get drunk, either fountain or water I go to. You love getting wet. That's like your yeah. goof. You just get yourself soaking wet. Yeah. Were you embarrassed to Roland at first? I was embarrassed for you. You are. I was your family. My parents were probably like, what? What is this? I don't understand. Because it wasn't even like, it wasn't crazy at all. And no. then and Troy goes, hey, way to eat that. He said, you should lose weight. I go, yeah, for pussy. You started yelling out pussy. Yeah, I remember that. Talking a lot, about a lot of weird obscenities. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, by that time, Opie's two-year-old was there. My parents are sitting there. Yeah. Where you're in the backyard. But he's from, the kid, it's like New York, he probably heard worse on the streets. You're in the backyard that I grew up in. Yeah. Just a little respect for the location, you know? Yeah. You'd think you'd kind of get a feel of what the vibe was before you started going in. Yeah. Well, Your parents seem to run, roll with the punches, though. Yeah, but you, you generally you kind of want to get a gauge on that before you find out. Oh, like, no. you could have just I, as I, easily I, found out that my parents weren't rolling with the punches. Well, I think he would probably know that, you know, being as though they've called into the show and, yeah. you know, their involvement with, you know, what you've done. Why and, push the envelope, though, is a question. I mean, you were embarrassed. You you thought his behavior was embarrassing. Slightly, but uh, it's also funny. I Does mean, your girlfriend get annoyed when the two of you are together and she's hanging oh, out with she you? Got she annoyed. got pissed. Oh, she Jess got told pissed. me. That. Yeah, we were Jess the, told me that. She, first of all, she had enough. Jess loves your girlfriend. That's cool. Yeah, she's and a she, big loves, fan. she loves Jess. They're, they're, they could become great friends. But Jess told me after she got back from driving you to the train station that your girlfriend had had enough of the two of you. Oh, she did. And that at one point. <laughs> Jess had to tell you guys, okay, we specifically Jess said, Roland, she had Whoa. to turn around. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. No, okay. It's fair. She's, she's is, it, is it fair? Is she lying? No, she's not no, lying. No, she's not lying. No. She had to turn around and say, all right, that's going to be enough. And, yeah. and your girlfriend responded by saying, finally. <laughs> That, that is true. That, that, that's, that, that's, that's true. That's very, true very, very, very true. But okay. it's just like, you know, hey, look, we're here to have fun. Yeah. You know, YOLO. <laughs> you're hanging with my friends. Like, this is how we have fun. You know, like, do you ever, like, because I've been in this situation where, because I have I love it. You know I love it. Yeah. You know I love getting rolling all right. And you up. encourage it. You Absolutely. Did, you, did, you did encourage the water. You... I lo when Roland starts deciding it's time to get goofy and to go run in the rain or pour bottles of water on himself, I'm the guy who's saying, "Yeah, let's get him some more water. Let's right. get him. Let's get him soaking wet." Um, but I've been in situations where I'm hanging out with Roland and Jess is like annoyed with my behavior because she doesn't want to deal with drunken Roland making a fool of himself and everyone around us. She's making a scene. Roland makes a scene. Huge scene. And girls don't like it when guys make a scene like that. Well, they think it's funny for a, like a little bit. Yeah. But then the point that we would go to or he, you know, he would go to is yeah. just too much. It's, it's kind of like, it's like his girlfriend and then, uh, they're her friend. When the way I do the eighth chant, the horror look on people was hilarious. The horror look. The, the, they went, "Oh my god, what?" He did an AIDS chant in on a the subway. subway. Yeah. yeah. Well, we were goofing around. We were we were like, "What did your girlfriend think of that?" The AIDS chant. Yeah. Uh, well, she was. You know, we, she was drinking. We were in like Madonna mode, so it was okay. And it was only the subway ride was only a couple stops, so she knew it was going to end at a certain point. Like she oh, would have we, to, she would be able to get off and get away from these people. We were screaming like, and we were like, "What's up, bro?" And we we're like, "I'm about to get sick, bro." And he was just, he was like, you know, we were just going back and forth, you know, just top of our lungs, top of our lungs, just trying See, to piss off everybody. It's kind of funny because that kind of started as a parody of you, Troy, right? Like the bro thing. Well, but, that was also that was a goof in itself, right? Because you started doing it right. as a goof, but then people started parodying you doing it, and Roland was parodying you with you while you were also doing the um, parody. It's because it's it's got it's gotten a life of its own and, completely. And, and yeah. the subway was so packed. I mean, we're like wall to wall of people. Just we're, obnoxious. Has has your girlfriend ever been like, Troy? You were really annoying today. No, my my girl's like she's punk rock, dude. She's like yeah, but she was annoyed. Well, yeah. she was. She, she was. Right, she, she's like, I'm gonna sit. I mean, like, enough. Can you tell when when she gets annoyed when the three of you are hanging out? 
I did it before until back of the car. I go, oh, and in our defense, I, uh, I, 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 she has yeah, the, the, the Mexican look yeah. that all women have their Mexican. It's called picante. You're like, oh shit. Yeah, that, that's when we all go. Like, I'm right. And in our defense, um, she did have to work, so she was cranky that she had to work, and she is menstruating. Okay. So, so and, now is she cool with you kind of going and embarrassed about Troy and his cake antics? Announcing to the world, was she embarrassed that you did? I mean, you made that scene at the party, right? You did. My dad is a man of a certain age. He's just trying to be a polite gentleman and throw a party that we can all enjoy and you know time everything out properly. Right. And you got Troy over here, who's this young guy showing up with all his tattoos blazing and his cool dude hair and his DJ attitude. What's up, bro? And my dad is walking out of the house, and Troy loudly starts talking to me because he sees my dad there, and he loudly starts saying, "You know, because we got to go soon." And, th and then he tells your dad, and then my dad comes over and he goes, "Are they going?" And I, I told my dad, I said, "Yeah, they're gonna go, uh, but we're gonna do dessert after they leave because that's the polite thing to do, right? For the, for the whole party." And then Troy said, "Yeah, I mean, I would have loved to have some cake. It's a little ridiculous," was your quote. <laughs> Well, I mean, don't you think that I've come all all that way? You weren't doing me any favors. No, but I mean, I came out to your birthday party. I wanted to show respect. I wanted to you say... You didn't show any respect. Well, I, I feel I did. You I showed up. You didn't. It's more than some other people could say. You talking about Eric? Well, he, well, you know, he and, didn't show and, up. And, and, and I think I, Jess is a bit annoying because I messed up the train right going. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Roland... I was hungover as hell. That's not an excuse. Yeah, it is. Westchester is a big county. That's where I live. Westchester, New York. And it's a county, which means it's made up of several cities. Okay? So, my parents live in one city in Westchester. I live in another city in Westchester. I was texting Roland on Friday going, uh, yeah, my parents live near me. Uh, it's easy. Just take the train out from the city and we'll come pick you up. Because it is easy. The trains are real easy to get to Westchester. Um, and if you got somebody picking you up, it's nothing. So... I didn't hear from Roland or Troy all day on Saturday. And I was like, oh, maybe they're not going to come. Because I told them, if you have something better to do, I'm not going to be offended. It's no big deal. It's whatever. And so I texted Troy at like four. And I was like, hey, you know, we're going to kind of start things in like an hour. If you need directions or help getting here, just let me know. Unless you found something else, that's cool too. And Troy goes, Roland didn't text you? And I go, no. I and he goes, we're on a train. We got on a train five minutes ago. I go, what? We're in route. And I immediately, I looked at Jess. We're already at my parents' house. And I go, they're already on a train. And Jess goes, what? And I knew that I had never told Roland <laughs> even what city my parents lived in. I didn't tell him where it was. How could he put you on a train? And so I was like, Roland got him on a train to go to where I live, which is <laughs> 25 minutes away from my parents' house. My bad. So, yeah. so I started texting you, and you're like, I'm sorry. And I go, you know it's Roland's fault. And he goes, yeah. And so Jess had to leave. She was inconvenienced. To go pick you guys right. up, where we had just come from by my house. Because, Roland, why wouldn't you text me before you left and say, hey, where, where should I go to? Where all, am all I thought about was get coffee, get coffee, get coffee. I was so hungover. Then, then, think yeah. logically. Think logically. I want everybody listening to this to think logically because Troy on more than one occasion has brought up times are tough and finances uh, when you were talking about going to Eric's house you know you talked about how much money the train ride would be and how you didn't want to spend that much money yeah so he pay I'm not paying anybody's train tickets Troy and Roland and Troy's girlfriend obviously paid their own train ticket to get to Westchester all good as they should you know as as would as manners would dictate um, but Roland decided to tell Troy and his girlfriend that obviously if you're going to Westchester from New York City on a commuter train, that's what it was. It's yeah. a train is designed for people going to and from work. That Saturday afternoon at 3.55 p.m. would obviously be a peak train. <laughs> he said it's still, if you have to get your tickets before four, it's still Roland, peak. Roland, I don't know. Peak refers to the maximum amount of people on the train. Oh. 
That's why it's peak. It's the most. You don't travel well, so... They, they should take that into consideration. You make assumptions that well, are they usually... Can, they can read. You usually... You make they assumptions that are almost always wrong and then present them as facts. They can read. But they didn't say what the times were. I yeah. thought you had... no Because you've d- written hey. this train a bunch of times. You, I always pay peak. <laughs> Do you always, always pay peak? Listen. I mean, paying peak, I guess, is the safe bet. I'm because back then you don't the, get stuck. I'll give back. But for future reference... If it's not a time when most people were going to would be going to work, probably not a peak train. No. Well, now we know. We now did. you know. You did. Yeah. You learned some lessons. And I did text you. You texted me one. You texted me after you got to the party and then acted like I had just gotten the text late. That mm-hmm. that didn't count. No. Yeah. And then Rolling got drunk. He's running out in the rain. He starts laughing at my dog. Who, by the way, can't see because he's a dog of a certain age at this point. Or hear, right? He's lost his sense of hearing and sight. Right. And as Roland is laughing at the dog for being blind, Roland turns around and walks face first into a glass door. Yeah. You saw that, right, Charlie? Yeah, I sure did. <laughs> face first into the door. See, I think your parents are, they, they, they <laughs> understand the humor of Roland. I don't think your uh, in-laws found much humor in it. Jess's of parents were there. Yeah, you don't think they thought Roland was funny? I don't. I don't think they s- thought anything was funny. Really? Yeah, I don't think they thought anything we were doing were, was funny well, enough. But uh, but I, I, I do got to say though, your mother-in-law is hot. I appreciate your, the comment, and that's a. Good, I'm sure she'll appreciate that. And that's a good look because you always want to look at a girl's mother to see what the girl's going to look like. How's your girlfriend's mom looking? She's cute. She, they look completely different. Okay, like my girlfriend's tall. She's. You know, five, f- almost 5'11". Five Maybe she's yeah. got a very handsome dad then. Who knows? Yeah. But your mom's cookies were delicious. Mom's cookies were delicious. And, the I, and you think Jess's mom is banging? For an older lady, yeah, she looks pretty good. Okay. But you don't think she... Well, you got to understand that you guys are very abrasive f- at, for a first impression. <clears throat> like, that's a lot to take in. When you just see some weird, a little bit overweight guy in Jet's warm-up hey. shirt. A little... Okay. You look, Fair enough. Yeah, and I, I had a rough week. And you're not doing yourself any favors. <laughs> I had a rough week. Yeah. When you see a guy... But thank you for saying a little. little, little a little thing. overweight. And he looks to be Hispanic, but you can't understand a word he's saying in any language. Right. He's wearing a Jets warm-up uniform, and he's running around in the backyard by himself in the rain. Like, you have to understand, like, not the first reaction from a lot of people are going to be like... What's that guy's deal? Like, right. what, what is all this? But she also knows what you do for a living. And then he starts screaming out profanities and references to Hitler. What's her? But pussies. He kept saying pussies. She's, a, you know, she's a Jewish woman. Yeah, I, said, I got friends. It's cool, huh? I said I got friends who are Jewish. It's all good. She she probably, her. Or do you have the pass? You yeah, have the, the pass. pass. Yeah. My, my buddy David. Like, like my who, buddy David Stern said, "You have the pass." Like who kid gave me my N word? Yeah, pass. My, my buddy David Stern goes, "You have the pass." You have the. We grew up together. References yeah. to Hitler pass with Jewish people. Hitler jokes oh. are okay. Every yeah. any joke, he said, "You have the pass." But you don't think you know? You think was it more like I don't like this or this is bizarre? With who? Uh, my in laws. Uh, both. A little like uh, yeah, yeah cause cause I, in the this car is, ride. This is bizarre, and I'm being made to feel uncomfortable. Because someone goes, I'm, I went, shh, shh, shh. Oh, the car ride's not good, because Jess's mom went with Jess. Oh, yeah. And it's one thing to have that kind of energy at a party, but it's a total other thing to have that in such close quarters. Yeah, you could tell she was she was annoyed yeah. in that car ride. 100%. With Jess, was was she annoyed, too? Jess, Jess is... I think Jess was annoyed that her mom was annoyed that we got her annoyed, and now Jess is annoyed. Jess seems annoyed, but Jess has a nice way of playing off that she's annoyed where you can tell she's annoyed but she's still being cool right because she likes you guys she likes and she understands that look we're just goofing around but she probably was more annoyed if she could tell her mom was annoyed yeah like you don't want you don't want people around annoying your mom because she she like if i was like if i showed up at your house and your mom was like come on you at one point would probably pull me aside and be like dude I think it's funny, but come on, bro. Right. My mom is starting to get a little annoyed. Yeah. She's getting a little pissed. Yeah. yeah just go crazy. Yeah, but you wouldn't mind. Yeah, fuck yeah. It's hilarious. <laughs> you like it. I don't think I overstepped any boundaries at your house. Yeah, you I did. mean, I would say you didn't until... The cake. You asked my dad to... You guilted oh. my father into bringing dessert out earlier. So let me ask you, before we left, you said the top three worst person. Okay, what I was doing was, I told your girlfriend, with all three of you there... That if I were to only invite one of you back to the party, based on manners, it would obviously be your girlfriend by herself. Mm-hmm. You can understand that. I know. To, to some degree. To, yes. to all degrees. But to we some had degree. fun. I mean, don't you think that we added a lot of spice to the party? Yeah, but to some people didn't like that, though. Yeah. I mean, that's not our fault. I mean, hey. what you do for a living. 
Sorry. You know, these are your coworkers. I can't entertain everybody with the same demo. In terms of manners and politeness, though. You know, polite. Well, she always... No, you weren't polite. I was polite. In the beginning, but not at the end. Well, I You mean, left I, early, and you basically demanded that the cake I wasn't be brought demanding, out. But they were teasing us the whole time that there was all this homemade ice cream. They kept saying, homemade, homemade ice cream. Ice cream, cream yes. It's like, so, all right, I would love to taste the homemade ice cream before I leave. If yeah. my parents had a little more of me in them, they would be teasing that homemade ice cream, and you'd be like... Oh, you know, are we going to get to taste this? And they would be like, I'm sorry, I should have clarified. The homemade ice cream is for those who stay for the party. But that's not what happened. And I even had your father clarify and in then, front of you. And then, you want to talk about annoying your girlfriend? You know what Troy started doing? I totally forgot about this. Troy started doing this thing where um, I go, Troy, like in front of my parents, I go, Troy... Why would you make such a scene and make them bring out the cake early? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let them go at their own pace. And while his girlfriend was sitting next to him, in earshot of my parents, true or false? True. 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 In earshot of my parents, he would go, he said, look, I would really like to stay. My girlfriend's got to go to work and she, you know, she needs her time and everything. So she would really like this. Oh, yeah, she, I would like to stay. But and you started shifting all the blame. She wasn't with that, though. To your girlfriend who's meeting all these people for the first time. Yeah, that 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 upset her. Did she, she tell you that? that yeah, 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 yeah. She she says that's what when she, she had say? enough of. She goes, stop. And then that's when the car goes, enough of you two. What did she say to you? Yeah, yeah she said she's enough. like, I, she's like, I don't know these people. Please don't do that. And I said, baby, just roll with the punches. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> She doesn't want to roll with those punches. Look, just you gotta learn to hang loose. Like she and I have hung out only a handful of times, so that sort of getting to know each other process is still happening. That was the first time I think she had met Jess. And then there's all these adults that by the way at the wedding she met Jess. Okay, maybe at the wedding yeah, she met Jess, but, right. But, but just less. Yeah. And then Jess was talking about she said Perla is so great. You know, she can hang out with, like, you and Troy and Roland, but then she was having conversations with my mom and your dad, and she was just great at the party. Everybody loved her. But then she's got the asshole boyfriend oh, who's, who's got to kind of asshole. shine the spotlight on her and be like, by the way, I know we're leaving early, but it's her fault. That's not exactly a knight in shining armor, is it? Well, I think she would have been okay with it if she wasn't on her period. <laughs> you think you're going to blame the period? Well, yeah. she gets really oh. fucking cranky when she's menstruating. Yeah. I mean, a lot of girls do, but... So, you, it's just like, roll with the punches. You dude. don't think she has grounds for being upset? Not really. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, on the kind of train ride, she... She probably wouldn't be happy, by the way, with you coming on a national radio show as big as After Open Anthony Live, the show that launched the career of Carly Rae Jepsen, and announcing to the world that she probably would be okay, except she's on the rag. Well, no, we were at the Dwayne Reed last night, and she was buying tampons, and I had announced to everybody <laughs> that she was buying tampons. What is she... That's like... She's, she's like, she, oh... And she doesn't care. She's fun. She rolls with the punches. She's, right. She, she didn't... I, I guess she's okay with dating a third well, grader. She didn't well, realize. Well, she knows what she's getting herself into. Okay. In, in the train, she was sleeping, and <laughs> Troy would fall asleep, and I had a little gas. I woke him up. <laughs> like, she thinks that's funny. Okay. Like, she yeah. thinks Roland farting and annoying everybody around us, where they're looking at him like, you fucking pig. She she starts laughing and thinks that's funny. But she doesn't want you, then, trying to... Con you were trying to, Shift as a blade. joke, Shift the blade. humiliate her in front of a new crowd. No, I was just... I, look... You know it's a humiliating thing to do to someone. She likes, um, she she handles uncomfortable situations really well. Yeah. And I sometimes like to push and see how you far like I can make. You like to test the boundaries. Yeah. Because uh, handling uncomfortable situations is a skill, and practice makes perfect. Is that what you're trying to yeah. say? Yeah. And it's like, if you want to hang, you. I'm like, you know, I told her, I want a bitch that can hang. Right. So you better hang. And shit could get a lot weirder than this. So yeah, this is just the beginning. You got to tone up. Yeah. Well, I'm surprised she hasn't... Uh, set you on fire or something like that. I'm surprised she puts up with your bullshit, to tell you the truth. She loves it. She does. Of course she does. Well, she didn't love it when you humiliated her is the only thing. I told you that because she had her fucking holes bleeding. Oh, because <laughs> of the period. Yeah. If really? that wasn't happening, and if she didn't have to work, she would have been fine. I mean, and plus, at the end of the day, obviously, you're a nice guy. So Of course I'm a nice guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm charming. That's, she, she that's come that. through loud and clear like, here. I was at a PS side by the uh, trash can train station, but they had cameras. Is that your new thing, peeing in public? That was you. That's it. What happened? Your new thing was exercise and juicing. Now your new thing is overeating, boozing, and pissing in public. You're, de my hero. you're <laughs> degenerating.
Troy's a bad influence. Yes. Burt Kreischer is your hero. Yeah. And and Guy Fieri is your other hero, and you yes. wanted to drink with him. Yes. All right. I mean, Troy, do you feel any sense of responsibility for the downfall? You I, did try. I mean, to your credit, you tried to motivate him in one direction. It didn't work. So I guess what you said, all right, if we're going to go to the dark side, let's have a good time. I've also told him recently, like, dude, you really got to pull it, pull it together with the weight. Yeah. So, you know he's going to put, do you think he's going to pack the pounds back on for the winter? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Do you think you are rolling? I don't know. Okay, he is. That's confirmed. And you can't look at me to help to help him not drink because I think that shit's funny. <laughs> and if he's gonna do crazy shit, I want great pictures from my Instagram. So, right. which is what Troy Kwan on Instagram. Oh. And you can see the picture of Roland pissing in the phone booth. What do you? Uh, where, where, where did Eric go? Poo poo. Are you going to poo poo? You taking that? a little poo poo? No, I had to go pee. This has been going on for a while. Now you tell me, Eric. Yeah. What do you think of this relationship that's happened? There's this is sort of like a a pseudo, somewhat sexual, not gay, but just there's a little sexual. No, there's a little sexuality to it, like a bromance from Hades. No, going on here with I Roland and Troy. It's part. a toxic bromance. Yeah, I was just gonna say it, it's toxic. It is right. Yeah, but I think it's more toxic towards Roland than it is towards Troy. You don't think they bring out the worst in each other? Oh, definitely. They do. But I think. Troy knows how to juggle that better than Roland does. Roland will just go all out and consequences be damned. Now, we talked on the air a little bit about your relationship with Troy and that that is, uh, well, it's up and down to say the least. Um, and that you're kind of done with Troy. Roland, on the other hand, is an interesting case because Roland is a guy that you used to hang out with. Mm -hmm. That was the guy at work that you hung out with. That was your, you were Troy Kwan. Roland and Eric were the power couple of the Opie and Anthony show, and now Roland and Troy have become the power couple to the extent that Troy has a drawer at Roland's house. Yeah. What do you think of that? Like, what do you think uh, of how Roland has, has become it, Troy's best friend? Uh, it makes sense because they're both single. They can go out and, and do things. What? Troy, you're single? <laughs> I thought you had a living... not married, all right? I'm a, afraid. <laughs> I thought you they're had a living married. girlfriend. She was hanging out at my house. I know. Yeah, just said. No, it's talking about. No, it just said. Unfortunately, Eric moved a little bit farther, and Troy. Eric could come by. Off. What? <laughs> Sal, why did Eric storm off? I don't know. I don't. Care. Do you think that it was yeah. justified when I said when I questioned why he said Troy's single when we had just talked about his girlfriend for the last twenty minutes? I have no idea. Uh, he's going oh, to shit. Now. Is he having a mental oh, breakdown? Wait, wait, hold on. I just is got he text. He's, he's bleeding. Rubbing, he's bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> Must be his period. No, no, Eric's, it, no, been, Eric's it, been weird. Yeah. I mean, he had that blow up today when he he answered in vagueness today. Correct? Yeah, yeah he vagaries. does all the time. But then he got upset when we claimed it was vague. Yeah, but that's his that's his thing. Don't you think if I said to him, "This is a family party," I'm sitting in the room, and they're like, "Why didn't you go to the party?" And Eric responds by saying, "I was told that." As opposed to saying Sam told me that, it starts the vagary right there. Yeah. And, and also, I hang out with Troy more because Eric moved a bit farther away than like before he was at Hoboken, where he used to. And I used to live on the west side. I don't think it's geographic to tell yeah. you the truth. I think I used to live on the west side, and I used I to be it's super okay close. That it's bullshit. And quite honestly, don't you think I'm a lot more fun than Eric would be? I think Roland, that your personality shifted somewhat, and people's personalities change all the time. I would never. I didn't say it was for the better or worse. I think you started hanging out with Troy. You had a good time with him, and now you hang out with Troy more than Eric. That's fine. You don't. It's not saying that you don't like Eric. Yeah. It's just now that's the guy you hang out with. I don't think it's geographic. I think that's just the guy that you have fun with. Yeah, that's you're fine. fun. Yeah, you come out to Westchester. Yeah, it's not geographic. It's because we have fun together. Westchester, Bestchester. Troy, you've come out to Westchester. Yeah, it's, not it's, it's not because it's geographic. It's because we have fun. We do. I think something's going on with Eric, though. Did did his Legos fall apart? Hmm. His Legos? Because he got some Legos. Sal, do you know if his Legos fell apart over the weekend? No, I asked if he did any. He said he didn't. <laughs> get a chance. You, you really did sit there and say, yeah. hey, how was your weekend? Did you do any yeah, Legos? That's he, exactly he, what I said. Yes. <laughs> he, did you ask him sarcastically? Or, or? No, I was serious because I oh know my he played God. Them. He bought some new Legos. He did? Yeah, it's Lord of the Rings. Listen, we got to go. We got to let Ron and Fez take over. I hope uh, you guys will think about what we've talked about today. By the way, I totally was right against Kenny today. Are you coming with us, you guys, for lunch? Probably. All right. I was totally, I mean, the wording of that sentence, grammatically, You're right. I was completely right against Kenny, correct? Yes, character. But I understand You're why right. Kenny would take it the way he does. Emotionally, 
Kenny can have his point of view. But logically, grammatically... Oh, he's back? That's not what I said. And there's no reason... Like, Kenny at your party would have been a good time. You know yeah. that. I love Kenny. Again, he'd make the medium list, but I invited the short list. Ron and Fez wow. are coming up next. He doesn't make the short list. I'm sorry. So stay tuned for that. Do you have my sunglasses? And, yeah, I do. We'll be back. <laughs> Roland forgot his sunglasses at my house because he was hammered. We'll be back with more of this tomorrow. Goodbye. The Opie and Anthony Show is now over. For real this time. For, 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 for real this time.